We are live. Uh -oh. What's up? Uh oh. Is it not? Hold up a sec. Oh fuck me. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I don't, I don't know why, but like, <laughs> I'm looking at stream in OBS, right? And when I'm clicked off of the stream, or like off of the game, it seems to be moving everything. But when I click onto the game, I don't think it's working. <laughs> it is Visually. frozen. Oh, there you go. It's going. Well, I mean, that's, you, you see what I mean though? Like now I'm clicked on the game, everything's frozen. When I click off the game onto OBS, it's not frozen. Uh, I might need to do a different capture here. Hold up a sec. What's up, Obama? How you doing? Capture any full screen. Let's do capture specific window. Maybe I can do it this way. <laughs> you just need to make a redstone inverter, Logan. Shut up. <laughs> How much did you even play with, like, redstone? Uh, I made, like, cool doors on the side of a mountain <laughs> but i didn't make like an elevator or anything well i mean that's like a different tier let's be honest uh, i should also probably add you in the title huh oh. let's go ahead and do that with at blue springs oh yeah it's me goat let's also put that in the youtube section as well yeah, so today, uh, kind of like I've been uh, mentioning, uh, the past couple streams, I think. By the past couple, I mean like yesterday and the Monday stream, I think. Uh, we're playing I Wanna Hug That Gator today. We're gonna, we're gonna really get in there and hug a gator, I guess. This music's great. Right? It's really fucking good. Damn, bro, I didn't know you had 240 subs on fucking YouTube. My man's out here grinding. Hell yeah. I mean, it's it's really old-ass YouTube channel. Yeah, well, I, guess I, I think it's the InSim Adams that really got him there. Yeah, kind of like uh, Kane with the... Uh, <laughs> Sean, with Sean Mulaney. Mulaney. <laughs> How many views has that thing got right now? I can I can check real quick. I'm we, sure he was in like 10,000, right? Or oh, I'm going to say it was like way more than that. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Oh, maybe it was like in the hundred thousand. I thought it was in the hundreds. Yeah. We fucking that gator. All right, let's not get that far just yet. <laughs> we, the goal tonight is to hug the gator. All right, like. Oh. It was six hundred forty nine k. Dude, I told you it was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Typography. Okay. Yeah. Answer me this. Yeah. All right. It's a Hit visual me. novel. Yes. Does visual novel equal dating sim? Like all the time, you know? No, not it. It doesn't always equal dating sim. I mean, this one's gonna be a dating sim essentially, as far as I'm aware. I'll, but I'm just hard pressed to think of an example right now. Maybe I'm just dumb. I, I feel like I I know one. Well, like a visual novel is just essentially anything that's telling a story in a more novel-like format, right? Instead of being yeah, like but a like, video game. I can't think of a game. <laughs> I can't think of an example, man. Well, okay, hold up. Let. <laughs> We'll get to the gator eventually, but now we have to conquer different things. So let me, let me look up like visual novels, like the category on Steam. Uh, tag visual novel. Here we go. And I'm sure I can find one. Obama says most. Yeah, I feel like most is the right answer. I, so, just, I just want an example. Depending here. on how, how much you're willing to stretch that definition, Telltale the Walking Dead is kind of a visual novel, right? Uh, there isn't okay. gameplay elements, right? Yeah, I see. It's a very okay. animated visual novel, but a visual novel nonetheless. Um, I, I can take that. I'll agree. Hootie Pop is not a visual novel. <laughs> there is gameplay elements. You're playing Bejeweled. <laughs> Though, I mean, all right. In the sense of it's mostly, like, most of the story is delivered in a text-based format, then yes, visual novel with mini games in between. However, that one is about dating, or I guess more accurately, trying to get laid. Um, I is believe- Is Persona a visual novel? Uh, no. No, there's is too much mayonnaise. gameplay. It's- <laughs> No, mayonnaise is not an instrument, Patrick. Shut up. Although, fucking- <laughs> 
It's on when I look up the fucking visual novel tag, P3 Reloaded is there. So <laughs> Limbus Company is there. Okay. Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney? Oh well, you know, yeah, there you go. When you think about That's it. That's actually right? a really solid one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. We got it. Yeah, you just kinda gotta you gotta like split split the games open and take a look in there and be like oh yeah that is huh what I think about it <laughs> also the conquer another hurdle before we start this game apparent the soundtrack's not up for like purchase or download or whatever but I have my ways we can get something for All right. you <laughs> All right. we'll see we'll see alright well I think it's time to go ahead and start right we, we, we waffled on long enough The audio audio is good enough right now. It looks like I might have to tinker with it just a little bit, but we'll figure that out. Mm. So you can see on Discord and everything. Yeah, I can hear it too. Okay, oh, cool. Good. September fourth, year. Mm hmm. How am I supposed to read that? Two hundred one M, twenty twenty three B C. What does the M in Roman numeral mean? You think I L is fifty. Is, is M a like thousand? 500? Oh, is it a thousand millennia? That's what, that's my reasoning. Yeah, I could see it. A thousand. Is this your bud that missed his chance with a hot girl at a bar? No, no, no. That would be Kane. <laughs> Maybe we can phone Kane in on this, and he can give us some funny. more uh, unfortunate <laughs> adventures at the bar. Mm -hmm. Amid the arid heat of the morning sun of Vol- Vol- Dude, I should not be playing this. <laughs> I can't speak on a good day and now I'm gonna play a game all about talking. Fuck me. Hey, you're too out of practice. It's been too long since Ace Attorney. Yeah, it really has. Someday I have to... Crack open that Pandora's box again. The game was fun and that last chapter was bitchin', but like... <laughs> God damn! You remember the uh, you remember the uh, the fucking doll you had to position just right? You know, I spent like ten minutes like you motherfucker. I know it's right. Don't do this to me. Yeah. Okay, Volca Volcaldera Volcaldera Bluffs. I can't help but miss living in more temperate weather in the Midwest. Summer sleeves are in style this year. That jacket's aroma blog better be right. The Swede thing is killing me. What is Swede? Is that a material? It's suede. It's a suede? <laughs> God damn it, I hate fashion. We ain't talking about the Swedish. Could we talk about the Swedish? <laughs> well, at least it's guaranteed to start getting chillier in a few weeks. Besides, I'm sure to make an impression with this. <sighs> I hate words, Jeremy. Why can't they just use stupid five-year-old language? I don't know fucking brands. Abercrombie, Abercrombie, Abercrombie. And Flint. And Flint. Flint's easy. I can read Flint. <laughs> it's all the rage these days. Ah, oh, gators. No, they're different. I think that's like pterodactyl. Is that pterodactyl? Up there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a. I guess you weren't really primed on this, right? There's like dinosaurs and shit. Oh, it's a reptile dating. So that's why it's. So that's why it was BC. Oh, that makes sense. I sigh and lean back in the hard plastic seating of the metro. This is if that fuck ass meteor didn't hit, alright? This is if life wasn't fucking around. Life could be a dream. I'm on my way to my first day in a new school. Ordinarily, I'd just be glued to my phone on the trip, but there's just too much on my mind right now. Oh yeah, like what? My folks' stitch requires us to move frequently, which gives me little time to fit in. Much like how a rolling stone gathers no moss, I could never make a friend I'd keep for longer than a year. Rough, buddy. Just a lot of promises to keep in touch. I petered off within months. 
Admittedly, it's my fault in the end. That's all going to change, starting today. Hey. I'm gonna turn my life around. You, you got it, champ. Let's get in there. Going into senior year now, it's my very last chance to prepare for the world ahead. Luckily for me, the cards are stacked in my favor. I feel around my backpack for my gun. <laughs> for my DSLR, till my fingers can absent- Till my fingers can absentmindedly fiddle with the mode dial. Ah shit, you're a photography nerd. Hey, look, alright, there's way worse nerds to be, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Photography's up there, alright? People are always cool with a camera guy walking around because they're like, Hey, you want to take my picture? If anything, it's the- you probably will get, um, a gator lover because you take good photography. I think that's one of the arts that it's prone to- you, know, you meet people, you know? Okay, but like, do you mean a gator lover specifically because of that? Or do you just mean because we're, we're going to hug the gator, that's why? Because I'm trying to, like, connect the art, the, the photography stuff, with the gator. Jeremy? Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> with, what was with the fucking pause? I don't know, I didn't know what to say. I'll just keep going. Okay, sure, man. Does the gator have a bulge? I don't think there's a gator on here, and I do not see a bulge currently. I mean, there's this guy, but there's not really a bulge there. He's very classic. I'm gonna be I honest, my eyes keeping being drawn over here. I realized he's holding a giant ass manila folder. But so it's that's blue not version. even like a newspaper. Right. Yeah. I, I think it's supposed to be a newspaper, but I don't know why, like... I mean, I guess it has to be a folder, right? Because, like, why is this here? <laughs> the tab, yeah. So, like... What? <laughs> that is actually ma That's the size of his whole ass torso. <laughs> Let's have big documentation. Those are those important files. I walk in yellow talking about Gator Bull. Just look, this this stream's gonna devolve into many things, alright? Actually, we're talking about the lack of Gator Bulges. But that's still talking about Gator Bulges, is it not? <laughs> talking I about the absence the is talking about it. Uh, <clears throat> let's, co let's continue here. St. Hammond High School is extremely well known for their artist's curriculum. Strapped in other in for words, like five hours of this show. <laughs> Man, I don't got I got nowhere to be tomorrow, so I'm willing to run this long. In other words, I'll be surrounded by people that share my interests, even if it's a bit of a ride away. Oh, the commute. Speaking of rides, I was hoping that my parents could drive me there today. By the time I was up, though, they already left for work. No big deal. I like the hustle and bustle of public transport. I imagine I'm going to have to get used to this anyway. As time passes, my mind wanders to memories of previous schools. How come I feel like these are not pleasant memories? <laughs> well, maybe they are. Nope. There we go. They all suck. <laughs> Rip. Hey, I need to make the most of the situation, man. Not get all sad like this. I need to do something like... Don't make me draw. Help us take a selfie with the hobo next to me. I won't get stabbed. Get up and breathe in that fresh air, in that fresh city air. Remain seated and do nothing. Okay. Um. So the so the, this is where you know my choices get to come into play. Uh, I'm not gonna do this. This is psycho. I feel like, I feel like you could do that. You know, photographers are pretty psycho. But I'm not psycho. Photographers and uh, TikTok influencers are the same breed. No S shame. Suck the hobo's toes? We are not going to put any fucking toes in our mouth yet. Oh, hey, uh, Jen, by the way, since you're in chat, uh, is the audio good on, like, our voices right now? I didn't really do an audio check. I kind of see us, like, being a little bit louder than I'm usually seeing. So I just want to see if that's okay. I think we're just going to get up and breathe in the city air. Because, I mean, we don't want to be docile and do nothing, and we don't want to be psychotic and do this. We're trying to make a change. We're trying to make a change, but not too much of a change. Not too drastic of a change. We got we to gotta stay within some relative area of safety. Sounds good to me. All right, cool, cool. 
I love how it specifically says you won't get stabbed. Well, that's me coping. <laughs> get up and breathe the Be fresh okay. city air. I'm interrupted by the ding of the terminal board, and the car gradually starts coming to a stop. Ooh. Juicy. This feels like an afternoon, or like an evening type sun. Is that just me? Yeah, maybe it's winter and the sun like came up really late. Or we're early as fuck, because we're so nervous to get to school. I mean, you think about it like fucking, what, school used to be... If we're doing senior year and this is high school, it depends on if this is high school or college, right? Because if it's high school, this is like fucking 8 a.m., right? Yeah. God. Yeah, the sun's definitely up by then, no can, matter what time is. Can we year. talk about that? How it, we all got up at 8 a.m. Yeah, every day yeah. Or before then. <laughs> For five I days mean, a technically, week. I still do. You're the only one who broke that norm. Yeah, I said, uh, <laughs> hey, it's over. <laughs> it's so over. No, I, I, cause like the thing is, yeah, I broke that norm, but like expecting kids to get up that fucking early, like holy shit, that was crazy. For me, it's all the extracurricular shit I did back in the day. I'm like, oh my god, how did I do that? I, I don't know how you motherfuckers had like, were in band and had like other things going on after school. I just went home, did my homework and then played video games. <laughs> and That was what I did. Video bane. Video bane. I step off the metro, heading out of the station as I follow a few other students heading towards the school. Oddly enough, I'm only seeing dinosaur students. Not another human to be seen anywhere. So I'm guessing Wait, in we're this- we're human? Yeah, we're human. So I guess there's like a- I, I don't know what the context behind everything is. I guess it's like human dino society. You know what I mean? Mm. So... We're going yeah, to Volcano hold on, hold on. We High. Should not, what year is it? We're not talking in complete senses. We're going Unga Bunga. No, no, no. It's 201M2023. <laughs> so I think I think we're focusing in on the 2023 part. Okay. Schools around us now start at like 830 because we see kids getting picked up still. Let the kids get up at like fucking noon. <laughs> Let them live. Is Utopia Dinotopia? Hell yeah! If, if Disney wasn't fucking around, <laughs> if Disney wasn't a fucking coward, <laughs> aren't they making a Zootopia too? I think so. I think I heard that. Mm, I think I heard that too. Must be one of those dino-heavy regions. We didn't say that with like any malice, right? <laughs> Well, I'm hoping we did. That was just like a matter of fact type deal. We, we didn't say that with a little bit of that. Yeah, probably walk forward, right? There's a lot of greenery here as well. You can almost forget how close we are to a major city. The pathway leads to a stone bridge that goes over a small creek. As I walk across, I notice other students meet in pairs and walk with each other. The air begins to fill with the uh, sounds of laughter and stories of how their summer break went. Summer was the fucking best, man. Hmm, I wish I had summer breaks. Yeah, me too. I get a winter break, which is kind of bitching, but... Ah, there it is. The school peeks out over the trees ahead of me, as though inspecting and welcoming me inside. St. Hammond High, my new home away from home for the next year. It's like to a boarding a school? Um, no, we're not. No, it's not a boarding yeah. school, it's just a school. Right? Okay, okay. Because we take public- I mean, we're gonna be uh, taking public transit to and from, right? And that's not a boarding yeah, school. Yeah, Alright. Yeah, just speculating. Yeah, I got you, I got you. There's Crisp. Reminded me of an old campground I went back to- I went to back in elementary school. I used to get school threats to get the day off. Can you recall any time where, like, you had a crazy, like, school threat thing happened at your school? Because I can recall one with me. Like back, was it... back in North Carolina. Oh, okay. I was like, this wasn't the West Coast thing. No, this was um... This was uh, like early elementary school. Well, not too early. Like midway. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, we had like a... Not like a school shooter drill or like a... 
threat. It was like a, because it, it wasn't like a shooter or anything. It was like a um. Someone who's not supposed to be on campus, like a threat type deal, right? And so we had to mm-hmm. we had to buckle down for a while. And then later on, I figure out, or I find out uh, through people talking about it. What had happened was, like, some kids decided it would be a funny prank to say that they saw a guy with a hockey mask standing at the edge of the trees uh, near the playground. <laughs> and the school mm-hmm. went into lockdown. Lockdown, that's what it was. They went into lockdown mode. And those kids got fucking chewed the hell out afterwards. But I remember I was in, like, a class with, like, a few amount of people, and we had to go in the closet and just sit in there, and we were like, Huh, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> One year, my school had so many riots break out that they had to cancel halfway through the day. I was at some competition, so I was already missing it. And then there was another time that someone escaped from the building nearby, so the school went into lockdown. I don't remember what that building was. Remember, it was it was something about a mental ward. Mm. Ew, that's not great. Someone in my school was making makeshift knives. He used to watch gore vids for the giggle. Yeah, those are the kinds of people that, like, something in your brain, like, ticks over and you're like, Oh, I should, I should be aware of where you are in the room at all times, huh? Mm -hmm. I should be making sure I have exit plans. Yeah. (laughs) Nowadays, the internet's made it harder to find it. (laughs) Just because it's not on mainstream internet anymore. Dude, just go live leak. What are you talking about? (laughs) That's not mainstream, is it? I mean, I would say Live Leak is as mainstream as you can get for watching someone get decapitated. Okay, okay. I was thinking Reddit, but... I mean, you can go to Reddit 50... Okay, I I brought this up in our, like, Instagram chat, okay? So, did you see the post I shared, which was a sensitive... uh, Uh, Sensitive content post? No, I didn't actually go into that today. Let me see. It was like a... I want to say I sent it like a day or two ago. Regardless... So, I mean, if you want to look back for it real quick, essentially what it was is, you know how, like, sometimes you'll click on a post and it'll be like, this, this is marked as sensitive content, see why, and then see post. So the one that I Uh, sent in the chat, it says it's a sensitive post, but when you click see what's going on, it's just like a fucking pit bull getting sprayed with like the mist setting on like a like a a water hose, you know? And he's smiling yeah. and he's all happy. And it's like, why is this happy. why is this marked as sensitive post? And I kinda realized at that point, damn, this shit's Reddit 5050. Because before stream, I was scrolling through Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. And I saw a post and it was a sensitive post and I was like oh I wonder what's under here and I click see post and it's a guy getting ready to do like a deadlift and I said no (laughs) I'm not sticking around anything that if there is a sensitive post and the first thing you see is somebody in the gym you click off that shit because you are going to see something fucking heinous you're going to see somebody's leg invert all right I'm not I'm not sticking around for that okay I don't need that in my brain Andy. It's funny how that's sensitive and I could see someone in a car crash without it. Yeah, there will be like I've seen a fucking plane dive into a car and explode and you you sit there and you're like, oh, oh, they're dead dead. But Instagram's like, bro, <laughs> this not sensitive. This fine. <laughs> Shit's crazy. And then you've got like, do you know about cartel gram? Where you'll just see cartel videos. Yeah, no, I saw a fucking video of, like, a plane flying overhead and dropping, like, a brick of cocaine to some kids. All right. (laughs) And it's like, what is going on here on Instagram? What the fuck? It's crazy. It's crazy. Ugh. Fucking uh, tangent over, I suppose. Unless you want to weigh in on that. No, I'm good. Okay. Ugh. Oh, Instagram is bipolar as fuck. Yeah, no, for real. Once again, I'm handed an opportunity to make something of myself. I'm apprehensive, but hopeful. It's my last shot at this. There's no going back. Take my first step onwards. Here we go again. Yeah, I vibe with this. I know what that's like. Ooh, animation. Ooh. Oh. Nameless protag, let's go. That's as nameless as you can get. 
The only thing you could make him more anonymous would make him gray. Yeah. Students mill about the front yard. The school is known for its heavily prioritized art programs. I mean, you could tell right off the bat. That's pretty cool. Imagine if you had something like that on the side of a school. Big old dinosaur. Well, okay, big hold up a sec. Now that I think about that, that's like having a big old person, right? <laughs> Since <laughs> this them, is a dino yeah. heavy school. <laughs> Big old Neanderthal. Well, it's kind of like, I guess if you think about it, it'd kind of be like, you know, like the, the fucking let's go emoji. You know what I mean? Like the one that's like mm -hmm. fucking shouting. It's kind of yeah. like that. <laughs> the school's known for, oh yeah, I already read that. <clears throat> Over two thirds of the graduates end up pursuing a career in the arts. And while half of them regret it from what I've read, there's still plenty that made it, right? Well, that means that, okay, two thirds, half regret it, half don't. So a six? A six of people don't regret it? I would say that's pretty good numbers. All things considered. It's also the management's claim to fame, with a facade on the front entrance being dominated by a vibrant mural. I've got a good feeling about this place. A few students eyeball me as I continue walking in. Some friends whisper to each other. I just knew this jacket would pay off. The front doors are propped wide open, and I already feel the cool breeze inviting me in. Inside, it's a familiar yet brand new sight. I hadn't mentioned it yet, but this school is also unique for its student body. Look at all the di NERD DINO! <laughs> <laughs> Dunk his ass in the prehistoric toilet now! Man, I'd be so insecure about that random porn acne sticking out of my teeth. <laughs> That's rough, you know? <laughs> It's interesting that they got uh, just greenery growing everywhere. It's humid as fuck in there. <laughs> Triassic ass hallway. It's composed almost entirely of dinosaurs, all manner of saurian herbivores and otherwise. Scales, feathers, tails. Is that a tether? Wings, talons, and webbed hands. Not to mention... N not to even mention the colors. All vibrant enough to challenge the bright murals on the school outside. Dozens of students march about reconnecting with past friends and meeting new ones. How come I feel like she's a bad bitch? <laughs> Some anxiously glance at their schedules, checking every door as though they were numbered at random. God, you gotta that's love just, that first day, right? Looking for that's your just fucking. That's the Dexter dino. Just and the other dino? dude, I forget his name. Oh yeah. Oh, that is Dexter and Mandark. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Did you watch Dexter's Lab? Because I only have like <laughs> vague recollections of it. I didn't like watch it, watch it. Like if it was on and there was nothing else, I'd be like, ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> is it kind of like one of those things, like? like late night where you had like the the george lopez show where like it's on and it's just kind of there and you kind nah, of like, digest a little bit that late. well no but i, I mean like in the same kind of like tier of show you know where it's like it's there it's on you don't really change the channel to anything else it's just background noise in a sense yeah or i'd like watch it i do like a hate watch because i didn't really like it that much you know what i mean oh. Not, like, hate. <laughs> <laughs> a dislike watch, maybe? Like, let's, let's, yeah. let's not throw around hate, alright? That's a very, very grievous accusation. Like, like, maybe I'd be like, oh, let's try it out. Let's see if I'll like it. I'm like, nope, nope, don't like it still. You just see someone getting eaten alive in the corner? I wish that were me, for real, for real. Uh, okay. I probably shouldn't be standing here stick. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh, is that a human? Whoa. Uh -oh. I'm soon surrounded and overrun by a crowd of neon-colored teenagers. Oh jeez, oh. I'm- uh, <laughs> Oh god, please, let me- let me leave. They really should have given us character customization if they were gonna show us ourselves, you know? Ah, I'm fine with it. I think it's because, um, in the- I- I, I told you about it beforehand, there was another game, Goodbye Volcano High, mm -hmm. and then, uh, Snoot Game. There's- the protagonist, I think, looks similar to this as well, so I think they're just following in that, um, trend footsteps whatever you want to call it yeah, yeah, yeah. i got you. it is interesting that they already established that like 
everybody here is very diversely colored because instead of just being like these black cutouts you have a bunch of different colored ones and it makes sense clearly my jack is working like a charm wow he's like a life-size mannequin hey new kid yo is this what it's like to be popular I really wasn't expecting to happen this quickly. Fame? Fortune? And most of all... Bitches. Bitches. A few students are taking pictures with their phones. Dude, imagine... Okay, how bad would it be, Jeremy, alright? You go, <laughs> you go to a new school, right? You step in, you realize everybody's white. And they all look at you and they're like, oh, A Filipino! Oh my god. And they, and they flock you. <laughs> you would start having a panic attack, wouldn't you? I w you had me in the first half, because I was going to say that's just most of reality, but the second <laughs> half is a nightmare. Right? <laughs> like, I think you can take any identifying trait from anybody, right? Put them in a situation where it's just like, I'm the only one here, and then everybody recognizing that, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> this is bad. I even see some with sketchbook and pens in hands, rapidly scribbling on pages. Whoa, a human. Are you like a foreign exchange student? In the chaos, I feel a few people touch my hands. <laughs> no. No scales. Whoa, human skin feels weird. He's a bit uncalled for. No, <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have some doormat. backbone. Nah, I'm good. Uh, oh no, I am a doormat. Great. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. You're weird. <laughs> You're weird for wanting your personal space. Let us touch you. There's so much happening. And I don't want to be a party pooper. A few more people shot at me to get my attention. Hey, could you look over here for a side profile? Oh man, yeah, this would be good reference material. Wait! I need to get a better look at his skin texture! Once again find myself frozen, only muttering quietly as I hastily try to follow their instructions. Eventually, all the Saurians... That is how you pronounce that, right? I'm taking a stab at the dark here. Saurians? Saurians? Yeah, Saurians? I would say that. Uh, Saur mm -hmm. Saurians probably, but... Right, okay. Uh, dinosaur, right. Okay. Take their photos and talk themselves out before dispersing back to their own friend groups. By the time I recover from the shock of the situation, the last one breaks off, and I find myself seemingly all alone again. Oh, well, it's fast. Short-lived oh. fame. That was my chance to socialize. I blew it. Uh, okay. You're a human, right? Are you taking this one? I mean, I'll take it. This is an established character, it looks like, not just a random crowd. Right, right, right. So what is this, Triceratops, maybe? Oh, I'm just yes. taking a stab here. I don't, I'm not, I don't see I'm not a dino guy, you know what I mean? Oh, look, you, you oh, got there it. We go. Looks like you are a dino guy. Bam! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> The Triceratops girl leans forward, scanning me up and down. This is it. Time to seal the deal and get a new friend. I'm uh, so gonna laugh at you. Yeah. Close enough. Hey, can I, like, get a selfie with you? It'd be great for one of my classes. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, she put puts an arm around my back. Yeah, I just like I I blanked out there for a second. <laughs> That's gonna happen a couple times, I'm sure, at this point. Um she puts an arm around my back for a shoulder hug while she poses dramatically. Maybe a bit too friendly. Big smile now. She takes the picture and checks it enthusiastically. So uh I'm Inko. Huh? Oh you're Inko. Huh? Oh cool, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I gotta go. I might as well just kill myself now. <laughs> oh. What's the photo for, by the way? 
She pauses, aloofly chewing some gum. I fashion design class. That jacket is ballin'. I knew the jacket was good! Let's yeah, go! Wait. <laughs> wait, did you hear the, uh, did you hear my, my gum smack? I didn't. <laughs> Fuck, turn off Crisp. You need to shoot Crisp in the head, Jeremy. <laughs> Whatever. Ah. Thanks for the pick, hun. If somebody calls me hun, like, the first time they meet me, they're knocking me off my feet, I think. Like, like, sweep you off your feet kind of deal, or just, like, in shock and, like, you're appalled off your feet? Like, a mix of both. Oh, okay, okay. Like, I'd be like, buh. Buh. Me? Hun? Puts my fingers together? <laughs> I don't know why, but I took it as an insult. <laughs> I was like, hmm. I mean, I guess you could read it that way. Let's see here. Sans ad jacket. Do kind of got like some <laughs> kinda, Sans vibes. You do have a Sans it. fit going on right now, dude. Oh, man. I'm Sans Undertale. Do -do -do -do. Well, I feel my shoulders sag as I take in the now sparse hallway around me. That must have been my 15 minutes of fame. I don't think it even lasted 15 minutes. There's no way I've already blown it. Try to shake away the negative thoughts. Focus on the positive. For a brief moment, I was the talk of the school. Yeah. Huh? The familiar sound draws my attention. I know what that is. At the end of the hall, there's someone kneeling. And with one of the latest camera models, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, fuck, another camera nerd. Look, we're a camera nerd. We need to fit in. We got to find the camera nerd club. <laughs> this this is our ticket to friends, Jeremy. <laughs> hey. The guy flinches. I flinch too. <clears throat> I hadn't meant to shout at him. A few students around me don't bat an eye at it, though. I'm not even going to try and guess what dino he is. <laughs> Sorry about the yell. Uh, no, it's fine. I managed to get the shot I wanted. The bespectacled boy, I think he's a parasaur, double checks the camera's display and smiles. Yep, perfect. This will be a fine print for the yearbook. Can I see? His grin seems to widen at my interest. Of course, here. He turns the display towards me, showing a shot of the hallway. And me as the focal point. Pretty good, right? I look a little closer and notice that I think it's a little out of focus. And dark. What do you have your f-stop set at? Ah, shit. He stops and glances up at me, pleasantly surprised to get a real answer. Yeah, I'm a bit of a photographer myself. I'm taking it as an elective, too. With Mr... <clears throat> Yadakan? Let me get back to my memorized class schedule. The name does sound familiar. Yep. No, oh, snap. Cool. We'll be classmates. Mr. Yadakan's busy, so he just teaches... He just... Bleh, he just teaches it for one period. He offers his hand out for a handshake. I'm Ben. Inko. Look! Camera nerds unite! Let's go! Yo! Friend achieved. Okay, let's not get that far yet. Acquaintance achieved, alright? Inko, let's, let's not let's not push push the term. I'm actually new here. I kind of figured. Being the only human student this year and all. St. Hammond isn't one of the more popular schools, but the staff put up a lot put a lot of effort into the arts programs. Even the campus itself is designed like a living art piece. So if you ever need help... From the pause, I'm guessing he's offering some help. I wouldn't say no to a tour. A tour, you say? Well, I'm only going back to the principal's office, but I can point out some neat stuff along the way. He raises an eyebrow to himself in contemplation. Might be a good idea to meet the principal, too. Stuff a twink, a dino twink. I mean, he ain't built, so, you know. 
maybe he, he's got a bit of a more slim profile. He, he could fit the bill. This is like the intimate interest kind of a relationship going on. Mm -hmm. He waits for me to follow him. Turns out he wasn't just an avid photographer like me, but also the school council president. Oh wow! We're in with the student council. Let's do it. We oh. have we have our fingers in the student body government. Let's. Get, you know what that means, Logan? We can pull the strings. We got roof access. We got, we got roof, roof access. Seat. Hell yeah! <laughs> One of his priorities was taking photos for the school's yearbook for the first day page. Every few minutes, we'd pause so Ben could take a couple of shots, mainly the students talking with each other. And while I would watch, I had considered helping him in some way. I mean, that camera looks amazing. And then there's all his extra lenses in the bag. I feel absolute elation to know someone that's into photography. But I really want to broach it, but Ben fills the air between us talking more about the school. Which is why we still go by the feather tails, even though I think it's a tad distasteful. Dang, you're pretty good at this. Do you give these tours all the, uh, to all the new students? Ha, <laughs> not really. Although it is something I've thought about a lot. Oh, hold that thought. Hey, Lunara! Ben goes to greet a student putting up some intricate wall banners. Uh, oh boy. Um. <laughs> you, think, you think this is a character that's gonna stick around a while? Maybe. You know what? I'm actually curious if Ben's even a romanticizable, roman, romanceable character. Brother Ben ain't ben. a gator, <laughs> so I'm not going oh, for Ben. We're only dating gators. Fuck. I'm only dating a gator. I'm chasing oh a gator. Anyway, I think Ben's like your best friend wingman. You know where it's like mods will make him, you know, dateable. Right, but, right. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Lunara might be. Uh, might be interested in Ben. You don't want to take that away from her. God damn, I'll pluck her feathers. Obama, you are down horrendous. <laughs> we just met her. <laughs> oh, hey, Ben. You have a good summer vacation? God, here, here's the issue with these games. When I start doing voices, like, style swapping a voice just fucks me up. And I'm going to, like, butcher every voice I have. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I did great. I did great. <clears throat> I did! Great work on the decorations. They look even better than last year's. Oh, thank you. What's all this for? She steps aside so I can fully view the banner she just finished with. The Cultural Arts Club. We meet every Thursday after school and look at antique artwork. She'd initially looked past me to talk with Ben, but she guesses when she realizes... Astute observation. Hey, you're a human, right? Oh, that's a silly question. You should totally join. I just love human culture. There's this amazing set of ancient masks at my... Set of what, lady? <laughs> Are they made of stone? <laughs> From ancient Europe. I just adore them. Wow, that's impressive. I think you'd make a good curator. <laughs> you know what? I probably would. I reject my dinosaurity, Ben. No, don't becomes dinosaur vampire. <laughs> yeah, do you think you think the dinosaurs got a JoJo equivalent somewhere around here? Maybe I was actually <laughs> the earlier when they were talking about their elementary school. I was like, I was hoping they'd say like kindergarten or something, so I could be like, oh, there's German dinos. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what 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 kind of dino do you think Jotaro would be? <laughs> I'm thinking Ankylosaurus. I don't know dinosaurs. Jotaro's a straight T-Rex. Boo! Or Platinum is a fucking T-Rex. <laughs> so, so Jotaro's a T-Rex and so is Star Platinum? I mean, I guess. I'm to, I'm to, they're fighting spirit. I don't know, man. Okay. After that club display during Spirit Week last year, I gotta agree. We spent weeks studying that tribe and weeks more practicing those dances. We also study and paint with those styles, like we're learning the techniques of the old masters. Dude, her voices went like all over the place, I think, at this point. <laughs> Hopefully soon we can get into sculpting, like 
these, like those old Venus statues. We plan on getting one to look at sometime this year. And what do you think? It'd be great if you could come. Hey, that'd be neat. What say you, Inko? Uh, uh, the voices, they're melting! Hmm, maybe I do love culture. Oh, that's great! Oh, oh, listen, we have this old chieftain's dress we've had for ages. We just have to see what it looks like on a real thing. Are they gonna dress me up in the motherfucking... The, the, the... The chieftain duds. I, I don't know where I was going with that. I was trying to think of like something to describe it, but I just resulted back to chieftain. <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. No way, I'd sooner endure a second impact event than wear something like that. Wait! Did the meteor happen? <laughs> <laughs> the meteor did happen. Oh, shit. Well, hey, nice to catch up, Blue and Nara. We got places to be. Take care. Bye. She waves us off, and Ben continues leading me to the principal's office. Cha-cha slide. <laughs> hey, Ben. Yeah, I could, I could do this guy. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hey, Michael. Listen, can't talk now, but I'd love to catch up later, yeah? I'm floored. This guy seems to know just about everyone in school as much as they know him. Talk I thought he was a nerd like things. me. I thought yes. we would I thought we would be basking in the fucking filth together! But this dude knows everybody! He points out a few more minor landmarks in the school and stops to greet a number of students happy to see him after the summer break. Well, goodbye, Michael, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry, Michael will come back later, I'm sure. We got a whole profile for him there. Man, I'm uh, sorry for having to stop so much. No way, I think it's cool you know everyone. If only it could be cool without making this late. Points out a few more minor landmarks in the school, eventually leading me to its biggest draw. The hallway. <laughs> I already knew that this place was known for art, but wow. Just outside the administrative offices, the hallway is filled with wonderful pieces of work. Paintings line the walls, with name placards beneath detailing who the artists were. All created by alumni and attending students of the school. And this is the gala. All of these pieces have been featured in all kinds of articles and presentations. Whoa. I know, right? One moment. Ben turns to the nearest door and gives it a polite knock. Who is it? Until I get a fucking look at this person, I'm not giving him a voice. Yeah. It's me, Principal Scaler. An avaraptor, no older than her mid-thirties, exits the room, holding a steaming mug and sporting a tired smile. That was a good call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good morning, Benjamin. Good morning. Inko, this is our esteemed principal. Me waiting for the Obama comment. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Obama's gonna say that about any female dino, I get the feeling. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Her eyes shoot wide mid-sip of her coffee. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I hadn't noticed. You would be Mr. Ganito, yes? Ganito? Uh, yes, but my name... How wonderful. Jeremy, do not be posting that fucking a emo here. What the fuck? We are not gonna be licking the principal. I'll taste her personal coffee. Dredgerous. Absolutely down dredgerous. Gone is the exhaustion on her face, instead replaced with a very wide smile. I'm so happy that you chose our school for your last year, Mr. Nitu. Ben, be sure to give him a thorough St. Hammond welcome, okay? Uh, I already was. If you ever need my assistance, my office is always <laughs> open, Miss Danito. I already was, and now I don't want it anymore. Well, now I want to push him into the fucking locker. <laughs> Look what you've done, Principal. Not to mention, the student council is also available for help. Isn't that right, Ben? Y yes, Principal Scaler. Thank you, Principal Scaler. Oh, and Ben, a moment, please. Bud? Ben! <laughs> no! <laughs> the Parasaur is dragged into the office, leaving me alone in the school gala. Yo, Ben's porking the principal. 
<laughs> oh wait, there's the scroll, I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> we can watch Ben get taken again. And again. And again. <laughs> Whatever they're saying, I can't hear over the ambient noise of the student body. Either way, it's probably not something I'm meant to hear. I move a few feet away, out of earshot of the discussion inside. On the wall beside me is a framed panoramic landscape of the city, painted by hand. That's pretty cool. Very stylistic. Wow, I could practically use this thing as a map of how detailed it is. No wonder it's hanging so predominantly by the principal's office. The gentle brush strokes, the vibrant colors. My god, even the evening sun bouncing off the windows. And the majestic scarlet sky enveloping the horizon. All of which combine together to give it a dreamscape feeling. Like it's an idealized version of the city. It's... beautiful. I've never been a big admirer of paintings, but I can't deny that this is a masterpiece. Only a teacher could have been able to express the scenic beauty of the city with this level of skill and passion. Arrgh! Incorrect buzzer noise. <laughs> I withdraw my Caven Stone 60 from my bag, and with the compact lenses I keep, I barely fit the entirety of the painting in the frame for the shot. Checking the copy on my display, I realize I left out the title and artist of the piece. The tag says... Dreamscape. Artist O. Halford. Ninth grade. It's... it's over for us, <laughs> art bros. The ninth grader just drew the masterpiece. Damn it. Caving Stone. First place, 201M, 2020. Yeah, so I think the I think the last four are the kind of year we're supposed to go off of. I don't know what the 201M is supposed to be. A freshman did this? Jeez. I look at the rest of the paintings. This is insane. It's all so much better than what I've made. Uh, it, I, like I told you before, Jeremy, I think there's actual drawing. They're gonna be a whole lot better than what I can draw. Oh, okay. Almost all the pieces are beautifully drawn. Acrylic, charcoal, pastel, and not even one photo. Hey, Inko, I'm back. I'm a senior. How on earth am I meant to start measuring up here? Inko? What's that sound? Get down! <laughs> oh, shit. I think the background here. It's, is that an alien? It really is. What else? Is that Siren Head above him? No, no, that looks like a concert, you know what I mean? Oh, with like the sticks? Yeah, yeah, with the sticks. You got the, you got the fucking singer up in the middle. Though he looks like a little not animated. Very, very stiff. Ben nudges me back with the back of his hand as the commotion gets closer. Hey, watch it, jackass! Slow your roll, Leatherface! My leg! I watched as the uh, perpetrator, aggressor, aggregator, Aider. finally rounds the corner and comes barreling down the hallway, speeding right towards us. My instincts kick in, and I stumble to the side to avoid the oncoming collision. For just a split second, I get a look at my assailant. Yeah, the animation is pretty cool. Buh. Obama, anything to say? Nah, I'll take it from here. She could flatten me. <laughs> she could run me over. Uh, I push Obama to the ground. No, this one's mine. Fuck this is you. just green Susie for you. Look, man, don't call me out like that. Stairs. <laughs> don't fucking... <clears throat> Green scales, messy hair, and a faded purple hoodie. She propels herself forward with dexterous hands, spinning the large wheels on her. I only now notice that she's in a wheelchair. Didn't even know you could go that fast in one of those. She glances my way and her pupils lock on the bottom. 
<laughs> I can fix her. You can hear her cripple, like... No, he didn't say fix, he said fucks. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. There's a difference. I, I misread that one. <laughs> they, we, they ain't no fixing here, Jeremy. <laughs> Her gray and gold eyes are marred by bags, like she hasn't slept in days. The girl's entire presence is ghost-like. And that expression, it's like she's looking straight through me. I'm sure she barely registers my existence, but I don't think I'll ever forget about that face. Just as fast as she came, however. Zoom! She's gone. As she leaves, I feel like a weight is lifted from my shoulders. At least until I trip directly into a glass case behind me. Okay, it didn't break, thank god. <laughs> Oof. Hey, watch it! Whoops. The parasaur's hand roves over the display carefully, his eyes filled with worry. You looking for something? Cracks. Usually when another student falls into them, there's some kind of crack or scratch. Yeah, well I don't weigh two fucking tons. I'll make her walk again? That- that sounds wild. That sounds... Are you Jesus? Are you about to perform a miracle? I guess it's just a dino thing. You humans are lucky you don't gotta sweat over this kind of stuff. That happen often? Often enough to drain school funds and repairs. That can't be good. Well, not to brag, but I make do. Wee boah. Blah, blah, blee, blah. I walk into him, show, once again showing his bird side. Look, this stream is gonna be, uh, interesting. <laughs> A vibrato chime echoes through the now empty hall. I freeze. Tardy on the first day. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry to run on you like that. You should get going to your first class. Won't I need a tardy slip or something? Nah, it's the first day. Teachers are lenient. I'm fine either way, since, you know. Uh, one of the be benefits of being class pres. That means you can walk into your classes. I have prior obligations, but didn't want to drop into prod fun at you. Well, I appreciate you dropping into prod fun at me. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, so we will enjoy yourself with your prior obligations. What's your first period? Physical education. P.E. first thing of the day? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about that one, Chief. I think I had P.E. like first, if not first, uh, first class of the day was like first or second. That shit sucked. Ben sucks air in through his teeth in a prolonged wince. Uh, you'll be fine. Gymnasium's down that way. Don't, uh, keep him waiting too long. I need to get going, too. Keep who waiting? I gotta go, bye. Bro. Oh. Whoa, he walks fast when he has somewhere to be. That uh, reaction doesn't exactly instill confidence in me. Oh boy. Are we about to get fucking, like, slammed into the wall? Playing dodgeball or something? Follow Ben's directions towards the school gymnasium. After all the earlier commotions, the first quiet moment to myself. I might as well take it to finally sort my thoughts. Let's see, what do I think of this place so far? It's certainly livelier than any of the other schools I've been to. Ever since I've stepped a uh, foot in here, everything has been so lively. Everyone seems so... exuberant. Makes me feel a little out of my depth, since I'm so used to the opposite. Here, people like that girl are, are eager to share their hobbies almost without being prompted. Everywhere else... Hobbies? I've... She was just going through the hallway? No, 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 the, uh, the Triceratops when I took the selfie and was like, Oh, uh... your jacket's fucking baller, bro. Gotcha, gotcha. Everywhere else I've been, people just keep to themselves. Like, they're only there because they have to be. Well, you do have to be at school, so... It hits me. The school's art program attracts people. The students here don't have to be here. They're choosing to be here. That's why it's so active. Well, alright. What can I do with this information? So I can probably, find, probably be friends with anyone I want, right? No, wrong. 
Hard to say, but with everyone here sort of working with each other's with each other, there's bound to be an insane level of camaraderie too. Maybe I won't even have to try? I'm at the gymnasium now though, so I'll hold this thought for later. Ah, gym class. Where the boys are separated from the men and where people with Herculean physiques are able to show off their sculpted bodies. I'm beginning to remember how much I dreaded going to PE. The innumerable bad experiences from past schools pale in comparison to the many skidded knees and broken glasses. Hopefully this school's PE is a lot less grueling. I don't know, I feel like you have to meet dinosaur standards. You know, one one time in PE, I pushed myself, like, you know, like how they would have like, where you have to run around like at the beginning of PE to warm up. I remember pushing myself really hard because I wanted to get a really good time and I ended up throwing up afterwards. And, and I think that's when it really clocked for me that I hate cardio. <laughs> Alright. As I stand this looks up, like a photograph that like was painted over. Yeah, kind of like a, almost like they put like a paint, like a filter over it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, the paint filter. I, th I was thinking that, I was trying to give benefit of the doubt where like somebody was just color picking and painted over the, the lines, but nah, there was totally a filter. I mean, I, can anyway. I, w I wouldn't be like, I'm, I'm not going to like make a bold claim and say that's what it is. I mean, that someone could have done this. I mean, there's other art, art assets, right? So it's not like they don't have the ability. Yeah. That is just whiplash for me based on the hallway and now we're here. Right. No, I, I, I got you that. I got you there. <laughs> As I stand before the wooden double doors leading to the gym, I'm struck with how empty the area looks. That's followed by me catching the sound of physical activity coming from the gym itself. Shoot, I really am late. Ends are there warning echoes in my head like a foreboding spirit. I peer through the small windows on the door and see students standing shoulder to shoulder. Towering over them is a primate. I, I, I had to reread that to make sure I read that right. Primate, who I can only guess is our gym teacher, with his arms crossed and a scowl on his face. I hope he can get away with being tardy. As I walk into the- I'm gonna die! Oh. <laughs> They're gonna fucking kill me. My first thought is how lucky I am to be alive. I don't even know what was thrown at me, but it might as well have been a cannonball. I spot the gym teacher, and even though his baseball cap, through his baseball cap, I can feel the stare of a of rage pierce my soul. Such intensity that it, the that ideal throwing form, it only missed by centimeters. That was a warning shot. Monkey man. Monkey. Know this and know it well, son. I have a policy. Each of my platoons gets one free miss from me a year, and you just spent it. B I shift my eyes to the students lined up next to him, and they're so stiff with fear that I can't tell what they're feeling. You got three seconds to lay it on the front of your squadron. Why in the great name of KV Drocket, you're late. Well, I... He, he didn't even move. Hint taken, I shut my mouth. The simian scholar starts marching back and forth like a drill sergeant. Listen up, because I'm only saying this once. In this class, we operate on tough love. We learn from our mistakes, so you better pray the Raptor Jesus. You don't forget the Raptor Jesus is canonical. <laughs> Raptor Jesus. <laughs> because if you do... With three monstrous steps, the coach closed the distance of 10 yards to tower over me. I'll be very upset. It reflects poorly on all of us, and that is not something I will accept. So I would love to see you maggots succeed. But if you don't, I'll make it unforgettable. Am I understood? Yes, sir. fan freaking tastic Now then, join the rest of your ranks and stiffen up! Once I confirm my bladder is intact, I shuffle over to where my colleagues stand. Reminds me of Soldier from TF2. Yeah, it, it helps that you can't see his eyes. I feel them staring at me with anger, like I'm responsible for the coach's teaching style. What an appalling first impression to make. 
I should just quit and start over somewhere else while I still can. The teacher takes a second to glance over us, reminding himself of where he was before I had interrupted. Ah, uh, ten! A, a, a ten hut? A, a ten hut? Uh, a ten hut, maggots! You will all drop and give me twenty of the finest push-ups! Those... gut... Those guts best be an ant's far... Jesus Christ. This guy's speaking style is gonna destroy me. Those guts best be an ant's fart off that pristine gym floor or else. It, t it helps that he's got like the military talk down for sure for the soldier comparison. With a violently loud blow of his whistle, the coach also takes his position to show the proper technique. I hide my wince as my knees impact roughly on the ground. The real pain starts as I try to keep pace with everyone around me. My biceps and forearms threaten to splinter from the weight of my body, and the speed of my jerky movements. I never realized just how badly out of shape I was. On your feet, you bipedal slugs! <sighs> this guy, he ain't human. Well, quite literally. Some kind of primate, maybe? A close relative. I can feel my muscles hollering in pure agony as I force myself up from the gymnasium floor. By the time I'm back on my feet, my breathing is heavy and coming out in whistles. From 20 push-ups? Yeah, we are out of shape. Now then, since it's only the first day of school, how about we have ourselves a good old game of dodgeball? Please no. <laughs> Did he say dodgeball? We're dead. We're gonna die. Oh yeah, dodgeball time. Uh-oh. Alright, we got we got our uh, our athletic friend, it looks like. I should have glanced towards the overly enthusiastic dino next to me, who's absolutely elated by the prospect of the upcoming game. I only finished the warm-up and my muscles are already screaming. My knees shake, my lungs burn, and I'm so drenched in shred, shred, sweat that I'm sure I might need a shower after this. That I'm sure I might need a shower after this? I really don't want to play dodgeball. You wanna take this guy, Jeremy? Sure. Aren't we lucky? First day of school and we get to play a game. I... I don't... I don't do dodgeball. Why not? I, uh... Not exactly... All right, maggots! Pick a side and keep the numbers even. This is a suicide match. <laughs> and free for all, too. Wait, I'm I missed gonna it earlier. Kill you. <laughs> Whoa, cal calm down there, guy. We don't even know your name yet. Missed it earlier, so what kind of world is this? Humans and anthropomorphic beings. It's like, uh, apparently, from what we've gathered so far, it's a world where the first impact of the meteor happened, but like dinosaurs, I guess, didn't get wiped out and instead anthropomorphized, and now humans and, an and the dinos are coexisting. And we're at a, like, basically all dino school, essentially. We're the only human here. Damien, why don't you socialize by picking your teammates? Change, you're on the blue team. Wait, but why are there teams if it's free for all? All right, I'm going with the human dude. Before I can figure out the rules for this dodgeball game, the Dilophosaurus. The Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus <laughs> wraps an arm around my neck and brings me to the side of his side of the field. Oh, and one last thing. His leer and tone frees me to the spot. What's the first rule? We only got one. Have fun. <laughs> Gang up on the weakest one. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Wait, what? In a matter of seconds, the gymnasium becomes a full-blown battleground. Dude, they're gonna take my fucking head off. I actually gotta be Sans Undertale. I gotta dodge. <laughs> do my best oh, to shit. dodge the oncoming flurry of red rubber spheres coming my way like bullets. I dive to the ground, avoiding the oncoming projectiles. They soar over my head and pelt my comrades. I hear the blows, and the guttural groans of those who've already succumbed to the onslaught of inflated orbs. Combat crawling away from the fierce front, I entrench myself along the edge of the field in hopes of being ignored. I cast my gaze to the rest of my eyes and... Oh god, it's a full route. So many bod... 
Yeah, how's the first day of school treating you, bro? Dude, this fucking sucks. I'm just standing here. <laughs> I'm just chilling, bro. I look up to see the Finn Dino, the same thing Dilphosaurus, who had dragged me to the side of the court, staring down at me and smiling. What do you think? I watch as he casually dodges an uncommon incoming ball before throwing his own. Name's Damien, by the way. Inko! Nice to meet you. You too! Chrome Dome and Frills! Who said that you have time to talk? Does my gymnasium look like a debate stage? I mean, maybe if we got uh, some of those stands from the auditorium, maybe. <laughs> I know a guy's uncle that could make a really classy podium. I look up at Damien with absolute bewilderment. What is this guy thinking? The coach looks like he's about to explode. Do not play smart with me, son! Keep your trap shut and eyes focused on the enemy! Damien just smiles and gives the coach a thumbs up. As if we I'm aren't in the middle of here. an active war zone. You got it, Mr. Solly. That's Coach Solly to you! And what's the hold up, Shage? You're just making yourself an easy target on the floor. Get up and play to win! Alright, guess it's my time to do something worth. But I'm not exactly I... good at dodgeball. Oh, uh, maybe I could do the whole blocking thing for everyone. That should hopefully make it so that everyone isn't peeved at me for wasting the warning shot. But here's where things change. I can totally turn this around. All is equal in the court. A ball aimlessly rolls on the floor in front of me, calling out to be my ammunition. I'm about to die. I somehow weave through two shots at me and pick up the ball. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it now. I'm on fire, there's no way I'm losing now. I grab on the ball and start blocking any shot that so much crosses our side of the field. Yeah, I'm doing great! Block one, block two, block three! Now I'm really feeling it. I bet everyone's looking at me now. Any thought of playing the game suddenly left my mind like it was never there. Who cares? Even this is more than enough. I can be the st- Hey, new guy. Hey, new guy! A new voice catches my attention. A crimson parasaurus. Big fast chuckle nuts. What? And this oh, is how oh. I died. <laughs> now I'm in the hospital. The floor is cold. Maybe I shouldn't have come here at all. A pair of extremely dirty sneakers enters my field of view. I saw the Jesus Obama I <laughs> down boy. <laughs> You're gonna get up shades. No, give up. <sighs> Did you just kick me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh man, that hurts. How long was I out? Laying down on something soft. Where am I? Sent straight to the hospital, bro. <laughs> my vision clears and I sit up from my plastic from the plastic bed. My glasses! <laughs> sure is bright in here. Oh shit. I broke my sunglasses. Lucky I brought my reserve pair. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Nice. Much better. <laughs> I stand from the rubber mattress, taking the tiny room finally. All alone? Even a school nurse or anything? Oh, there she is. Looks like she's attending to another student who... Has his snout snuck in a cone. Huh. Looking at the clock on the wall, it's already noon. And that would explain the pounding headache. Finally awake, Shades. I sit ramrod straight, the fear of god stricken into me once more. Uh, dino god or human god? We've yeah, already Raptor established Jesus. Raptor Jesus, so we need to- <laughs> we need some consistency here. Calm yourself, cadet. You ate dirt pretty hard back there. Oh man. Yeah. Wait. You did that. I did. Punched you right in the back. Do you know why? 
because I messed up. Be more specific, kid. Because I couldn't be a good teammate and got hit in the face? Err, wrong. It was after that. I don't... Nothing happened after that. You gave up, idiot. No, you gave up. But I was doing well. You think so? I was blocking the balls and all. You weren't blocking anything. You were showing off. You found a single thing you could do and started dancing around like a clown. You focused on the easy thing and gave up the real thing. You were so focused that you forgot to look around for a moment. And here you are. A poster in the back? It is, uh, rather interesting, is it not? Hmm. <laughs> Dude, Coach is already laying on some wisdom. Day one. <laughs> I know a defeated man when I see one, and there's no way in hell I'm letting a student of mine give up so easily. It's the first period of the day, and you're already given up. Either way, that's a pretty bad lump you ended up with. You gotta watch some students, if you know what I mean. I blink a few times and recall the chick that yelled at me to uh, yelled at me to catch, followed by pounding me in the face. That one, she's a. Uh... He chuckles to himself a bit. She's something, all right. Yeah, looked like the devil herself. Anyway, take the rest of the day off, kid. What? I'm telling you to go home. The principal gave the okay. I feel my head again. Another stab of pain. Am I really not good to go back to class? Wasn't I getting lectured about this just a few moments ago? Well, I don't want to give up so easy. No, you should go home to your folks. He scratches the back of his head, slightly embarrassed. Er, right. About that. We tried calling them earlier. Are my parents dead? <laughs> Oof. Solly, are my parents dead? <laughs> Couldn't reach them. I gave a sad half smile. Yeah, sounds about right. I can make it home fine on my own. He nods. When you get back, don't give up so easily. He holds the door to the nurse's office open. I nod and exit the office, Coach Solly closing the door behind us. Oh, and here's for tomorrow. A brown paper bag is shoved into my arms, along with my backpack. Peeking in, I see something blue and gold wrapped in plastic. If you hadn't been late, you would have you could have changed into those. I, uh... Patience, Obama. <laughs> Patience. Good things come to those who wait. Thank you, sir. Next time, Shades, think faster. Got it? Yes, sir. The smile is positively unnerving. Now scram, cadet! Well, this is officially the worst first day I've ever had. As my feet drag along the linoleum floor, I can't help but painfully think of all the failures of the past few hours. No thanks to a very prominent bump on the back of my head. Ow! Worse than everyone here both on a creative and physical level. I know I really shouldn't be bothered by it, but I hate seeing how, just how far behind I am compared to everyone else. I thought I'd make new friends. What was I thinking? I stop and shake my head a bit. What the heck am I doing sulking like this? It's a bad first day, but it's just the first day. There's still all the rest. I still met Ben and Damien. They're pretty cool. I can let my optimism be ruined just because of a bad do dodgeball match. Just you wait, Saint Hammond. Today was a test run. Tomorrow's the real deal. Morning comes. Ah! Okay, we got Iron Dino. That's really the only one I can piece there. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the Dino yeah. Avengers, right? The Dino Avengers. Is, it, is this Wonder Dino? I... I don't... I don't know. I can see Hulk Dino in the Avengers poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hulkasaurus Rex. 
I don't recognize the other two. I don't know. Is this one supposed to be Batman? Yeah, like yeah, I think that is Dino Batman. Okay, so we're That's like so, the Dark Knight Returns or whatever. So we're a, we're a comic nerd. Cause this is this is this is a DC oh. DC Marvel, right? We're a movie comic nerd. That's not. A... Well, you know, I guess technically I, I don't see any comics here, so you're probably right. That, that's a, is that like a speaker system? Damn. It does look like it, yeah. It's kind of crazy. He's an audiophile and a photographer. Holy shit. Yeah, you know it tracks. I hate the mismatched pillows. If I'm honest, they, <laughs> it kind of pisses me off. Does that say okay? That says seven thirty. Let's say does that say three thirty? I'm fucked. <laughs> we well, already used our second tardy. Oh, dude, I might as well just jump out my window right now. I always had a decent internal clock, but it's a new record for me to get accustomed to a new sleeping schedule in just one day, especially with this fully grown lump on my scalp. Yeah, we're bald too, so that thing must stick out like a fucking sore thumb. <laughs> I move an arm from my sheets and feel my head. Yeah, that's bruised real good. Dude, imagine getting bruised by a fucking dodgeball. That's rough. Kinda Could be so worse, bad. though. I mean, we got knocked out cold. Do you know what dinosaur has 500 teeth? No, I don't. Is it one of those ones that's got like 12 rows of teeth or something? Alright, time to get up. I slump out of bed and yawn, stretching my arms and cracking my spine a bit. Jeremy, do you want to look up what dino has 500 teeth? <laughs> Alright. My new room is pretty nice. Did we Search sleep in the same Oh my god. Quite spacious, even with all the sil still sealed boxes. I brush my hand over one of them, the one with my other clothes. I'll get around to open them <laughs> at some point. Oh god, what is it? <laughs> He's so goofy. Do I, Why I does he up? have 500 teeth? Is it like all down his neck? You gotta look it up, dude. 500 teeth. Don't pronounce it. Okay. I feel like that's the right. joke, but it looks yep. goofy. He does look fucking stupid. I feel like the teeth are all in the neck. Why? That's the only way. Why does his Why does his head look like a fucking like bag clamp? You know what I mean? Like you open a bag of chips and you put the clamp <laughs> over top. <laughs> Goofy, oh, eh? Right now, though, it's time for breakfast. What's your ideal breakfast? But my ideal rice and egg. Rice and Perfect egg. Perfect breakfast. Yeah. I'm a I'm a guy who likes a nice, f nice fucking flapjack, some bacon and egg, like some scrambled eggs. Mm, bacon sounds good. I'll have that some my rice. <laughs> a little bit of bacon on top, crumble that shit. I shuffle downstairs into the heart of the house. The morning sun beams shining through the window draw my eyes to look out to the new neighborhood. The driveway is empty. Looks like my parents are already gone for the day. No surprise there, really. It's all they ever focus on. Shiver runs up my spine as my feet step onto the icy tiles of the kitchen. My eyes are drawn to some taped up boxes that are still scattered about on the counters. There's a familiar sticky note on the fridge, and I don't even have to read it to know what it says. At this point, Mom's just wasting paper. The least she could do is reuse the same note and make small addendums to it. I snag a plate from the nearest drawer and open up the freezer. No fresh produce to be seen, but there's still the mostly full box of breakfast burritos. Yeah, I've been trying to appreciate ethnic cultures more. Plate loaded with a couple of minuscule flour-wrapped meals, I set the microwave and wait for the burritos to hopefully not explode or burn inside. While I wait, though, I check my phone. I scan over my newsfeed and check out some of the, new, uh, the people I'm subscribed to, hoping there's something to watch during my meal. Unfortunately, nobody posts videos or streams this early in the morning. Guess I'll just watch a suggested video then. Prop my phone up and click on something random. At the ding of the microwave, I retrieve my breakfast, carrying it carefully so I don't burn my hands on the bottom of the plate. I give the first burrito a test bite and... Ugh, inside is still cool. 
I don't want to stick it back in, though. The tortilla would just become a brick then. Shrug it off, continue chewing, and watch my phone. Wow, depressing. <laughs> Top of the morning, folks! By the time the video ends, I've finished the last of the half-thawed burritos. How come, like, is Jack Septic Guy, like, the most referenced, like, content creator in video games? Like, I feel like I've seen him as, like, a hit, like, an Easter egg in so many fucking games. I'd be, like, for me, I know who Jack Septic Guy is, but I would assume Markiplier. If, like, you asked me who was the most referenced content creator. Like no, video game wise. Because like see, I've seen Markiplier in a handful, but like usually whenever there's a Markiplier, there's also a Jacksepticeye one. Yeah. Pocket I wonder if my... people see Jacksepticeye as more attainable. Maybe. To like be given a shout out in their game. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, it's just like, maybe it's just, uh, what's the word? Anecdotal? Based off my own experiences, that's just what I've seen. Maybe mm -hmm. I just haven't played the one where like other shout outs happen, but you know, Subnautica. Yeah, that that's one. Did you play Subnautica, Jeremy? I know I said you should. No, I have it though. I did. I bought it during a sale. And so. you haven't seen anything on it, right? No. Oh, you need to play that, Jeremy. That's a that is a game that I would definitely be tuned in for. <laughs> I, I I love that game. It's an amazing game. Okay. Hell, I'd be willing to co-host on that shit. Though, I mean, I, if actually, you want to do a solo experience, that's perfectly fine too. I mean, as long as you don't spoil anything. I, just dude. Fine. Okay, so Sky played Subnautica, and I got mad because Sky s looked stuff up. Trust me, I am not gonna spoil shit. Pocketing my phone, I slip the plate into the sink and head out for the day. This time, I'm at least getting through the day. Today, survival. Tomorrow, thrival. I'll work on it. Keep looking at her face like it, it, this looks like a mustache you know like a thin little mustache off to the side mm -hmm. like you yeah, can imagine I on the it. other side <laughs> on the metro again I take a little more time to check out my surroundings the sun shines through the windows across from my normal seat there's just one chick that was here yesterday probably on her way to work it's probably a set routine for her at this point she always does a bit of makeup first and then checks her phone for the rest of the way when the sun shines through the window, it highlights her hair in a really neat way. Like a movie poster, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Big man! I take a picture, but it might be a little too awkward for me. Also, everything's disappeared. Why is it so dark? <laughs> How's Saint Amon treating you so far, Mr. Nito? There's so much description in this game. Well, they gotta give the description, right? It's the visual novel. A voice so deep I feel it reverberating my bones calls from above. Well, I can't do deep voice. Oh, it's a beluga. Beluga. I'm taken back by his authoritative stature. His head is nearly grazing the top of the passenger's car. How did he even get in here? Oh, I, uh, it's been great so far, Mr. Ferris. He offers out his hand for a handshake, though his palm alone smothers my entire hand. How do you know my name? You're clearly going to school. The nearest one is Saint Amand, and I'm already aware of the new students, if you don't mind my profiling. Oh, you got all that just from looking at me? I'm partially joking. Your phone name is printed on your backpack. You know that I was gonna say, right? man, word travels fast about a random <laughs> new student. Yo, it's the Humi, get him! <laughs> I would not be putting my full name on my back. I wouldn't even be putting my name on my backpack, honestly. Fuck that. Because my backpack don't get off my back. It either stays right next to me or it's on my back the whole time. You know what I mean? Yep, yeah, that's me, all right. <laughs> but please. I know it's only been a few days since the year started, but I'd like to hear your opinion so far. Is this a questionnaire or something? Not exactly. 
but it is of some importance to an assignment of mine. What does that mean? Well, what am I being so secretive for? I'm here to audit your school. See, the teachers know the students. Make sure it's a proper place of learning. I wish it was something worth being secretive about. More often than not, it's just paperwork and office politics. Oh, uh, alright then. My thoughts on the school so far. I consider telling me about a teacher nailing me with a dodgeball to make a point. Nah, I'm over it. Well, the classes that I have are great, and the teachers I have are a deny dynamic bunch. He thumbs the inside of his coat pocket for his pen, but besides he doesn't need it yet. I see. Any favorites? I mean, I don't like to have favorites, but all the staff pre seem pretty lively. Ferris lets out a heavy, rumbling chuckle. That's certainly good to hear. And what of your fellow students? Made any friends? It's been a bit of a struggle, but it's always been that way for me since my folks move around a lot. I think I'm doing pretty good this time around. Why do you think that is? I think it's the jacket. The jacket? <laughs> I gave my lapel a quick tug for extra style points. We're a fucking nerd. The Coastline Cotton Nylon Bomber number 32. Part of the latest catalog by ANF. I see. Does he need to lean so close to inspect it? If the carriage rocks in any way, he'd probably turn me into a piece of modern art against the window. Damn. It's kind of graphic, isn't it? And that's really what the youth are into these days. Hey, the results speak for themselves. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're so comfortable about thinking around this, dude. Look, man, the jacket is my confidence slayer, okay? <laughs> Wearing this gives me what I need to be able to talk. Whatever he's thinking about, it's got nothing to do with his work. I think I have a pretty good idea on what it could be, though. Mr. Ferris? Do you got no swag? Damn, we just called him Dripless. Oh, um, well, I guess that probably answers it. I admit to being a little gray. I'm aware I'm not exactly with it anymore. Well, even though the generation can dress to impress, you just have to see what people today like to wear. I'm certainly willing to listen to you for the day, yes. It is somewhat important to my job to know how the student body thinks. My niece often suggests dressing more relaxed, whatever that means. Does she ever see you in casual clothes? I'm wearing them now. Looks looks him up and down. I can save him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The rest of the trip is quick, but we continue with small talk about trends. When we arrive at my stop, he attempts to give me his business card. For someone whose mere presence could stop a fight, he seems like a genuinely nice fellow. Look forward to talking to him again. Oh god, those burritos were a mistake. My stomach is roiling after the warm-ups. Alright, maggots! Today we'll be working on your cardiovascular system. No! Why? By that I mean a good old-fashioned mile run! Logan. Look at that purple silhouette. That's like undeniably. That is Susie as fuck, bro. <laughs> Just Susie. I want everyone out on the track field yesterday! There's Damien's mouth open as soon as Coach Solly yells the words. Jeremy, do you remember doing the mile run? Yeah, I remember doing mile I remember runs. being dog water at the mile run. Like, I'm talking like 12 minutes. Or was it just like you couldn't run for a long time or my, you run really slow? My, my, I, I can't run long. So you have to yeah. go at a way slower pace and like take walk breaks a lot. Yeah. Like I got a little better about cardio when I was, uh, after college. Cause like I was at home for a while. And so I was like on the treadmill and everything. And I could get like a mile on like the, tr uh, the elliptical down to like sub eight minute, which I was happy with, but like, <laughs> holy shit. I'm, I might be good at upper body exercises, but anything with my lungs, it's game over. I can't yeah. do it. 
your, your lungs and muscle too. Not really, it's an organ, but... It's, it's the heart, it. right? The heart. And that's the muscle, because it's got to pump all that oxygen. And if it can't pop it, pump it efficiently, you just start going, <gasps> I'm dying! I'm gonna fucking die! Like I did a, um, there was like this like extreme obstacle course type deal, right? That I went to with uh, my parents, like a, I want to say two years back. And like the first part's like a long ass, or like the whole thing you run throughout the whole thing, right? And I was like at the back, because like I was just like, I can't do this. Like I can do all the other stuff, like there was like one where you had to like, fucking there was like a pole that you had to like climb across like over like some freezing water and I was able to get all the way across and there were like some jack dudes that weren't making it right so that was a big fucking confidence boost but I, like other than that whoa, <laughs> my ass was chugging and no Damien that doesn't mean I want you to time travel unless of course you mean running so fast that you hit 88 miles per hour and just as quickly, Damien shuts his mouth again and shoots Solly a thumbs up. Okay. Solly's only reply is to let out a snort. Double time it now, cupcakes! There's no hesitation for me this time. I follow the rest of the class and do run and do the run Solly wanted. As expected, I rapidly fall behind the pack. Yo, same. Literally just talking about this. Hey, Inko. Nice of you to drop by. How are you doing? Damien, wh what are you doing back here? He lapped us. <laughs> Keep in mind, new buddy company, of course. What are you doing? Ch trying not to vomit. You're doing great there. Thanks, I guess. Shouldn't you be at the very front of the pack, though? <laughs> Next to Mia. Nah, man. Not her. She's the one who beamed us. <laughs> oh, we got a name. Mia? Mia put your M-I-A. It's true. <laughs> Yo, that was cold, Jeremy. <laughs> you know the one who knocked you out yesterday? A brief flashback reminds me of the red Parasaurus. Ah, uh, her. By the by, glad to see you doing way better today. You're even up and running. Yeah, glad I didn't wind up with permanent brain damage. Hey, question. Was what happened yesterday uh, normal around here? Well, Mia's a wild one, that's for sure. Best not to mess with her, unless you got those kinds of chicks. Or unless you're into those kinds of chicks, in which case, be my guest. Well... You hear me, <laughs> Obama from GTA? Looks Boys. at the screen. <laughs> As for Solly, yeah, he's always like that. You'll get used to it, though. He ain't that bad a guy once he warms up to you. If you say so. Hey, don't worry, man. You're gonna fit right in. No time flat. In fact, you, you should sit with us at lunch. That way we can give you the proper welcome and stuff. Lunch? We? I mean... Inko! Damien! Don't fall behind! Sully's voice snaps me from my mini stupor and makes me realize just how far behind Damien I have fallen behind the rest of the class. <laughs> Whoops. Better catch up to the others before Sully brings out the punitive measure. Uh, excuse me, the what? You don't want to find out, brother. Trust me. Bye. What? <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's jet. Before I can say another word, Damien gets behind me and starts pushing me forward, forcing my legs to move faster than they <laughs> ever should have. Trips and falls, dies. I have to struggle not to trip over myself, but somehow, I manage to keep up the pace that Damien was forcing my whole body to maintain. Damn, I be sweating <laughs> up, it's over. Five minutes and three more laps later, I fall flat on my ass, my heart beating so fast and lungs burning so fiercely that I, every breath feels like sandpaper scraping against my throat. Did we do a mile in sub seven minutes? Holy shit. Yeah. Regardless of that though, I finished the jog. That ain't a jog, brother, that's a sprint. <laughs> I mean, it was mostly because of, of Damon, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he was powering us, but still. <laughs> That shit's gotta be rough, especially if we're out of shape. I think my best mile in school was like 
early eight minutes. And I remember being like, because the coach was like, all right, you're done. Like, that was your, that was it. And I was like, that was it? For I don't know why, but I was like, I'm going to do one more because I don't think that was it. Man, fuck you. I did one more. Well, okay, hold on. Because you know how it's like, oh, when you beat your time, you get like a grade boost or something. It was early in the year. I didn't want it to be so impossible. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to 10 minutes or whatever. Fucking 11 minutes. Like, that's my norm, man. Man. Maybe you're just better at cardio than I am. No, I mean, my lungs give out too, but I don't think we've ever... We haven't had PE together, so... We'll tell you what, when, whenever you come to visit, we'll go hop on the treadmills and see who fucking passes out first. Oh, man, it's gotten so much worse, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm not exactly in peak condition either, cardio-wise. <laughs> so, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> the first step towards conquering my physical weakness. Good job, maggots! Keep this up and you'll be soldiers yet! Sully turns to me and with a slight grin shoots me a thumbs up. Okay, that's all for today. Hit the lockers, cupcakes! <laughs> Damien just drags us. <laughs> Damien helps me back up and I join the rest of the male students as we head back to the locker room. We talk a bit more about our interests and other school matters on the way. Damien filling me in a bit on St. Hammond's history during the three years he'd been in attendance. By a bit of luck, our lockers aren't that far apart from one another, but our conversation isn't a real possibility considering all the other ones going on in the relatively cramped locker rooms. There really isn't that much more time to chat before the bell rings for our next class switch. Ooh, I like his drip. I, I, I usually like like the uh, tied jacket around the waist. It's a nice, uh, nice aesthetic. I wave goodbye to Damien and start looking for my next class. It's one of those things where it's like, we always just see you in the PE clothes. And it's like, oh, Ooh. outside. It's just crazy. Stairs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. Don't forget, lunch with the buds. I nod and reply as I turn around and head down the hall towards my next class. Isn't that kind of funny? Lunch with the buds is how I met you guys. Yeah. It was with Alexis, right? Uh, I think it was with Kane. Because I met Kane first. I'm oh, pretty sure. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. I thought it was Alexis for some reason. Uh, I want to I, I wanna say I knew Alexis. I think you were the one I met at lunch. Because I think I yeah, met definitely. Kane first because no, he was TAing for the class I was in. And uh, we played Happy Wheels on the computer. Oh, man. 2012. What a different time. times, right? Making my way down the hall, I take notice of the surroundings. Though everything about the school seemed pretty normal, there are some key modifications made to better suit the majority of the student body. Mainly water fountains that settle a good 10 or more feet above me. Overall, nothing crazy special. This next class I'm sort of looking forward to. AP Art Design. The class looks like it's in a studio classroom on the second floor. Part of the school here is built to be both inside and outside, with open ceilings and walls here and there. Since it's also the art wing, or since it's also THE art wing, the displayed pictures are coated in hydrophobic layers and framed. Although, since it's the start of the year, the halls are freshly cleared, waiting to be filled in as the semesters pass. Of course, there's no shortage of drains. This hall in particular is displayed prominently in the school's advertising material, and for good reason. The carefully and expertly built dynamic between the surrounding nature and the school, there, the, the, there's, rewind. <clears throat> the surrounding nature, the school, and even the building materials themselves is nothing less than mystical. I can already feel the creative juices flowing. Soon enough, I'm standing just outside the door to my next class. Much like the school wall outside, it's decorated in various colors and patterns, each corner painted and tagged by different students. I barely step foot inside before the bell rings. Not tardy, let's go! Let's go! Since I, was in the la uh, since I was the last one in, all but one of the other seats is taken. It's pretty close to the front. While many of the students look well prepared, 
Some are clearly ready to fall asleep within the first uh, few minutes of class. Then there's the teacher. He's standing up by the board, waiting for me to finish looking around and take a seat. Since he isn't urging me to look for a seat, he must be used to the new students taking it all in. That must be the art teacher. Somehow he looks young and old at the same time. Well, don't want to hold up the class for too long. Try not to take the teacher's hospitality for granted. Take the seat closest to me in the front row. Even with me sitting down, the art teacher still continues to idle, instead staring at the seated students with a hazy stare. Nobody else seems to be paying attention to him, save for a few people here and there. A few students are whispering something behind me. Where was he yesterday? Hey, I'm not complaining about less work. Yeah, but on the first day. Huh. So in a way, it's a teacher's first day as well. So I didn't miss anything in this class. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> Gunshot. School shooting day, too. <laughs> Can't believe this shit, bruh. The teacher slams the front of his desk with both fists, the sound echoing through the room. It's the signal for all auxiliary conversations to cease, and the class obeys. Despite the sudden furniture abuse, the teacher doesn't look agitated. Rather, he's got a massive grin on his face. The phrase winning smile comes to mind. You want to take this one or should I, uh, should I go ahead and get this guy? Oh, the teacher? Yeah. Right then. The pale pterodactyl holds what looks to be a metallic tray on a stick. Good morning. Thank you, Raptor Jesus, for forcing me to wear prescription shades. Oh, they are prescription. Yeah, I kind of figured. Because he's... It, it mentioned he's had, like, broken glasses in the past, and I assume that he's not just wearing sunglasses all the time. My classmates are all wincing in pain and wiping at their eyes. <laughs> and welcome to AP Art Design. He holds up the stick haphazardly. This is a flash pen. So it is. <laughs> saw, an <laughs> saw it at, a, at an antique store yesterday. <laughs> That'd be a good introduction. God damn, you say that one. <laughs> I saw it at an antique store yesterday. <laughs> Dude, look, you heard me waffle before and trip over my words. You understand. I understand. <laughs> it's not important. Worthless, actually. Damn. The class winces as the stick is chucked into the garbage bin and shattered. Excuse my absence yesterday. I had matters to take care of elsewhere. Oh, mysterious. My name is Mr. Yadakon? Yep. We, we, we heard mention of him from Ben yesterday. Mm-hmm. Within the blink of an eye, the teacher has replaced the sun on a stick with a fancy marker and managed to scrawl his name across the board in the finest show of calligraphy. Uh, that's a feather. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and I shall be your guide as we explore the expanse of this creative world. Let's not dilly-dally then, shall we? For a teacher, he's very... Animated? This first week, we'll be going in-depth on the history of the fundamentals of art. Perhaps a little trial by fire to get your creative juices flowing. There's, there, there are murmurs from my classmates. <laughs> Let me try that again. There are murmurs from my classmates, though I pay them no mind. In fact, the prospect of doing some creative work to create something that I could possibly show off? For a brief moment, I picture my own name on the plaque in the hallway outside the principal's office. Next to the nine-year-olds. For now, though, I'd like you all to open up your book to page three. Right, my book. Wait, what book? Wait. Looking around, I see that everyone else has a novel-sized hardcover book opened. Oh. 
They must have gotten them yesterday. Uh. Now then, class, we'll be starting with... Hesitantly, I raise my hand. M Mr. Yadikan, sir? I, uh, don't have a book yet. You, you don't have... How? The substitute passed them all out yet yeah, to... Oh... His eyes flicker open a second as he connects some internal dots. Yeah, you were a little bitch yesterday, weren't you? <laughs> Look, don't call Wait, me out like that. <laughs> the word on the street is that some new kid got concussed so hard he had to leave early. Did did the street at least mention I was doing well before that? Oh, of course not. You're Mr. Nito then. Yes, sir. Given the circumstances, I'll let it slide. For now, why don't you share with one of your classmates? After class, I'll write you a note that you can give to the librarian. Thank you, sir. I kind of regret being so late, because the only person I can realistically share with, the, with is the person to my side. So, uh, hey. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wasn't she the one speeding through the hallway yesterday? Just like back then, I feel her gaze piercing. Er, yeah. Just like then, I feel her gaze piercing and cold. As if she's not even seeing me next to her. Would it be okay to share the book? It'll only be for today. Damn! That is a <laughs> slouch! <laughs> Instead of a verbal response, she lets out a defeated low growl and I just, like I just spit in her cereal. She then huddles back over her page. Well, geez, sorry I asked. Obama down, smacked you with a fucking stick. It's only the first real day, maybe I won't need it. Olivia, come on, share him with th this one time, please. We got a name. Olivia. Also, Kane, say something, you freak. I am here. And I'm freaking. What is this? Uh, dinosaur human visual novel. <laughs> Did you purchase this or is this free? Purchased. It's like $15. What the fuck is this liquid on my goddamn desk? Oh man. How do you have that's, mystery that's substances, bro? What the actual fuck is this? To be fair, there was a there's a spell of time where Kane would be drinking with us on call and he would just constantly spill drinks on his desk. That's <laughs> very true. Kane's a touch soft compared to us. Alright, I'll turn him up just a bit. What the fuck? That, that's just him, yeah, you gotta turn him up. Audio wise, I already had him turned up, so I'll just. Yeah, me too. Work. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. I think. I think I might have spilled something on my desk at some point. Like, <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, you know what? what? It might have been when I spilled beer on my desk. Uh, uh, why is it always alcohol? Mystery beer. What else am I going to drink in my. Well, I guess milk, but. Milk boy, milk boy! That's me. Um. Yeah, but this shit is growing a culture. Uh, so it looks like this has been here a while. How do you not like clean uh, your desk? I do clean my desk. Uh, obviously like, not if there's a fucking culture growing on your desk. Well, it was under the keyboard. I guess I just didn't move the keyboard. I, like I thought I cleaned everything. Anyway, this is really gross. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this and I'm gonna mute myself. Okay. Like, can I be the alligator? No. Okay. You can be somebody else though. Alright, I'll be I'll be back. Yep. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? We just recruited somebody else to help with the voices. That's that's really oh, all yeah. we fucking need, bro. <laughs> okay. Motions for you? Oh yeah, yeah. I already told him I personally resolved the issue. Just help me out here, alright? She responds by making a show of sighing deeply, rolling her head back and around. Ordinarily, there'd be a groan to go with the gesture, but she remains silent. 
Her head hangs low in defeat, and she nudges the book a few centimeters closer to me. Wait, is she mute? Oh. Maybe. Uh, thanks? I slide my own desk closer to her, just enough that I can read the page. While our teacher orates the page as if reading from Death of a Hunter, I follow along while simultaneously trying to capture anything that stands out into my own notebook. A lot more difficult than expected as Mr. Yadikin seemed to put emphasis on every word he spoke. Blah 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 blah. I felt like I was just copying the page wholesale. Blah 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 blah. My eyes turned from the book to the girl's notes and. I don't know if that got picked up. <laughs> I heard it slightly. I don't know if it went on stream. Okay. Those are some very murderous looking claws still on her fingertips. For a split second, I see them retract. She wipes her fingertips on a small hand towel and... Barely on stream? That's good enough. Oh, the claws extend again into a bright red puddle on her desk. A singular red colored claw is pressed on her paper for a moment, then quickly tugged and twirled and twisted. Even behind a bright red cursive sentence on the page. She's so she's writing with her claws? That's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Cool. Those silver irises flick my way once more. No, not mute. What? Er what oh. you're doing. That looks pretty cool. A hit of a hint of red creeps across the girl's cheeks. She looks back at uh, the book and hunches her shoulders as highly as she humanely, dinoly can. Huh? She's now leaning over her notes too, even using the book as extra protection for the pages. I should be focusing on my no own notes. Yeah. An impossible task now though, as the colorful calligraphy next to me has piqued my curiosity. The quill talon continues to delicately etch notes onto the page. And it only leaves the page to dip into what looks like a tiny paint palette at the edge of her desk. The clock sends again, and now there's a faint rumbling. She's vibrating, bro. She's going to blow up. <laughs> What's going on? Hey. I hadn't meant to get caught up in it. Sorry, uh, wait for her to give me a name. She doesn't. She simply returns her focus to the book between us. I wonder what her deal is. In either case, I turn my attention back to class. Hope I can make up for lost time. It's hard to ignore the gator girl, though. Especially when those icy gray eyes of her feel like icicles poised to stab through me. Hey, wait a second. Those hand motions. She's not writing anything right now. She's drawing. Well, it's none of my business. But I am rather curious. I make a show of leaning back to yawn. Now I can see it's... Oh, it's a calligra calligraphic, callig calligraphic doodle of me. Yeah, it looks like she's writing in blood. A little bit. There's no mistaking it. That's my jacket and sunglasses. Oh yeah, like a side profile. I see it now. That's pretty cool ever really drawn me before well there were those others on the first day of school but that's different they weren't using their own claws or ink oh man i can't wait i gotta ask for a closer look smile hey your picture is super cool can i see it squint she glares me in the eyes but slowly brings out the sheaf she was doodling on with the paper more visible, I can just barely make out all the important details. Line work is sharp, each stroke an organic curve that when combined formed what happened to be me, or what had to be me. It even had my glasses in the negative space of the head. Though what was with multi though what was with the multiple swirly lines coming out of my drawing's head. Yeah, this is great. She rolls her eyes and starts retracting the page. Can I take a picture of it? A pause. Why? Nobody's ever done something like that for me. I want to remember it. She passes the paper over to me. Sure. Whoa, really? Thanks. 
Don't mention it. But don't. Hmm. I've returned. She's nice. Hello, Cade. Did you <coughs> clean up your fucking culture? I cleaned up the culture. Okay. I have eradicated it. I committed genocide. Okay, I didn't ask if you went that far, but good for you. Cancel me if you want. If it's necessary. I did nothing wrong. I did what I must. Judge lest ye be judged. <clears throat> After a grueling period made worse by my own anxiety, the bell rings to set us free. <laughs> Finally, freedom at let. Oh, sorry. Just stay for a minute longer, Inko. I get some sideways glances from the other students as they leave, no doubt suspecting my teacher's pet already. Dude, she talked to you. How did you fucking do that? <laughs> I'm sure that's it. With few strokes from his pen, Yedekin's hand... Yedekin hands me a note. Uh, just show this to the librarian. I'm... <laughs> She'll hand you your book. On your way now. Get the fuck out of my class. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I ain't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Quick trip to the library earns me my missing books. I haven't got a fancy laminated library card. Wow. Yadikin's introduction to his class certainly has me excited for photography next. First stop, though. Lunch. Can't take pictures on an empty stomach. Ooh, lunch. Between my lackluster lunch breakfast and gym class, I'm starving. Despite my hunger, though, I'm stopped dead in my tracks as I look around the cafeteria for a place to sit. Where's Damien? The whole place is overtaken by lawless anarchy. I've never seen a riot this intense. A few students have even crawled halfway up the wall, hanged by the decorative vines. Food flies about everywhere, utilizes ammunition rather than sustenance. And yet the security guard by the door isn't moving. This must be... Acceptable? I shudder to think what would be bad enough to warrant him taking action. I've never seen anything like this at any of my old schools. But more importantly, all the clicks have already formed from the previous day. I missed my chance to sit with another Damien! Wait, it's only the second day. Why am I acting <coughs> as though it's too late for anything? It is. Yo, Nico. I'm shoulder checked up. from behind by what feels like an oversized fist or undersized boulder. Where's the president? If I wasn't already by a wall, I would have either been sent spiraling or made into roadkill. When I turn about, I'm met with Damien's toothy grin. <laughs> Ow! Wh what? What? <laughs> already forgot about me? You don't got anywhere to be, right? I, uh... Yeah. You stuttered. Come on, we're going somewhere. Oh no. Eh, may as well, right? They make silently motions at me to follow through the traffic of students going about the lunchroom. Peering in through the crowd, waving me over, and disappearing again like he's out running something. It's a good thing I hadn't gotten my own lunch yet. I'd be dumped on the ground about three elbows and a slap ago. I don't like this crowd noise anymore. Through the clamoring, I hear something about a turf war restarting with the new year, and that the megalodons will continue to rule. Somewhere mixed in is an undeniable sound of a steel chair clattering <laughs> to the ground. The place is an actual war zone now. How on earth is Damien able to weave through these guys so easily? Where is it? Where is it? Show me the chair. I thought that was in game for a second. <laughs> Eventually, he leads me to the far corner of the room, and to his usual lunch table. Oh, hey, you're alive. I think one of my ribs is cracked. That's just the school spirit you're feeling. Ugh. I feel less like a person, more like a well-used punching bag. I'm just stretching my wounded back and actually check the table. It's basically empty. There's only one other person here. We're so in. Yeah. The gator girl gives me an unamused raised brow. Uh, hey, you. 
<laughs> oh snap, do you know Olivia? Olivia, right, yeah. <laughs> the one and only. Why didn't you tell me you met already? Because I only sort of did. We're in the same class. <coughs> ah, okay, I get it now. Uh -huh. Still, that sounds awesome. All my lunch buddies are artists. All? Oh yeah, there's usually a third in our group, but she's out screwing around uh, with another guy. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, mama. Got a love interest for you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that route's locked unless you buy the DLC. <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably be back tomorrow. Student council stuff can't take that long. Oh, we got the other the end. Council. <laughs> What's she need with the student council? Oh, she doesn't need anything with the student council. She's in it. She's the treasurer. It's a heist, baby. <laughs> Treasurer? Something like that. What do you think, Olivia? Olivia just grunts in reply. She doesn't even bother to look up from her lunch tray. Aren't you an artist too, Damien? No, I don't got the patience to sit around for hours like that. So you're not taking advantage of the art programs here? <laughs> don't really need them. I bet he has the worst art. Home's just real close by. The only other artist here today is Olivia. His arms wave over Olivia as if he was presenting her at an auction or something. For her part, the gator girl just grunts again. Well, what do you do then, Olivia? Finally, she looks up, turning an indifferent look my way. Did she say something? What was that? <laughs> The ambient war noises are a bit too loud. Can't hear a thing. Sorry, I can't hear anything you're saying over the... Don't sweat it. She's just a real quiet type. I paint! <laughs> Whoa, hey. Let's calm down. Holy hell, her voice sounds so raspy. As if she'd never drunk a drop oh, of a water smoker. in her life. I paint. I paint. <laughs> Can't you see what I'm doing over here? Hey, I'm <laughs> painting over here. Guess I hadn't noticed before when she gave those one-syllable responses, but for someone's voice to be strained from a single shout? She furrows her brow and looks back down at her lunch. Oh, snap. We've been standing around for a while. He sits back in his own seat and takes a huge bite of mystery meat steak. Right. Food. After the workout and poor breakfast today, I'm particularly famished now. But... The line... All eyes look to where the lunch line should be. It's become a full-blown riot. Someone's got a fire extinguisher trying to stop it. Uh, I probably should have waited for you to get yours. <laughs> Whoops! Damn it, Damien, you bastard! I'm gonna starve! And it returns to a steak, rather aggressively. But who am I to question <laughs> dino etiquette and the act of using one's foot to anchor the food for tearing? Suddenly, the sound of squeaking rubber draws both of our attention towards Olivia. She's holding onto one of her wheels, having <coughs> just skidded it across the granite floor. Uh, oh, what's up? She tilts her head back towards the courtyard door behind us. Looks like there are a few vending machines out there. Huh, I guess I'll check them out. I leave the group behind to go try and get lunch. Not a fan of soda and chips for a meal, but it's enough for wartime survival. A fucking MRE, baby. Hey, this thing accepts credit cards. Handy. Feeling like... Oh, favorite... like before you choose, I, I actually have a story about okay, something for similar. I, I, I was at an aquarium recently. Right. You know how, like, those kinds of locations, like, like a, a theme park or something, they have the penny machines mm -hmm. with like designs of the you know, various attractions <laughs> so at this aquarium they had a few of those around but they were you could pay with a credit card <laughs> and um i don't know if jen's in chat it was like four dollars for like a shit ton of coins or something like that was it four dollars something along it was a dollar a penny basically okay, which okay. is outrageous <laughs> but 
I'm pretty sure that's how much around how much they were anyway. Uh, but anyway, it was a very confusing system. Yeah, four dollars for four pressed pennies. It was a confusing system because we were like, "What the fuck?" Like we didn't buy anything. But you know how you see those machines with the giant ass crank, and you just want to crank it anyway. Right. Yeah. So, apparently, other people bought pennies, but they didn't know you got four pennies out of it. For, they were just content with getting for paying four dollars for one penny. <laughs> so. And you're like, I'm we eating were, it big now. Yeah, we were cranking the machines, and like literally three coins came out with like each machine. Damn. It was insane. I think we got seven free pennies that day. You robbed them blind, man. <laughs> got away with murder. Cut, no, you got away with pennies. Let's not be crazy. <laughs> Alright, my favorite color is drywall, store brand soda, pretending to be on a diet, baked chips, or a huge fucking idiot. I'm going to get a sports drink. I think drywall sounds the funniest. I'm going with the soda. Soda. Because that's what I would do. I pick out a few other brands I recognize, enough to tide me over for the rest of the school day. I bend to pick up the bags from the dispenser slot, and... That green chick's looking at me. She green. notices... Yeah, I think the... Olivia. Olivia? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess She so. notices me gazing at her and hunches over again hurriedly. What was that all about? I mean, we know her name. <laughs> Right, making new friends. I buy a few extra sodas for the table. Carrying everything back in both arms, I place them on an empty spot, sliding a can of soda to Damien. He looks at me like I just tossed him a gold bar. He pogged! <laughs> Whoa, dude, wait, screenshot this, screenshot this. <laughs> <laughs> you got your screenshot, Jeremy. I got my, my sipping tool, hold on, uh, I got it. Yep, yeah, yeah, you good? There you it good? is. Add that to the server. All right. <laughs> Dino Pog. The Dillo boy's mouth opens <laughs> wide as he chomps on the bottom of the can, his fangs piercing the thin metal and spraying its contents down his gullet. <laughs> I toss some over to Olivia as well. She eyes it as though it were a booby trap before taking a bag of chips. Damien sighs happily as he chucks the shredded remains of his can away. Mmm, caffeine ambrosia. What were we talking about before? Oh, Olivia's art, right. She's really good, Inky. I can't be like you wouldn't believe. Can you at least stick to a nickname? <laughs> really? Oh, totally. She's like won awards and stuff. She has? Can I see them? In fact, I could snap some glamour shots for you. No need, dude. I already got pictures on my phone. Are they gonna be like blurry as shit? No, I mean, hold on. <laughs> I pick my backpack up from the floor, unzipping it and retrieving my beloved camera from it. I'm actually into photography. The Dino Man reaches for the well-aged DSLR, and on instinct, I swat his hand <laughs> away. Smack. Hey, Angie. <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. <laughs> what do you think, Olivia? She eyes me up and down with the same furrowed brow. Aren't you the guy that ate dirt in gym yesterday? <laughs> yep. No. <laughs> I shoot Damien a quick dirty glance before returning to look at Olivia. Wait, I wish they did <laughs> more of that nice. colored text. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm assuming that's, that won't be like the last time. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad. It wasn't! And how does everyone seem to know about it? Damien looks aside sheepishly. <laughs> I may have had a hand spreading the story around. My hands go to Damien's oh. shoulder. You what? It was an it was elaborate plot to... Um, well, well what he... happened is someone said think fast and then I went. Uh, I woke up in the nurse's office. <laughs> and I thought slow. <laughs> I thought way too slow. I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, don't worry though, everyone's got some embarrassing story. One time I got my frill stuck in the bathroom stall. Ooh, he got his penis stuck in the car door. <laughs> Not the I didn't need to know that. It took him about an hour to get it out. See? Everyone's got something. Olivia pops a chip into her jaws, her face looking out to nowhere, as if she's thinking of something. Hmm. 
Damien leans close to me. One of his frills extends to hide from Olivia. <laughs> That's useful. Dude, I haven't seen her talk this much since, during lunch since last year. She said three things and one of them was a grunt. Why the secrecy? It's like a secret meeting. Those are cool. Uh-huh. But yeah, this is something else. She's warming up to you, I can tell. He sits back down properly. Honestly, this whole thing is a little creepy. She's probably not a bad person to talk to, but Damien isn't helping any. As eager as I am to make new friends this year, this is definitely not how I thought it would pan out. Maybe it's best that I get through lunch quickly and quietly. At least I have a spot to sit during lunch. Not like I'd have any other options. Yeah, the Megalodon uh, gang would have fucking destroyed me if I tried to sit with them. Uh, ben! <laughs> oh, Ben, here we go. Actually, Kane, do you want to take over Ben since you haven't gotten a voice yet? <coughs> um, sure. What does Ben look like? What is Ben? Okay. He looks a little nerdy. Okay, here, here, yeah, we'll, we'll show you in a sec. A voice rings out to greet me, which catches our attention. I see a familiar bespeckled, uh, bespeckled face walk over to us with a lunch tray in his hands. Are you up to the task uh, for Ben? I don't know. Ben looks a little cringe. He's, he's the student body president. Uh, ben is cringe. Okay, I'll, I'll keep. Do, I'll keep I'll, I will do what I must. Do you want me to keep Ben or do you want to take Ben? You already got a lot on your plate, Logan. Sits down. I'll take over. All right. Um, let's see if I can find a voice. One. <clears throat> Dig deep. Right. Hold on. Sorry, I'm workshopping. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. We're waiting patiently. Uh, it's not the best, but I'm glad to see you made it to lunch this time. Yeah, hey, I was having like a little bit of interference on my mic. <clears throat> oh, hey, <there's laughs> I'm guessing you and Inky here already met. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Introduced myself after I bumped into him the other day. Yeah, speaking of bumps, you should have seen Inky here yesterday. Damien lets out a chuckle as he slaps me on the back, igniting the gym pains in my body and almost knocking so my glasses off. Ben gives a concerned half-smile. This must be my eternal torment for the rest of the semester. Yeah, about yesterday. Ben looks down the aisle of chatting students and signals to someone with his head. Staying ten feet away from us is an imposing-looking dinosaur girl with blonde hair, crimson scales, and sporting a fiery red leather jacket. Was oh, this Mia? Ben motions oh. for her to come closer with a soft smile on his face and a nod, and she smiles back through her own, though her own is noticeably strained. So who's taking Mia? <laughs> okay, oh, no. I'm here. She slowly makes her way <laughs> over, and I notice how some of the students begin to quiet down as she passes by them. Let's let's get a let's get a good visual of Mia here. Uh Boom. not soft spoken at all. Oh, she, it, it did say she had a leather jacket on. It's I over, bros. Where's Obama? <laughs> Obama. I'm waiting patiently. So would better I. be the reaction of a lifetime. Obama has been dredgerous for every single like female dino we've seen. Where is Obama? That's what we're asking. <laughs> Man, hold on. I have, a, I have a thing for this. What do you mean you have a thing for this? Obama. Me, even though we're about the same height. I feel like an ant's about to get crushed under her boot. So is she like a Meg? Can't tell. What do you mean? Is Definitely she like, like a, a shark, yeah. Like a Megalodon. Can't tell with that tail, yeah. though. It looks odd. Um... Somewhere in me, my synapse connects her face uh, to me tasting bright red rubber yesterday. Mm. Really wish it hadn't. Inko, uh, Mia here has something to say to you. Mia stays silent, but strides the last couple of steps rigidly to stand right in front of me. She sucks in air through her teeth.
Sorry. The corner of the girl's lips start to rise. I didn't mean to knock your lights out. <laughs> oh my god. Behind her, I notice Ben wincing. The girl lets out a laugh and lays an arm around my shoulder, her smile growing wide once more. All these dinos are so touching. He creeps... Heat creeps along my face as her muzzle nears my ear, especially when a puff of hot air blows by my lobe. By the lobe. The heat is torn away, though, when I feel her fingers dig roughly into my shoulder, and her sharp kiss of a whisper scrapes my eardrum. That ball <laughs> was me being nice and baldy. Screw the class over again, and I will fucking end you. Damn! <laughs> Nodding and understanding, Mia pushes away from me with a small cheer. Damn, that is sharp. <laughs> See how clear now, Betty boy. Uh, Mia, that's not quite. Oh, boo. You know how I am. Her eyes flutter as she looks his way. Are they dating? Yes, I know, but yes! <laughs> You promised you would be nicer. I know, and I was. So I'll be seeing you later tonight, Benny. Oh, just like you promised. All right. I have no problems being Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just an absolute win. <laughs> <laughs> She waves us off collectively and backs into the crowd, vanishing before either one of us could fully process her words <coughs> and actions. Damien nudges my side. Dude, I think she likes you. Shut up, Damien. <laughs> ben sighs. Uh, sorry about that, Inko. I heard earlier about what happened at PE and connected the dots. Mia comes off as a rough around the edges, but she's actually really sweet. I'll, uh, talk to you about it more later. You and her, huh? Yeah, yeah. Since the start of high school. Logan, if you cuck me, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> New goal! <laughs> Classic jock and nerd pairing. Sounds like you're living the dream. Well, she's really a jock. Uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. You know it. But yeah, I'm sorry for your first impression of her wasn't ideal. It's fine. It's just dodgeball. Not like she was looking to do something. Well, she did want to kill you. Pretty much. Uh, Damien. Hmm. Damien looks up from the. The rest of his meal, having selectively heard his name. Could you not spread rumors around about your fellow classmates? <laughs> no worries. Nico and I are cool. That still doesn't make it right. Uh, sh sure, yes sir, yeah. Uh, he gives Ben like a lazy coming. salute. Ben merely sighs as he places his tray on the table and makes himself comfortable on the seat next to me. As he settles in, Ben notices my camera, still out on the table. Oh, is this your camera, Inko? Huh? Oh, yeah, I was showing it to Damien and Olivia earlier. May I? I feel my instincts Who's kick in for a moment before remembering that Ben also works with a camera. I don't know. <coughs> sure, have a look. Breaks it. I watch as Ben gingerly picks up the camera and gives it a thorough inspection. I must say, as far as standard DSLRs go, yours is a very good quality. It's nothing too special, really. Just something I picked up a while back. Well, you have good taste in camera models. He hands me back my camera, to which I place back into my backpack. Thanks. With something like that, It'd be easy to great yeah, it'd be easy to get some great shots. Well, I do have a small collection in a portfolio drive. A portfolio? Oh man. I'd only just got mine a month ago. 
I bet you've got like a dozen pieces to choose from for the New Year's art contest. <laughs> the football. The what? <laughs> he missed that announcement. Wow, you suck. What announcement? <laughs> the school has an annual art contest at the start of every New Year. It is winter. <laughs> the winner gets a small cash prize. The bigger prize is the fact that the winner's piece is Bye. Where'd she go? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ben, shut the fuck up. Where'd Olivia go? <laughs> we lost one. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. That sounds awesome. Of course, that also means a lot of the students plan ahead and work all summer for something to submit. <laughs> Did you do anything for it, Ben? You know it. Oh, good luck. Liz says she turned in a <coughs> perfect piece yesterday. Okay, now I'm interested. Finally a chance to show my real skill at something I'm good at. Hey, Olivia! Oh no, I thought she was shouting out to Olivia. Hey, Olivia could help you out. With your shots and her art, you two could totally win. Right, Olivia? Turns. <laughs> and she's gone. Olivia. We all turn our heads to Olivia, only to realize that she disappeared. When did she leave? Confused, I scan around the cafeteria, and my eyes manage to spot her through the crowd of students. She's rolling away towards the cafeteria doors, and quickly. Just like that, I lose sight of her as fast as I had seen her. I turn to look at Damien and Ben. Damien not only looks puzzled, but also disappointed for some reason. Ben, meanwhile... Well, he almost looks annoyed that Olivia left. <laughs> Guess she hasn't changed. So it seems. The venomous sting to his words make me feel like there's more going on than I'm aware of. I decide not to pry into it, and instead bring conversation back. Well, I still want to try. You can upload your submission on the school's website. Oh, then I'll need an account. <laughs> you don't have one. <laughs> don't think so. I've been told that I've been told they'll get me that stuff by the end of the week. Oh, sorry. Sounds about right. Truthfully. It takes maybe five minutes at most to deal with that. Then why the wait? Nobody wants to deal with it. Guess I'll wait then. Ben scratches the side of his head. Scratch, 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 scratch. Uh, I think there's someone in Stuco that can help you out, actually. It's the treasurer's duty day today. Oh, we get to meet the <laughs> treasurer. <laughs> 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 So that's where Liz ended up. Fucking mood for that. I don't know any names, so maybe? It's your own fucking council, what? Well, I guess <laughs> I'll get to meet Liz sooner rather than later. You appointed her to this cabinet position. I think I'll take care of that before lunch is over then. See you in class, Ben. What's your thing? Later, Damien. Jesus, man. Tell Liz I said hi. I grab some of the leftover snacks from the table in my backpack and head out of the cafeteria. Finally, I can show off my skills. Show that I'm just as capable of an artist as anyone else here. I'll show them all. I'll take such good fucking pictures, they'll have to let me in. <laughs> it's just another fucking it's photo again. My Those are college. genuinely HP. <laughs> you can see yeah. it right there. Oh man, the computer lab is an offshoot room from our library. <coughs> As for the library itself, aside from an expected emphasis on anatomy drawing guides and the like, it's pretty standard. Not to brag, but the school I was at for my freshman and junior years had a library with two floors. Probably should have read a thing or two with all those resources. Nope. Getting off topic. The computer lab is the focus. The calm tranquility of the library is overtaken by the organized sterility of the lab. Forty standardized sets of computers and monitors line the walls, forming a panopticon around the desk reserved for the teacher in the middle. I remember them being organized differently in elementary school, but for a few years now I've just been seeing this formation. It sounds to me like someone got caught one too many times working on 
more risque art pieces. Oof. The monitors are all turned on, but only one's logged in. Weird, nobody's here. Damien and Ben said Liz would be here, though. Maybe she's in the bathroom? Not one to pry and snoop around, but I'm really pressed for time here. On screen, I see open PDFs and documents. They look finance related and filled with abbreviations and jargon I don't understand. Maybe I can figure out how to create my account on my own? I don't know. Uh, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> Haunted high school! Do I. Kane, do you wanna do you wanna take Liz here? Or should I uh, should I get the reins? Oh, sure. Uh, come on. There. All right. I uh didn't mean to scare you. Well, you did. <laughs> oh, oh, thank Christ! It's just a dino girl with an extremely long neck and not a specter. Now, really, what were you doing to the fiscal report I was working on? I didn't do anything. No. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Tall uh. lady. I've... <clears throat> sorry. I've been working on that all day. Why did you touch it? I didn't. I only minimized it, I swear. Right, I'm here for a reason. Uh, are you Liz? You've already flubbed it. The Brachiosaurus furiously reopens all our windows and for a while types out some information before acknowledging me again. Excuse me? Uh... Ben is probably... <laughs> Are you throwing under the bus? Voice. Well, okay, because here's the thing. Ben doesn't really seem to know Liz. Oh. He just mentioned... Yep. That True. she'd be the one to do it. Damien said that Liz is usually at the table. So I think we'll be on friendlier terms if we mention Damien. Yep. True. I oh. met Damien. He said I'd have to wait for you to sort out my login stuff. Damien mentioned me? Oh, you're the guy that got smeared into the ground in gym class. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Yep. Yeah, I'm Liz. My god, the head is independent. Whoa. Inko. <laughs> but yeah, I'm new here, so I need an account. Not a problem at all. Listed sound and cracks her knuckles as she starts typing away at the keyboard. Alright. I'll see if I can get that done for you. In a flourishing display of spreadsheet software experience, Liz navigates and organizes several documents in seconds. I've always had the general idea that there were a lot of shortcuts and commands, but yeesh! She's resourceful. So, you're an artist too. Hmm? Since you want to enter the contest so bad. Oh yeah, I'm a photographer. Yeah? How are you liking it here so far? She's kind of got like that uh, that chicken thing going, you know, where like the head like can stay like stabilized while yeah. the body's moving. Uh huh. I uh, well, students here usually jump to asking about what they're graduating here for, so they can move more easily. Uh, oh, so they can more easily form connections and collaborate. So excuse me if I might be going too fast. No, not at all. I'm a bit more at ease now that you've just explained it. It's pretty good, although I feel bad about missing most of the first day. Eh, it's not a big deal. Guess not. Although, truth be told, I see those paintings framed in the hall by the principal's office and it does put a bit of rain on my parade. Uh, oh, those. Yeah, I get what you mean. It looks like she's pooping. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, with the arms. I think it's really like that by right design, now. honestly. I mean, it doesn't help when you look at the it's hands. A big one. Yeah. Why are they like that? Mm -hmm. Something about breaking the student's 
egos. Then you end up wanting to improve like crazy so you can reach your goals. Yeah, sorry, my mic was doing like a buzz thing, I think, so I was fixing it. Oh. Yeah. At least that's what happened to me. Is it doing it again? What the fuck? Like 70s detective cop music. I keep checking like the fucking waveform or like the uh, OBS and I'm seeing like the mic mm -hmm. making like a low grade noise. Okay, I think we're good now. Praise? Praise be. Planning on going to university and getting degrees in design and business. And that's just the start. I'm also starting to become an apprentice for art dealings. Getting the right paintings for the right people. My tutor said I'm impressive enough, so I should start enrolling for any and all of the important universities around the country I'd like. Uh, uh wow. I mean, I'm also pretty well off myself, but it never occurred to me that I should be this... Ambitious. Uh oh. Alright, I'm lagging. You're good. Alright. Thank you. <clears throat> what about you? You're gonna be an influencer, blogger, and be crazy popular? You're gonna publish a photography magazine? You're gonna be an influencer, blogger, Logan. We are not going the fucking content creator route. <laughs> I don't know. What's up, guys? Yeah, I'm like one of no these two. I think I'm gonna go maybe this. Mm-hmm. Well, it's something. At least we oh, have okay. a lot of people here. What do you mean? Like, half the school may as well just be in daycare. Sorry if that sounds rude. We've got these school programs and even industry professionals coming in for lectures. It's like some people here are just... Uh, some people are here just because their friends happen to be here, too. No big plans, it seems. Yeah. Wait, you mean like Damien? Yeah, I shouldn't have mentioned it. Shit. He's so cool, though. Don't get me wrong. I hope me talking about him to you like this doesn't come across as douchey. He's definitely the friendly type. He even partnered with me in gym class and dragged me along to sit with him at lunch. Yeah, is that so? Yeah, he was really excited about it, too. And then he introduced you to Olivia as well tried to break the ice so she could come out of her shell. Yeah, how'd you know? She did the same oh, thing boy. with me. I'm sorry about that, Inko. He wants what? to get in your pants. Oh, hell yeah. What, is Damien messing with me? No, no. Damien is great. He's just maybe a little too eager. He considers you a friend to him. He wants... I want to be your friend too. What? If he considers you a friend to him, he'll want you to be our friend too. Oh, our friend. Okay. Specifically, he'll want you to be Olivia's friend. Mm, what's and that drives that? people away, is that? <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. But you've seen Olivia. You can probably tell she's a bit unresponsive doesn't really like to talk to anyone not even Damien so you can definitely try to be her friend but just know that she'll most likely ignore you you don't like Olivia? what? no I do, she's fine I guess I sit with her during lunch after all I, and I'm sure you'll get along with us just fine and hey I'd love to see Olivia make a friend just don't get too invested trying to get her to warm up to you. Damien will always be down to hang out, though. 
and I certainly don't mind. It's just that him and Olivia are nigh inseparable, so if the deal turns you off, then it's not your fault either. There's history to that warning. What does that mean? Inseparable. So, like, girlfriend and boyfriend? No, 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 no. They just... They just live in the same house. Oh. Damien's also just incredibly patient and outgoing. I envy him. But, yeah, he would like nothing more than everyone getting along like best buddies. Unless you're like Damien, and you can be pleasant to a brick wall for <laughs> Your time is probably better spent elsewhere. So, how serious are you about your ambitions? This is going on longer than five minutes. Pretty serious, I think. Well, I mean, she probably already has the account done, let's be honest. Uh, Liz nods. Can I go now? Something to keep in mind, then. I can't be late to my next class, they'll fucking kill me. They will I've actually already tried this a few times. The gym teacher actually threw a ball at my head. <coughs> it's a struggle, but like Damien says, we gotta keep trying, right? Liz gives me a heart, half-hearted smile, but she still seems sad about something. <sighs> Anyways, sorry for talking your ear off about private matters. You still want to get that submission turned in? You even start. She stops for a second on one tab to scan for something. And got it. That was a long ant. It was buffering. <laughs> she motions her head to the back of the room and at the corner <laughs> as it hums to life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I get up and get the paper. Both my username and password here are strings of numbers. I take a snapshot of the username and password so I won't have to remember it. Thanks. Is that Costco? <laughs> it is Costco. Hello. Hello. Anyways, you should hurry. Lunch is ending soon. You have five minutes to get in line. Right. According to the time display on the monitor, I've only got ten minutes left. I meant Follow the ten instructions minutes. on the. <laughs> What'd you say? I said I meant ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you just corrected yourself? You're not allowed to make mistakes, game. You have to be perfect every single time. Send him to the principal's office and have him expelled. No! No! Follow the instructions on the printout, finally getting to the student <laughs> hub of the site. And thankfully, the art contest is displayed prominently across it. Clicking through a couple of links, I finally find the submission instructions. It's simply a matter of putting my entry details as the name of the file and dragging it into the school shared drive. Plugging in my portable portfolio hard, di uh, hard drive, I create a copy of my magnum opus. Then a quick rename, drag it here, and... Just in time. Take the extra minute to safely undock my hard drive and then log off the computer. Looking back to Liz, she's completely wrapped up in her work. I don't think interrupting her is a good idea. Especially after what she said about Olivia and our own time. I have to simply leave her be, heading out of the room the library for class. After all, it's time for the class I've been looking forward to the most. Smile. The day is certainly turning out better than yesterday. Hope I didn't just jinx it for myself. You did. I did. Absolutely. <laughs> My nerves had been acting up when I first stepped back into the classroom. Made even worse when I was hit with another flashbang. Ah! <laughs> After my 20 other classmates had finished laughing, <coughs> Mr. Iadakan made a show of waving a freshly taken photo from a fancy fold-up camera from the 70s. I dubbed this portrait. I don't- I never took French. What the fuck is that <laughs> say? To the end, sans boils. San... Oli. Oli. Hey. After he thumbtacked the shot on a corkboard filled with poor snapshots of everyone else, Mr. Yadakan reassured me and sat me right next to Ben. 
He managed to sum up his syllabus in under a minute, instead taking the majority of the time to go over our first lesson and assignment on exposure and lighting. With each new light fixture he brought out and explained, I felt my mind swirl faster with new possibilities of old shots. If only I had that then, or if I could have used that there. Now that you've had a small taste of it, we'll start you on your first photography assignment. Proper lighting. Salivating at the thought. Yeah, calm down. Can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna drool a puddle on my desk. I love fucking photos, man. <laughs> Mr. Yadakan just finished his first lesson where he'd handed out all sorts of equipment to look over. It's the first time I've handled some of these things, like the enormous box light that was still taking up the entirety of my desk. Remember though, these are just tools meant to enhance the photo. You can highlight a turd all you want, but it's still a turd. The crude language oh. guarantees a chortle from the few half-listening students. The teacher looks over to the clock and hums. Well, I see we managed to finish this lecture a tad bit early. What? <laughs> you said five things. Why don't you take all these last ten minutes to compare notes? Maybe even consider doing the assignment as a collab piece with the classmate. The room is quick to fill with the sound of chatter. I wonder if I... Hey. I turn to Ben and see his eager grin. You wanna do a joint piece? Since you don't know any good spots in the school and all. I pull out the assignment sheet from beneath the lightweight light on my desk and give it a quick scan again. Present a set of photos demonstrating your understanding of proper lighting. You are allowed to borrow one lighting tool and you must take the shot on school premises. But I swear I've handed out this assignment for years now. If one more student just takes a picture of the hallway outside the classroom, I'm going to personally throw them over the railing. Be original, please. I've got the perfect place for it. If we work together, we can even use two items. The offer is too tempting. Sure. I hold out my hand and Ben takes it and shakes it, sealing the pack. My face is feeling weird from all the smiling today. But in truth, I've been enjoying Mr. Yadikin's class so much that I couldn't stop. Why are we zooming in? Feels like I've... It feels like I've the entire world Why? to give Mr. Yadikin's lesson. And the entire world to explore, seeing as ever since the move, I hadn't had time to actually explore Vol... 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 Caldera... Vol... Vol... Caldera... Vol... Caldera... Sure, on occasion I go out on my own to parks and stuff, but who doesn't? Looks around. Besides, I'd be a pretty lame photographer if I didn't go out and find stuff to photograph. And you know what? I've been meaning to do a little looking around here. <laughs> I'm in my head and Ben's just sitting there like, uh, can we go? So to everyone else, this assignment makes them have to explore the school, but I get to. He's so weird. Pretty sweet deal if I say so myself. The hall outside the classroom is only one major photo op. Between that and the murals outside, I'm certain to find something cool. No, the murals won't work on their own. Hey. Since it was my first thought to use them, that means it's likely someone else's first thought. Hello? I need to think outside the box a bit. Think of some way to use the school's the architecture to his advantage in that Inko. My thoughts are disrupted by a weird looking bed. <clears throat> Maybe you should see a doctor, man. Energies are no laughing matter. I'm fine. What were you saying? <laughs> I was asking how you were doing, you know, with school and classes now. Oh, right. I'm doing good. Really good, actually. I'm in a class that I'm 100% enjoying and starting to make some genuine friendships. Compared to the disaster of yesterday, today has been astoundingly positive. That's good to hear. Yeah, we've even got some friends now. Great. Oh, what about your art submission? Was Liz able to help? There's something nibbling at the corner of my thoughts at the mention of long necked girl. Yeah, she gave me my login stuff and everything. <laughs> Uploading the submission oh, was a piece of cake after it. <laughs> Long neck bitch lied me. <laughs> Long neck bitch hit me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, she ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> right. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Right. <clears throat> awesome. Oh, that does make you competition now. I will kill you. <laughs> you Both don't Liz understand. I, I need that cash I need prize. This. 
She told me she had submitted something, yeah? I'm a bit concerned <coughs> since I didn't have as much time at all to prepare anything, but... Hey, everyone's got a chance. You never know. Yeah, she was pretty cool about it, too. That whole friend <coughs> group is pretty welcoming. I think I'm pretty lucky. Lucky? Ben seems perplexed by my statement. You said something at, the, at lunch when Olivia vanished. <coughs> I'm noticing for a silent paraplegic, she sure has a lot of people upset. For some reason Got that sounds some, not good. Right? Yeah. Got some <laughs> hidden drama with her not... too? Yeah, I think it's because no, it's kind of reductive. not really. Wait. Two. Ooh. The Atticans calls out to us, striding over to inspect. I take it you gentlemen are conversing about your assignment together? Uh, of course, Mr. Yadikin. We were just discussing where we'd take our picture. Right, Ben? Mm. Sure. Oh, that's good, Ben. <laughs> I can 100% believe you. Good thing you guys weren't talking about something off topic like gossip. That would be pretty embarrassing using your time right off the bat, I think. <laughs> Especially considering you're currently the subject of some fairly humorous gossip, aren't you, Mr. Nito? <laughs> I'm a Washington man of shame for his words. <laughs> I look at Ben and I can see he feels it as well. If the air around someone needs clearing, clear it yourself. Yeah, I can has a point. <laughs> Maybe once a friendship is established, I can learn more about her. All right, off you go now. And remember to get your assignment done by the end of the week. The room empties out slowly, most of my peers still chatting and discussing their plans for the assignment. <coughs> Before I can continue talking with Ben about our project, the Stu co president is already packed up and exiting the room. Uh, I guess we'll talk later then. Back up my own notebook, I wave goodbye to my new favorite teacher and head off to my next class. Walking into history class for the first time, it's about what I expected to look like. Not oh, great history. Pictures of historical figures, small relics from various regions, and cartography of the Earth during its stages of continental drift. Though I notice that there's a distinct lack of a teacher in the class. Must be finishing up their lunch, I assume. Well, better get a good seat now before they're all taken. Olivia, mm -hmm. don't scare. I need this Three, one. Three, two, one. Guy Gator <coughs> Gator jump scare. I settle myself wow. into my chosen desk. Oh, or maybe Mia. Mia jump scare would be pretty <laughs> yeah. pretty scary. I settle myself into my chosen desk and pull out my history book and notebook along with a pencil. As the classroom fills with more and more students, it becomes a blur of vibrant scales. A few minutes pass, and I'm still wondering where the teacher is. Uh oh. <laughs> The suddenness of the door slamming open stops any and all noise. It's quiet enough to hear a pin drop. Figure walks into class and... Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, sweet heaven, no. He stands there and stares down at everyone. Menacingly. He's the history teacher, too? They usually are. That's Miss Pauline! Fuck off! From where? TF2. <laughs> uh, Alright. Who's gonna be taking history teach here, you think? Should I, uh, mm. should I grab? Yeah. We really need a fourth. There's a lot of people that, <laughs> that are in this game. Utah popped in for a moment, and then Utah yeah, left. Utah doesn't like being live. Uh, Utah's fine being live. Utah just needs a warning beforehand. Mm -hmm. But we are in the streaming Discord. Or in the streaming VC. So yeah, fine. she did join the streaming recording Discord channel. That's true. That's true. Alright. Thanks for walking me to class, Solly. Hold on. I'm gonna go let my cat out really quick. Oh, I didn't see it's <laughs> Miss Crockling. Well, I guess we could wait just a second for Kane. Maybe we should message Utah and see if Utah wants to come join... The, the voice acting troupe. Oh boy. 
We're already like three hours in on this. I feel like uh, we're going at an insanely slow pace, and the average person playing this would have gone to this point in 30 minutes. I don't think 30 <laughs> minutes. Maybe an hour. All right. Let's let's not be too, like... How long have you guys been doing? Uh, we're, we're coming up on three hour now. Uh, damn, that was crazy. <laughs> damn, wild. Of course, Miss Proclay. Too wild for that one. I want that hat. Oh, Wait, is he the soldier also? Yes. <laughs> Are there other TF2 characters in here? Not that I've noticed yet. These are just like the two obvious ones. Oh, thank Raptor yeah. Jesus, he isn't our teacher. The Raptor woman adjusts her glasses as she scans around the room before looking down <coughs> at the paperwork in her hands. It looks like we'll have some late arrivals, but let's get down to business. I know that I introduced myself yesterday, but for any of those who weren't here, glares at me, her momentary glance at me makes me believe Sully told her about my absence. My name is Miss Prockling, and this is history class. In this course, we'll be learning about the history of our primeval ancestors and their advancements through history. You can even say that it'll be like going back in time. Doesn't that sound exciting? Despite her admittedly forced enthusiasm, everyone in class responds with uninterested murmuring. Not sure why, though. This all sounds exciting. <sighs> she walks over to her desk and places down her pile of folders before flipping open her own special version of the history book. With a click of a button, she also turns on the projector to reveal a prepared slideshow for today's lecture. To learn about the extensive history of Saurian, Saurians and their culture is something I've yearned for. If you can turn your books to page 36, we'll begin with the first chapter detailing the earliest interaction between Saurians and hominids. Ooh, that sounds interesting. It was genocide. <laughs> they killed each other. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, humans are problematic. Oh, <laughs> I think I jinxed I myself. Like Every, what were you what? gonna say? What? You said everyone's looking. Yeah, because like he's the <laughs> the one human in class. They're like, dude, and, like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> you did that? Yeah. You, your ancestors killed my ancestors. Dude, it's not my yeah. fault. Come on. <laughs> and your ancestors come behind. Come Wasn't on. Me. Don't be mean. Yeah. Miss Brockling's history class is the polar opposite to Yadikin's photography class. While her introduction to class engaged me at first, things have slowed down to an unbearably slow crawl. My eyes scan over the introductory text of the first chapter. Despite the tension between the two groups, human settlers to the New World would continue to make overtures of trade to the native Velociraptor tribes. Pretty sure I've read this line three times now. Tear my eyes away from the page in the hopes of blinking the boredom away. <coughs> I look up to see the teacher staring down at various papers on her desk with laser focus. Must have stared too long, though, because I end up locked in a staring contest with Prockling. She raises an eyebrow at me. Okay then, write down notes of pages 3 through 7 about the discovery of the new world. Without even fully comprehending the words before me, I'm copying the page down to the letter in my notebook. Absentmindedly, I begin to recall everything that's happened so far with my new classmates. Ben carries himself with a lot of refinement and is easily my first pick as a photography partner. But that Mia girl, she doesn't seem to want to make friends. Of course, I could have figured it out from the cold look she gave me yesterday, not to mention the rude hand gesture. Damon's very friendly, even if he can be a bit too enthusiastic sometimes. Though my encounter with Liz was brief, I can tell she's dependable. Progress in making friends has been pretty good, all things considered. But then there's Olivia. So far, she's still an enigma, coupled with the apparent history she has with the others. It makes me all the more curious about her. Liz said it would be a bad idea to get invested. But in the end, it's effectively gossip and hearsay. This had come... I feel like Go they're ahead. the ones that put Olivia in that chair, look. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, what a fucking accusation. <laughs> like, okay, are you saying intentionally? Or... Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so they took yeah. the baseball bat to the knees? Yeah. Okay. They're like, fuck you, Olivia. And fuck you, this like, is what Olivia you get. probably makes the best art. Yeah. And they, they wanted to win the competition one year. <laughs> the only way we could win is if we take out the competition permanently. Yeah. They beat her with the bat, threw her down the stairs, and then, you know, hydraulic pressed her kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hydraulic press? <laughs> Just, I mean, it's a rich school, you know? 
<laughs> now, <laughs> Mr. Bond, you withdraw from the contest, or I'll be forced to push the button, thereby activating this hydraulic press. Your choice, Mr. Bond. No, 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 it's like, I'll be forced to call in specialists. Hello, welcome to the hydraulic press channel. <laughs> Today, I may help you. we are going to be crushing this girl's knees. <laughs> Look at the slow motion of her kneecap shattering. Whoa. It expels out like confetti. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Man. why'd you have to be details? What <sighs> happened with all the hydraulic press videos. I know, but you don't want to think about that with a kneecap. <laughs> God damn. Succumb is something yeah, of a That must shot. have sucked. <laughs> yeah, you think? Mm-hmm. And what do we have here, Miss Miss Halford? The sudden voice of Miss Prockling snaps me out of my thoughts. I lean my head to see the teacher looking down at Olivia Halford. Okay. Wait a minute, Olivia's here too? As luck would have it, I share not one but two classes with Olivia. And fucking notice. I must have been so jaded from trying to read this in a uh, textbook that I didn't even notice the girl in the wheelchair. She sits in the front row diagonally in front of me. I don't, and I don't think she's noticed the strange twist of fate herself. Only the second day of class. <clears throat> Only the second day this school year. And are we doing class again? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Man, fuck you. I'm an artist. I don't need this history <laughs> shit. <laughs> Rolls out of the classroom. She proceeds to okay. pick up the piece of paper from Olivia's desk. Looks like she's been drawing on it. Though I can't tell what... They are from where I'm sitting. Listen, Olivia, I know history isn't the most exciting subject to learn, but could you at least pretend that you're taking notes? The only response I hear from Olivia is a heavy sigh before leaning her head back down. While the teacher returns to skulking around the room, Olivia hunches over a notebook. Although I don't think those are notes she's taking. Nah, no one would do something like that with the totalitarian teacher patrolling the room. It's an attempt to get all of us to focus, but I'm fighting a losing battle to keep my eyelids from shutting. My jaws clench tight to suppress the loud yawn building inside. <coughs> and Miss Prockling skulks right past me. Just before my drowsiness can overtake me, though, I notice minute movement in the corner of my eye. One of my classmates glances up at the teacher, whose eyes are roving over the opposite side of the room and down to scribble something down. The papers then fold into a neat little note and... Watch as the next person carefully unfolds the sheet and also scribbles on it, before folding and passing it along again. Curiosity thoroughly piqued, I wait anxiously in my seat for the paper to get to me. It's a dangerous game, passing the note along so Miss Prockling doesn't see. If I'm participating, does that make me a slacker? <coughs> the student to my side makes his move to toss the note over. But Prockling starts turning around right then. He flinches and drops hot potato on my desk in a flash. I nearly slam my own paper over the page to cover it from sight. Miss Brocklin continues to lecture about how the raptors and humans eventually started to get along because they traded narcotic leaves or something like that. Yo, we just got high together, let's go. Nice. And as you can see on the board here... <coughs> now! I lift my paper. The teacher, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna fucking take her down. <laughs> <laughs> this is for all those narcotic leaves! Ah! <laughs> I was actually a bad human all along. Evil man! <laughs> Die, dinosaur! <laughs> this was my plan all along! <laughs> uh. Lift my paper. Luckily, there's plenty of space left. As for what everyone else has drawn, a not so solid <coughs> attempt at a race car, rough sketches of some eyes, a bunch of doodles. Names in variously stylized fonts that I could only describe as graffiti, and... Ah, of course. It's not high school if someone hasn't drawn a penis. Ugh. Miss Brockling with stink lines coming off of her. <laughs> Yeesh, better not get caught with this. That being said, I'm drawing a blank. What should I draw? I don't exactly doodle every day. Hmm. Drawing stuff for others is a nice gesture. Maybe I'll try to break the ice a bit. But I don't really know anything about her. It can't hurt to try, though, right? I can think of a few things to sketch out here. Let's see. And and my nightmare. And it's over. The stream's done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was fun playing. Goodbye.
Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Dude, I'm not a fucking artist. I don't know how to fucking draw. Draw a dick. I don't want to draw a dick. Um, draw okay, so a it's, vagina. it's very straight. How did... Okay, let's get an idea of this real quick. All right, undo, undo. <coughs> All right, let's think. Let's think. Draw the Joker. The Joker? Draw the Joker. <laughs> I'm just going to try to draw Olivia, but like, how do you draw the Joker? No, 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 no. Draw, draw the Joker and then put Why So Serious at the bottom. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll try. All right. Get a reference picture. Look, look no, up. I'm drawing from memory. <laughs> there we go. So we got a face. Now, now we need like the big smile. So drawing Batman characters from memory. <laughs> and like, and like his actual and his actual so smile is like right here, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. And then he's he's got he's got he's got like the eyes here. He does have eyes. He there. does have eyes. <laughs> and and if I remember correctly, he has a big old clown nose. I for don't honking. Think he has no, because there was that one episode of Batman where like, like he's like, Hello Batman, and he honks his nose and like poison gas shoots out and blinds Batman. Uh what happened? Yeah. Joker does not have a clown nose normally. He does have the clown nose. He's not like normal. You guys are tripping. He has the clown nose. Uh -huh. He doesn't have a clown nose. He 100% has the clown nose. The Joker not has even a, like a uh, Mandela. He doesn't have a clown nose most of the time. <laughs> yeah, he does. You guys look no, it up. He does. Look it up. I know what the Joker looks like. Obviously, you don't. And You're then just drawing a regular clown. And then, and then he's got like <laughs> he's got like a twirly <laughs> hair here. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, I gotta tell you, the only, like... But he's angry all the time, so you have to have the brass. The only situation where he has a red painted <laughs> nose, not even just the clown nose, is the Joker movie. And then from... I think, I think in one episode he actually has, like, pointy ears, like a goblin. So we're gonna add those. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. More accurate. More accurate. Okay, and, and then, well, I mean, we gotta, it's covering the head here, so we gotta kind of, like, erase that. So mm -hmm. there, we, there we go. Oh, excellent. Let me let me re let me get that back up there. There we go. All right. So <laughs> so we've got we've got the spitting image of Joker right now. Yeah. You have to you have to give him a quote at the bottom. Why? Sirs. <laughs> <laughs> Why so sus? What what do you guys think? Do the Spanish upside down question mark at the beginning of the. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Why, sir? <sirs? laughs> nice. If this doesn't get you a girlfriend, I don't know what will, you know? Let me go ahead and clear this up just a little bit here. Yeah, clean up your art. Yeah. Nah, I'm a one thing. I want to hit Wonder Man. So it's a little bit right here. Maybe we should give him a goatee. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the Joker has a goatee. This one's th this one's not canon. I can tell you that he'd never had a goatee. No. Maybe no. like a handlebar mustache, but the goatee was never a thing. Handlebar this mustache. Is, yeah. This is our uh, this is our OC. I, I feel like you've never seen Joker, Jeremy. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Batman movies. Mm -hmm. So what do we think? We, we locked him else in. We can add to this? I think you should draw. I think you should draw a penis for. We nah, have there's already this. a penis. Uh, as far as I can tell, no, there's no. Um, you should write, make the voices stop, in the top right corner. How like about how about small. just a uh, help? <laughs> uh huh. Um. What else could you write? What else should get you sent to the counselor's office?
Oh my god, we took so long, the music's fading out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Uh... That was, that's something the Joker would say. A nuclear bomb! <laughs> I'm gonna Ooh, blow up Gotham! <laughs> Um, roll this one back. You should. His quote should be "Got ham?" Question mark. No, his quote's "Why sirs?" True. Um, should write "Come to school tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> Evil Joker be like. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> I'm just gonna like. I'm gonna erase the help and just lock this in, all right? No. <laughs> it's done. Why, sirs? Okay. Olivia's gonna look at that and be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> and done. We have a lot Stick of room to really work with, But as I surreptitiously admire my work, I find that I have a long way to go. Feels like I'm being mogged by the other doodles. All right, Olivia's sure to like this. <laughs> Yo, Olivia, Olivia is a fan of the Joker. I already know it, guys. You see that shirt? That she has on underneath her sweater. Yeah. It's a Joker shirt. A hundred percent a Joker shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Prockling is still turned around. Alright. If I slip the paper over Olivia's shoulder, I won't have to get up and risk getting caught. And here we go. I'm about to get Olivia in trouble, I can already tell. It's a bit tricky and I hesitate, but the paper meets its desired destination. She doesn't even look back, just takes the paper eagerly. It's completely different from how she was acting earlier. Her tail is even swaying side to side. Oh, is that why? Huh. All right, now she's gonna see my sketch and possibly think I'm cool. And wait, it's wait, 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 and wait, it's wait, over. Wait, and she frowned. <laughs> she's paralyzed from the waist down. Why does her tail work? I mean, we don't know what, where the paralyzation begins or how uh, fucking anatomy. Oh, of wait, a... no, wait, you're right. I'm sorry. We crushed your kneecaps in the hydraulic, <laughs> the hydraulic press. Yeah, <laughs> stay, stay consistent with the lore, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. The sorry. tail would be above, like, the, the croc anus, right? So. <laughs> is she could uh, still poop? <laughs> that, that part's, you know, above. Slower. How did we get to pooping? Because we were talking about paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah. How do handicapped people poop? All right, I'm continuing. Does their butt actually work? <laughs> I think it's a case by case. No basis. control of the rectal yeah. muscles. <laughs> I just, I just want to know. I'm curious. She's not turning I'm, around. I just, I just say it. I'll grab <laughs> well, It's not much, so it could also just. And it's over. I'll be taking that. Miss Brockling snatches the paper from Olivia's claws. She gets expelled immediately. <laughs> thrown out the room. What she the holds her arms this? out. She takes a glance at the paper, and a small crack of a smile appears on her face before going back to its stoic visage. So this is how you view me, Miss Halford. Brockling holds up the paper for all to see. Everyone in the class Wait, does their best to avoid a persecuting gaze. What's up? Uh, Jeremy, is the audio sound weird? Oh yeah, it's getting robot -y. Can you, like, music. restart the, the stream? Sure, sure. Let me just say. Yeah, there you go. Alright, you both good? This sounds okay. a lot better. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I know that most of you were a part of this as well. Look, I'm not asking for much. Please do your assignments when you're in class. It's the least you can do. We were just passing a note one at a time. She wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, how come all of us are in trouble? I noticed Brocklin looked down at Olivia for a moment before letting out a sigh of defeat. Look, since it's only the second day, I'll let this one slide. But I'm warning you now that I won't be so lenient next time it happens. Otherwise, you'll end up like the last student who decided to be disruptive during class. <laughs> what happened to him? Got a detention slip or something? I ate him. Oh. <laughs> She's gonna pull out a Glock. <laughs> Miss Prockling pulls up the window blinds and pushes the window screen open. She then takes out a walkie-talkie. Sally? Yep. Another hippie. See? H4. A dodgeball's gonna fly in and knock a dude out, huh? 
There it is. Holy shit. Oh. Good job, soldier. Now, if we can... Now, <clears throat> now, if we can, let's continue. We're on the second floor. I sink back into my seat and continue writing, mainly out of unadulterated fear of experiencing the same wrath from the teacher. Man, now I feel guilty for Olivia. I was the one that passed the note, after all. Maybe I shouldn't have tried. Not well, I can always apologize after class. Miss Brockling places the note and continues with her lecture for another half hour. With ten minutes of class left, I see Brockling look at the clock above the door. I then notice Olivia grabbing her attention, and as if she knew what she's already going to say to her, the teacher nods her head. Olivia grabs her backpack and shoves all of her <coughs> things into it. In silence, she wheels herself to the door, opens it, and rolls on out. The teacher must have noticed me watching her leave. Accommodations. Yeah, I figured. Well, there goes my chance of saying sorry to her. Feeling defeated, I decide to focus on writing down my notes for the rest of the time left. Although I do wonder. She must have noticed my doodle. Did she just ignore it then? <laughs> yeah, because my doodle was that special. It was, I mean, honestly, it was shit enough that it should have stood out. Class comes and goes, and I head back home on the metro. <coughs> another day, another dollar. So this time I pass on the mini breakfast burritos. After how bad they messed me up during PE yesterday, I don't want my stomach to endure that torture again. Said I just got a few hash browns from a fast food joint by the metro. I at least scroll through my feed, as I usually do, while the metro jostles about to my destination. It's been a few days now. The strange scent of extremely cheap detergent and alcohol have become an afterthought. Some of the vines are actually plastic, and the flowers are little air fresheners. It's not actually something I noticed, or so witnessed when a passenger tried eating one. Some of the vines are real, though. For some reason, they go untouched anyways. Maybe they're just not tasty? Vegetarians don't eat the grass in their lawns, after all. Right? Huh. Big man! Anyways, the lights have gone out and someone just dropped a wrecking ball next to me. Must be Mr. Ferris. Good morning, Inko. Good morning. Has work been going fine? It does. Slowly. But I'm very... Dinosaur is this guy. Not sure. I mean, there's aquatic life too, obviously, because they talked about the Megalodon, so maybe he's just a big old whale. I hate the idea of a place of learning not being an ideal place to learn. And I appreciate our talks. Your perspective has really helped me understand the student body more. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, have you given any more thought to the fashion thing? I have. Though I can't say I really get it. There's plenty to see everywhere if you just look around. Really? Like what? Well... Like, look at the girl on the other end of the car there. Rather revealing. I don't think that's Wonder. ready for me. I love my wife. Wait, Logan, I turn off the uh, turn off the setting, maybe. Uh... <laughs> what do you mean, turn off the setting? Turn off the setting. No, the setting stays the on. Setting. There Just was the a setting. setting for like enable saucy stuff. Turn off the setting. The se what do you mean, turn off the setting? Turn off the setting. The setting is to enable it, so you'd want it on. Oh no, keep the setting on. Dumbass! Throws a ball at your head? Well, I thought it was- I thought you- it, The setting was turned on to prevent sauce. No, I thought so too. Now we have the bottle of sauce. Okay, good. I want to see the sauce. Well, I mean, I don't know if we're seeing the sauce right now. Alright, continue. I just mean we'll as an example. Continue. There's an event coming up. I could see about trying something new. What would you recommend? That's a good question. What would be good to use here? Give me options. In my inner eye, I conceptualize the coolest possible Ferris. <laughs> the fresh machine is going full throttle. First, sunglasses. 
Uh, his eyes may be a little too far apart for that. However, Beanie. <laughs> Moving on. Big okay. guns, fresh jacket. There we okay. go. The coolest possible first. Okay, I'm I'm kind of seeing I'm yeah. seeing the image now. Before I wasn't sure about the glasses and I wasn't sure about the hat and the wears. Mr. Nito. Sorry, just thinking. Why don't you start with Starting with the I think the jacket's the most defining piece, right? Yeah. Because, like, the other ones look awkward on their own. Oh, yeah, because jacket. when you're in a suit like that, like, you can't really yeah. rock these. The the sunglasses, maybe, but I think the jacket's the biggest no, portion. I don't... I think the sunglasses look goofy as hell. I, well, they look goofy because... Well, you know. But plus, you also have to take into consideration, at the end there, he had a different... Uh, like, the, the mustache went all the way around, right? So yeah. that helped it well, as well. Give him the jacket. Yeah, the jacket. Really now? Those all sound rather Ooh. expensive. I'm yeah. Over to my house. They are. Play dress. <laughs> you know what? Try gold chain necklace. A what? No. Yeah, just make sure it's appropriately sized so it doesn't look silly. I'm sure it would go a long way. And they're pretty cheap to get. Well, alright. I'll take your word for it. We sure talk about fashion a lot, though. Is that really all everything's about these days? No, of course not. What do you want to know about? What's YOLO mean? Oh god. I've heard that term thrown around recently. That was like five years ago. Oh. Sorry, oh. Mr. Ferris, they're saying yacht now. <laughs> <laughs> yacht, Rizzler. Phantom Tax. What is Phantom Tax? It's... I think it's like, uh... Something from Kai Sinat. I think that's his name. It's like... Kai Sinat. Yeah. I think like someone... I think there's a guy named Phantom who like... Comes in and steals food and that's the Phantom Tax. I don't know. Uh, it's not like I'm that deep into the fucking lore. <laughs> yeah. Like looked it up once. Yeah. Mr. Ferris and I talk more about contemporary urban slang until we arrive at our stop. So I can't say the N-word. So that's unacceptable nowadays. Curious. <laughs> Good my day. Ah, heart. Mr. Yadikan has just started talking about her first project for the class. As soon as he had said the word, Olivia's hand had shot up. Her gray <coughs> eyes sparkling in excitement, and a smile threatened to crush the perpetual frown etched on her snout. The girl vibrates in her seat as she waves her arm in the air, trying to get the teacher's attention. Yet again, own smile was strained as he and Olivia engaged in a staring contest with one another. I can only marvel as the two argued with each other without a single word. Eventually, Yerikan won by turning off the lights and turning on the cheap projector hanging from the ceiling. And playing a safety video about paint that felt far too graphic for a school setting. I don't think I'll be able to eat barbecue for a while. Thoroughly defeated, Olivia crosses her arms and pouts in her seat. And that is why we won't be using any more exotic materials for any projects, Miss Halford. Ugh, maybe I should have just skipped breakfast entirely. I still don't see the problem. Once you've had all the proper safety uh, handling course in the second semester, you'll be allowed to use oil-based paint. Until that time, however, all the assignments will require safer supplies. Now, since we've pivoted to this, might as well finish the full video. <laughs> Got a fucking flask. Yo, what's in that? <laughs> the grumpy gator holds a hand to her throat, mumbling to herself as she grabs a metal flask and drinks from it. The entire display from her was mystifying, at odds with how Ben and Liz described Olivia. In fact, it kind of reminded me of me. I don't understand why, after all. Yetikan is letting Ben and I use some of his equipment in photography. The thrill of experimentation, new possibilities. No doubt that it brings a creative sparkle to her eyes. Eyes that fill with pure malice as they glare daggers my way. Yeah. 
Oh, was I staring? Oof. Before I, I cut off room. I hope the teacher doesn't come back. What'd you say? I make popcorn. I hope the teacher doesn't come back. Okay, it's fine. We'll cover it. Before I could cover, or before I could cover, before I could offer an apology, she already had her hands on the wheels. She rolls up to Yadikan's oh. desk. He leans forward intently. I can't make out anything that's said through the video, but going by the, yeah, going by the occasional glare back, it's not hard to imagine. Oh, crap! I really didn't mean to offend. Yadikan notices I'm watching, and motions for me to come forward. Slowly, I shift out of my seat and approach the desk. Alright, is something going on here? <laughs> it's French in my head. Yeah? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Anakin speaks in a hushed tone, just loud enough for me to hear over the makeshift uh, matinee. Olivia is telling me you're making goofy faces at that? No! I said he's been staring at me all through class. Huh. It's weird. Like he's never seen someone like me. Can't you move him to a different seat? Racist. You're racist, though. I'm sorry, no, I can't help it. <laughs> Olivia, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. Mr. Yakadan. It's like she's a different person here. She fishes out a canteen what? of water and brings it to her mouth. That is not water. <laughs> as far as we know, it is. Even in. <laughs> We're giving a lot of leeway when it comes to the assignment, but asking for something like this. Look, Kane, we have to get further in the Olivia route. Then she'll let us take a sip from the canteen and we'll find out it's pure vodka. Yeah. Mm. And I just wanted to leave me alone. What are you Why are you harassing her? I'm, not, I, I'm just sitting here, bro. <laughs> yeah, the way she's drinking, that shit is not wild. <laughs> she's down in that motherfucker. Well, I think it's implied that she doesn't talk much, so, like, talking for her probably makes her voice way raspier. Yeah. It's like some... It's, it's grease in the old vocal cords. Mm. What's that about? Where's that go? You tell us. What's on your mind? Can't have disagreements between classmates this is a lady here. I'm confused. I didn't know there was any disagreement between us. Well, sometimes you see little things you do that you don't even think about that affect people's emotions. Anything like that come to mind, Mr. Zioke? <laughs> oh, I'm so serious. <laughs> oh, I'm so serious. Shake my head. Olivia's glare doesn't diminish away from my field of view. I mean, I've been a bit curious about her since we sit next to each other and I'm friends with some of her friends. We all sat together at lunch yesterday. The Attican nods to himself thoughtfully. Sounds like... Oh, fuck. Sounds like he just wants to hang out with Olivia. Her face scrunches at the mere thought. Eh, not really interested. He's distracting me from classwork. I want to watch the video without being gawked at. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Does that resolve the issue for you, Olivia? No. I don't want somebody in this class. Damn, that sucks. We <laughs> love next time we go. She don't goes. Beat you ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. El Riz. <laughs> Bozo. <laughs> Get out of my class. I am failing you now. Is it? She goes to take another sip and ends up turning the canteen upside down. All out. <coughs> Olivia, you can go fill that up if you want. You want to be missing anything? Is a video made of Russian? Math? No, Bro. he's French. He's, he's a French. Yeah. The video is nothing. Oh shit! <laughs> you don't already know. I'm sure. <laughs> Damn it. Olivia eyes me suspiciously and slowly moves out the door towards the nearest water fountain. Right, yeah, Jerry, the size. I was right. <laughs> no, no. It all comes tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. All right. He 
leans back in his chair with his arms resting behind his head. Inko, I told you yesterday, if the air needs clearing, to do it yourself. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Wait, Jeremy, you have to you have to address the accent change. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so what happened? The, the, what happened was that uh, Olivia basically went up to the teacher and was like, "Dude, this guy's <laughs> staring at me, and I can't concentrate. Make him stop." And I was like, I'm oh, sorry, okay. I just am curious because like we're in the same classes. We apparently have the same friends. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> now she's in the mood because you're staring at her like a weirdo. Yes. <laughs> well, mm, and she is I thought you too was getting on. <laughs> and she even gave you the sketch she made. <laughs> Truth we have impressed, but here we are. What's going on, big guy? Again, sorry. It's been a pretty like busy few days. Is he whispering? Hmm? <coughs> yeah, I've gotten into a cool friend group. We're all gonna sit together at lunch. Olivia's there too. Day three. She didn't say much. I think it might have been a couple of days at this point. Oh, okay. I'm not sure though. It's at least day three. She didn't say much, but I got her a soda. Don't know why she's so upset at me. Nothing personal, Inko. It's not? She's... What? Red isn't. I've never heard that word before. I've Especially it when it comes to Whoa, 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 you can't say whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Dropping the hard T! <laughs> What's the soft T, Logan? Uh, it's silent. Oh, okay. If you're at her lunch period too, I can see why she'd be wary of you. Don't give her a fucking break, man. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking, Mr. Yedekan. Yes? Why is she so open with you? How do you mean? Just now, she spoke more in that conversation than all the other times I've seen her yesterday. I saw the canteen, I figured it's something to do with her voice, but it's surprising. Her water bottle's the other way around. It's unfortunate, but she re just really rarely talks at all. And I guess she just really trusts me. I've known her since she was a freshman. She seemed to gravitate toward art and how I taught it, and soon enough I took her under my wing. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but she lives with Damien, right? He's at the lunch table, and she still barely talks to him. Poor kid. I hope he's doing alright. Oh no, he's does Damien have a that? terrible backstory? Oh my god, yeah right. He seems to be alright. But yeah, she's distant to everyone else. So much so, I keep hearing weird things about her. The Atacan leans forward in his chair, suddenly attentive. Is this about you gossiping with Ben yesterday? A bit. He showed up to the table and said something about her being the same after she left. Probably some drama there, but I didn't. I don't want to pry. He nods. Mm. But also, Liz told me some weird things too. He stops nodding. I know of her. Is something wrong? No, no. She just said I shouldn't get invested in being her friend. Everyone's being real weird about it, so I was curious for myself. Guess that's why I was looking at her weird. Sorry. Iatican mm. rubs his temples. He's gonna brain blast me! Ay, ay, ay. It's worse than I thought. You fucking teenagers. What is? I'll put it this way. You've met three people that know Olivia, other than me. Of the three, only one thinks highly of her, and the other two start unloading drama on anyone willing to listen. In this case, you. You're a fucking drama sponge. No wonder you're confused. I am trying to blend in. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it like that. I don't blame you. <laughs> you shouldn't be involved in anything stupid. High schoolers, you know? I guess. Why do they talk to you as if you're not a high schooler? <laughs> I'm a human, I'm different. <laughs> Yadikan inhales, collecting his thoughts. 
Important question, then. Do you really want to be Olivia's friend? Huh? Uh, I mean, I guess. A judging eyebrows raised my way. Mm. Are you really? Or are you just curious about her? I feel like Yadikin is a groomer. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Wild oh, accusation shit. thrown out from left field! What? Hey, I'm just saying, you know, this guy seems like kind of sus. He seems pretty serious like, about she this. She only trusts me. Yes, then. <laughs> Olivia returns to class and rolls right back up to the desk. Back. Have you changed this desk yet? Yadikan nudges his head towards me expectantly, prodding me on. I'm sorry I distracted you during class, Olivia. Uh, she looks at Yadikan and gets a similar nod. Sure. I mean, you're welcome. I mean, thanks, shit. But, uh, <laughs> no, really, I don't want to be distracted. Come on now, Olivia, at least you could do is give him another chance. You never know. I don't really want to know. I get he's, like, friends with Damien, but I don't really want to, you know, not in this class. But I'd like to be your friend. Yeah. Yeah. She stops and raises an eyebrow. Lots of those going around recently. Like she was expecting this response. She looks to Yadikan for help. Actually, Olivia, I also think he'd make a good friend for you. But what? Her words were like a battering ram. <laughs> Simply saying to give Inko here a chance. I could almost see the imaginary bulwark she hid behind slowly crumbling from what Iyadakan was saying. You both are quite similar at heart, though you may have different methods. Perhaps you'll find some compromise behind cynicism and naivety if you work together. Finally, the last fragments of our imaginary fortress collapse. Olivia can only look at the art yeah. teacher with timid confusion painted across her features. Psychic damage. <laughs> My man is a caster, and he using them <laughs> words. No, casting spells. Uh, well, I don't... Are you for real, Mr. Yadikin? I am. He's actually in another class of mine. I've seen him. He's passionate about his camera like you are with a brush. I do expect great things from him. Wow! Thanks, Mr. Yadikan! <laughs> um, okay. Sorry, I really thought, uh... Oh! Oops, she accidentally bit her tongue. Her mouth is clamped shut. Just my opinion? You can make your own choices, Olivia. She nods furiously. Well, the movie's about to end. You two should get back to your seats. Yo, share some of that popcorn. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the whole class was just, like, sitting there watching the thing while they got, like, plot going on in the front. It's a good movie. I feel like these guys are standing in front of the producer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the movie's playing over us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No one is learning anything. Olivia side-eyes me again and nods once more. All right. He motions for us to skedaddle. Olivia backs away to her spot. Thanks, yeah, Mr. Yadikan. For what? I just gave an opinion. I'm serious. It's up to you two if you want to be friends. Don't screw it up. Oh, God. <laughs> He waves me off again and gets up to flip the lights. I get back to my seat and stare absentmindedly at the projected screen as I digest Iadikan's words. He said he only gave his opinion, but it seemed like he also gave me an opportunity to take the right steps in connecting with Olivia. And with what he said about her being passionate with a brush, it's got me even more curious about her artistic prowess. Speaking of whom, I notice that she occasionally gives me a side eye. I don't think she can see my eyes due to the dim lighting combined with my shades. She stares at me with a sense of strange curiosity, almost as if she's trying to get a read of me from my face alone. But from really what I can... hard when your fucking eyebrows and mouth disappear whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm blank, right? And then you can tell when I have emotion because my face shows back up. 
it really is easy to read me. Yeah. But from what I can tell by her facial cues, she seems confused and almost shaken up. It's like she wants to say something, but keeps on backing away at the last second. Guess her mind is also jostling around from Yadikan's words. Ah, my eyes! Our teacher flicks the light switch and I feel my retina burn from the bright lamp lights even with my sunglasses. Yeah, this isn't high school. Nobody fucking screamed when they turned on the lights. You remember when motherfuckers <laughs> would do that? That was the most annoying shit. <laughs> All right, normally in your first week, we'd be doing something simple, like a color swatch wheel. However, I think you could all manage something a little more advanced. Teach, you have not seen my draw. <laughs> no. The Gator Girl's head whipped around at the word advanced. Whenever it was is to draw a joker. <laughs> if the assignment is to draw a joker from memory, I've got it in the bag. It's over. I win. <laughs> I've been practicing. A plus instantly. Yep. Whatever Olivia was thinking before regarding me seems to be forgotten, as she focuses almost entirely on the teacher. Mr. Iadikan holds up a stack of paper for us to see. First students first, I'd like for you to all fill out these topic sheets, so that I know you understand how to safely handle oil-based paints. Last thing we need is another burnt-down classroom. Pardon, another? The way Yadikan uh, says those words makes me imagine some pretty horrible outcomes. Once you finish your sheets, bring them to me so I can review them. I'll be giving you the permission sheet after I know you lot won't set yourselves on fire or poison yourselves. Damn it, I wanted to poison myself. The Alasaur guy in front of me hands back the stack and I take a page from it before handing the rest to the Diplo girl behind me. My eyes scan <coughs> over the sheet. What grade of mask do snouts longer than three inches require? The realization hits me. I didn't see the first half of that video. My eyes scan over the page, and I groan when I see questions I have no answers for. All of them pertaining to dinosaur anatomy. The art teacher looks directly at me and then to the side. I try to decipher his meaning following his eyes. Oh. I turn in my seat and lean close to Olivia. Hey, uh... What? <laughs> what now? What? What is it? I'm not gonna let you draw me. What the hell? Looking at her paper, I see she's already answered the questions I couldn't. I show her my own page, tapping the upper section that was still blank. Olivia groans and looks to <laughs> yet again pleadingly. All she gets for her troubles is a thumbs up. <sighs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. Here. She holds out her sheet for me. Wait, isn't this cheating? The art teacher wouldn't... When did he get to his desk? Why does he have a sleeping mask? Mm. <laughs> I ain't seen shit. If I look over the answers, I still learn the safety procedures. So what's the difference in the hands? <coughs> that must be what he's thinking. Either that or he doesn't care. I copy the words from Olivia's sheet, doing my best to... at least rephrase them. Some of my classmates are already walking up to... E Yadakan's desk. He's barely reading the pages, not even taking the sleeping mask off. Thanks, Olivia. Whatever. Olivia finishes her page in a few seconds and wheels herself to the desk, too. The last answer I'm fairly confident on. Like, what Flashpoint means. I get up and go to Yadakan's desk and set my safety assignment down. <laughs> good, good. Use your permission slip to use ha hazardous paints. Dude, hazard paint, <laughs> let's go! He didn't even bother to look at my worksheet. I love lead. Uh, he lifts the eye mask from his face and looks at me with one eye. What? Oh, so that stuff doesn't apply to you, Inko. <laughs> Just don't drink the paint or get it in your eyes and you'll be okay. Yes, Mr. Yadikin. Attaboy. Yeah. Now go back to your desk and wait for the class to end. Tomorrow I'll be starting you all on something simple. Like painting <laughs> a cube. Or a ball. I love ball. Yeah, model dodgeball painting. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Emma drops down and I return to my seat. Class clock reads five minutes until lunch. 
Olivia's back to uh, leering at me. You consider what I should do or say, some sort of icebreaker. Mr. Yadikin said we're similar, and I can see some of what he means. But I'm a photographer and she's a painter. Hmm. So a cubist and a da dad did Huh? A dadaist walking to a bar. Man, I wanna know. Have a good lunch now. <laughs> the moment the bell lunch. rings, Olivia shows most of her things into her backpack, not caring if her notebook gets crushed. When she zips up, she races out of the classroom. Yeah, she doesn't <laughs> want to get caught in the chaos of the lunchroom stampede. I managed to avoid getting stuck in the frenzy by shuffling along the wall. The long way around the uh, lunchroom. It's a bit longer, but at least there's less risk of getting used as an improvised meat club. Hey, why don't I just go in through the courtyard? It's right there next to the table. Damn it. Next time. Hey, is there a palm tree or something by that table now? I've never seen one with a trunk that's green. Get around <laughs> the last of the crowd and approach the table. Damien's here chowing down on a sandwich stacked with various meats. And, like yesterday, Olivia's already at the table. Hey, Damien. You seen Liz? Thought she was joining us for lunch. Without a word, Damien points to the palm tree next to us. Oh, crap. That's no tree. I look up to see Liz's head in the rafters, prodding at the vines on the ceiling. This thing was a lot lower in the computer lab, so I couldn't tell as easily, but... That neck is long. Anyways... Hey. Uh, hey, Liz. Hey, Inko. Couldn't see you from up here till I heard you. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and get my food from the vending machines again. Making my way over to the vending machines, I do the same song and dance I did last time. Guard swiping a few button presses later and I made a couple cans of soda, two bags of chips, and a few candy <coughs> bars. It's like when the teacher asks if you brought enough candy for everyone, only now it's true. I head back to our table, the bundle of food stuff on my makeshift pouch, and distribute them. Olivia gets her share, but she doesn't say anything. Oh, sweet! Ah, uh, why well, thank you, Inko. Damien, if you'd be so kind. Is he gonna chuck that shit up to her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, already on it. Uh, Damien cracks open a can of soda just as Liz lowers her head next to him. She's wearing a novelty soda cap. Nice. Alright! He then speed what swaps the thing? old can- What's up? Snow kissed? Uh, uh... Snack kissed? Snoot kissed. Snoot kissed. He then speed swaps the old can with the new one, almost like he's swapping wheels on a Formula One racer. Thank you. No problemo. <laughs> oh no, he's horny. <laughs> Liz's head cranes back up to the top of the ceiling to continue eating the foliage. <laughs> so, Nico, how's your day been so far? It's been pretty decent, I'd say. I'm mostly looking forward to photography since Ben will show me some good photo spots. Cool, cool. Damien just nods as he continues to munch on his sandwich. I think he zoned out about halfway through my sentence. Oh, and also, Liz helped me submit my contest entry. Awesome. I can always rely on Liz to help you out. Flattery, uh, flattery will get you nowhere, Damien. Just saying the honest truth. <laughs> Should I be, like, yelling? <laughs> <laughs> Liz entered the contest too, right? Everyone should be trying to win the, the cash prize. The money's okay. Damn, that nom, bitch nom, got nom, a whole nom, thing! Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> she done tore the whole plant off. <laughs> this comes down again with a mouthful of leaves. Her hands Damn, hold up a tree. A, a eucalyptus breath? <laughs> Her hands hold up a tray with each segment filled with a different sauce. <laughs> she dip in the leaves. The real prize is having your submission featured on the. Wait, wait, uh. Hold on. 
the real fire to carry your salvation takes the country color. I did a featured article. I wish he's still articulate. Do you have any idea how great it is on resume? Hey, I'll probably call you that well. Are you regretting this bit yet? No. Okay. <laughs> well, you really got all this planned out. What'd you submit? She takes a moment to swallow her salad and then shares a huge grin. Gulp. I submitted my best digital art piece. Ooh, what is it? Horn. <laughs> Sweet. The tray is set aside <laughs> nice. so she can bring out her phone to show Damien and me her entry. Looks to be a village town piece, townhouse piece. Very rustic and classy. It looks pretty good. Yo! He's pogging again. That's so cool. <laughs> Damien Pog. <laughs> that looks so realistic. Thanks. Took me about a week to really blend some of the more fanciful elements into each other. You like the nude figure? <laughs> it's right there in the, in the top window. <laughs> <laughs> it's based on my grandpa. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, his dick's so big. It's almost as long as his yeah. neck. <laughs> Damon grabs hold He's of his He's got a second neck. That's amazing. What the hell? Wait a second. <laughs> 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 How would you how would you even deal with that if you have just like a regular human body but a dick as long as this fucking do you have to like coil it around and wear it as a belt? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. it's your it's your fucking saying <laughs> belt. No. <laughs> oh, Damien grabs a hold of Liz's phone and turns towards Olivia. Hey Olivia. She jumps up, having been suddenly made relevant to the conversation she was just spectating. What? I'm not giving these chips back, they're mine. Uh, I was just gonna show you Liz's entry. Olivia narrows her eyes and leans over to see the image on Liz's phone. She then looks up and gives Damien a quick nod before returning to eating her chips. Damien's smile falters a little at her minimal response, though he's back to his usual grin as Liz takes back her phone. She really is going like, bitch. <laughs> yep. Wow, Liz, I didn't know you were so in, uh, you were so into digital painting. It looks great. Do you plan on him being an artist after you graduate? Did she already tell him plan? Yeah, but I'm dumb. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, no, I don't plan on being an artist, per se. The plan is to be an antiques dealer, specifically with art. What's that? Maybe I should give her a list. She has a lisp now. Yeah? Alright, alright. Yep. It's canon. <laughs> it means she buys the splattered canvases everyone else just uses for money laundering. Nice. Par. Par. No. Huh. That'll be the re- It'll be the real deal stuff. There's a real market out there for it. Oh, I'm taking the AP business class. Oh, man. <laughs> Only answers now. And using the school's prestigious art book. <laughs> <laughs> really a bad time to implement that little feature, yeah. huh? <laughs> a little bit. That's actually why I picked this place out. There's a real elite selection of graduates from here. Oh, you're the school treasurer too, right? Sir I am. I'm doing everything to make sir <laughs> fuck. I'm ready for the real deal. I do love painting, though. It's not just an end to a meme. You know, I think maybe the reason that we had to ask again about what she's doing after graduation is because depending on if you said Ben or Damien, she would maybe not have revealed that information. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I want to get into trading. I can get the right people. Wait, wait. I can get the right people the right art they need. That's very thoughtful. Huh. Stupid. I should start thinking of my future more. I wonder what Olivia thinks about this, if it even interests her. Damien is just exaggeratedly nodding his head up and down, and I don't know if he's agreeing with Liz or headbanging to some tune playing in his head. Uh, 
feel that. Question mark? I looked to the side to see Olivia staring down at the chips bag, looking pensive. Need more chips, Logan. I will absolutely. There, if, if it gives me the prompt, I will go run to that machine right fucking now. <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one that's a bit worried about our long-term plans after school compared to Liz. But we got the whole year still. What about you, Damien? Uh, I don't really have a big goal set. The only reason I'm going here is because it's the closest school to our home. Damien, you know I keep telling you about planning ahead. I know, I know, but I like keeping my options open. So what are you doing in school? I just picked out my classes. That seems interesting to me. Though I gotta say, home economics class is pretty fun. I get to make food in class and eat it too. Male wife. <laughs> From learning skills in a <laughs> class like that, you'd be a perfect husband. Yeah. For me. Marry Wait, me. Wait, what? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Baby, we're now. So, we're so close, Damien. Kiss me. What? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> But to get back to my point, the art contest. If I win and get that interview, it's an insane advantage. I'll say. By the by, Olivia, did you submit something for the art contest? Oh. She looks away slightly deflated. No. <laughs> Damn! Really? Oh crap, I might have a chance then. <laughs> hey Liz, that sounds a certain way. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. What? Or did I? Olivia rolls her eyes and really goes back to munching on her chips. Mr. Yadikin said you were really into painting, and I really like the portrait you made of me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, she what? Her suspicious leer is now replaced by a murderous glare. Hmm. Yep, lunch is the perfect time to eat my feet. <sighs> I haven't actually seen any of her real work, only something she'd done out of boredom. Olivia's eyes close as she inhales deeply, the air of neutrality returning to her once she reopens them. I just... She looks me up and down again, as though something would be different this time. Can't. What's that mean? Besides, even if I could, they're going to be looking for the best artists here, so you got to show them that to them with how good your art is. But I just don't want them to look at me and feel like they have to give me a reward out of pity. Damn. Damien's <laughs> face is frozen mid-bite, his sandwich losing its meat integrity by the second as his eyes flick between Olivia and I. I can practically hear the blaring alarm in his head as, the brain, as his brain catches fire trying to connect dots. <laughs> I want to be judged for my art and not. Olivia struggles to formulate the next few words and lets out a weary sigh. It would just feel undeserved. Uh, how? Yeah, how? Damien. Oh, that did come through. <laughs> Has that ever happened before? Do people really do that? You weren't there for it. Some losers used to even tell me to take advantage of it. Why not? Ooh. Ooh. The whole squad hated that one. That was the... I need to go. <laughs> I, I need to turn the fuck around and leave right now. I thought you were supposed to be eating your feet, Logan. I just ate my whole leg, man. <laughs> that was a bad move. Uh, dude, seriously? Why? So I constantly get reminded of myself? So I can't separate myself from my work? So I get complacent being worse so I can eventually rely on it? So the playing field can be even? That's a lot all at once. I'm not even sure I got all that, but I definitely touched a nerve I shouldn't have. No, sorry. Olivia brushes her hair down. Look, I don't want to get awards and praise I haven't earned. I'm seriously not that good. I really wouldn't win. She sighs and takes a long sip of cola. Can I see some of your work? No. 
and she really shouldn't put herself down like that. I get it? A lot of students here are crazy good at art. Some are probably better now than I ever will be, and they're just starting. Pretty scary to think about. I mean, like that landscape of the city near the principal's office. Landscape? Hold on, I took a shot of it. It's a bit tough getting my camera out now with all the books I needed for class in the way. I lay out the contents of my backpack, taking my treasured DSLR out last. After finding the shot in question in the menus, I turned the display towards everyone else so they could see the glamour shot. A freshman made that painting. Just from looking at it, I can see why it won first place. What was the name on it again? I don't know. I, don't remember. I think that was Olivia. Because it was O... Some, uh, o Holland or something? I think we were meant yep. to connect the dots, but <laughs> I forgot the name so fast. I drew that. Oh. Her name's on it, isn't it? <laughs> the brain finally makes the connection with the signature on the mural. That was you? Is it that much of a shocker to you? Uh, quite a bit, yeah. It looks amazing. Mm, it's whatever. I had to do on some dumb guide. I had to have some dumb guide help me out, so it wasn't like I was the one who did it all. So when you say you can't enter, it's because you already won once? Yeah, basically. She looks away from us, eating her chips in silence. I've heard the expression of being one's worst critic, but I can never expect Olivia to kick herself this hard. I'm mentally kicking myself thrice over f just for thinking that last part. What? Something wrong, Liz? she bite her tongue or something? Why is she imitating one of those pitcher plans right now? This? What's with the look, long neck? That's a slur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised to see you in better spirits as all. Well. You're making it weird. Don't make it weird. Yeah, again, it's been ages, Olivia. To think a randy like Inky here got you to open up just like this in two days. He gestures to me. What you do, man? The girl in question freezes. Damien's thoughtless comments having thrust her into self-awareness. And she just leaves. Olivia, wait! She's gone. Oh shit. Well, she did give a warning. Yeah. I was just excited she was making good progress. Fuck. The rest of lunch we'd spent talking about Liz's art process. Damien looked like he wanted to try to bring Olivia back into the conversation, but no one had any idea where she had gone. Still, a part of me thinks she wants to talk. So why doesn't she? <coughs> bing bong. Bing 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 bong. Alright, before we move on, yes. I have a question, gentlemen. Question. Who is best dinosaur girl? Hmm. So far, like, Olivia's the only interest. Like, I'm not sure if anybody else is even, like, attainable. Well, I mean, I think it just means in general, not even, like, oh, just... romance aspects here. Oh, okay, okay. Or, like, romance options, I suppose. Mm hmm. I mean, so far we have, we've got a couple teachers, we've got, uh, oh, Liz, the principal, principal Ferris, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of characters. Hmm. Kane, like, if you could rewind on Twitch while, like, the live's going, you gotta, you gotta go back, you gotta see a principal. Yeah? You gotta see what? The principal. Does the principal do something for you, Jeremy? It's <laughs> pretty good. On. I'm gonna go to my incognito browser window really quick. Just in case. <laughs> what's the principal's name? I, I don't remember. What? Okay, what's the game? Scaler. Name? Scaler? Yep. S C A L E R. I was digging into what's my the brain earlier. Uh, Miss Scaler. Yeah, it's something like that. This is actually, I don't remember. Mia, Mia's a bad bitch, let's be honest. <laughs> ben scored. That's, that's true. 
How do you spell scalar? S C A L E R. Here, while you look that up, I'm gonna go grab a, another water real quick. No, oh, I'm not really finding it. Yeah, either. all I'm getting like, is Google dinosaur images. pictures. I looked at oh, well. scalar dinosaur, and it's just dinosaurs. Um, what's the game name? I wanna hug. I wanna hug that gator. Jeremy wants to oh, get sent to the principal. Is office. the only romance auction actually the gator? I don't know. I don't. It, I don't want to know, honestly. If, if it I actually lose. might be, because honestly, we haven't seen another one. Right. Sadly, a question for another time. As Olivia's departure seems to signal the end of lunch. At least Liz and Damien wave goodbye. <laughs> Leaving me to clean up all the trash from the table. <laughs> everything I'd removed from my backpack. Darn it. Photography class comes and goes. Since we're partners, Iadakin gives Ben and I the green light to walk around the campus. Ben shows me around to see his prime photo spots and such, and as such becomes my impromptu tour guide. It's actually pretty neat to see the parts of the school that I haven't explored yet up until now. Places like the music hall and recreational pool were the most interesting to see. Currently at the courtyard, Ben points out the views of the outer landscapes around the school. I wonder why Ben was eager to show me. His views are impeccable. But while he's explaining the image he has in his head, my mind still wanders back to Olivia. What's up? Sorry, I can't, like, I can't find this character. <laughs> on the website. Yeah, honestly, so. it was hard. I, I couldn't find it. We'll, they'll show up again. Sure, we'll, we'll get sent to the principal's office because we do something heinous, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I wonder what I did to make her express herself so much. Inko? Uh, just... Inko! Huh? I was asking if you'd be available sometime during the weekend to take photos. Oh, no. Uh, uh, ignoring me. Uh, maybe it's like next Friday. Mm. Oh, uh, I'm free on Saturday. Excellent. We can meet up back here. Sounds good. As we head back to class, I begin to think if there's something I can do in history class. Back in history class, Miss po uh, Prockling continues prattling on about, and after a final offensive that left the entire <coughs> city of Triceratops destroyed, the Chthonian hegemony was defeated, bringing an end to their crimes against both Dino and humankind. With that, the Dino-Human War came to an end, and peace was finally declared after ten years of strife. Of course, there was the matter of rebuilding and dousing all those fires still burning, as well as what to do with all the bodies and... Me, 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 me. I should probably care more about Prockling's lectures, since history has extremely strong cultural connotations, but man, is it boring. Ahead of me, Olivia's returned to her default sullen, deflated gloom. She's not glaring back at me, so she probably she's probably over whatever that was. Or she still doesn't know I'm here. Boy, will that be entertaining to see. Assuming I don't end up with a mechanical pencil jammed through a lens. The other students are similarly bored, or only occasionally marking down something whenever it sounds like it'll be on a review sheet at the end of the week. There is, of course, no more note passing today. Miss Prockling's effusion yesterday must still be on their minds. There won't be any more chances given, and even though she doesn't seem threatening on her own, the consequences would be dire. Especially if she can call Solly over like that, or like her own personal enforcer. Simply no getting around it. This is just a period we'll have to sit through. And there isn't even any solid solidarity to be had in our shared misery. It's simply the reality of high school history class. The only saving grace is that she isn't stalking around the room looking for us to do something wrong. Said we're being lectured at. My hand mechanically copies down whatever she's written on the board. 
And while I should also be paying attention to what Miss Prockling is saying, I'm more than certain that we'll be reading the exact same things from our heavy textbook. So my eyes wander away from her and the board to scan over my peers, all equally as bored and feigning interest. Eventually there's a bit of movement ahead of me. What's she up to now? Olivia folds a sheet of note pa uh, notebook paper back and forth discreetly, creating a deep crease. Then she flicks her finger and runs it along the crease and gently pulls. The paper rips along the seam silently. Was oh, she really risking it? She even got to game. It's just a note passing game. Maybe she was bad because she got caught yesterday? Oh boy. Olivia passes the note to her left. The student next to her raises an eyebrow, but surprisingly takes the note. And immediately passes it on without looking at it. One by one, my classmates pass the note along to the next. Nobody dares open the note and write something in it. I surreptitiously keep track of the note in the corner of my eye as it makes its circuit around the room. Thankfully, Miss Pockling's eyes... Prockling's eyes are focused on the board when I feel a tap on my shoulder. I reach from my ear as if to give it a scratch, and the folded page is pushed into my waiting fingers and against my ear. As I feel an edge grind against my earlobe, I chew my lip to keep the hiss of pain contained. Owie. Probably unintentional, but a paper cut still stings bad, especially on such a fleshy part. My fingers toy with a bundle of paper now at my desk. No one else is bothered with it. I wouldn't exactly call it an empty canvas, but there could be potential here. There's a crumpling noise beneath my fingertips. I must have unfolded it while I was thinking. Looking at this old doodle on one sheet, I see a pretty simple rat drawing with a very realistic hand next to it giving a thumbs up. There's plenty of space this time. <laughs> and Miss Prockling is preoccupied at the front. I doubt she'd even notice. The temptation is there, making my fingers itch at finally getting a real chance to do something fun in this sleep-inducing class. In fact, I have the perfect idea in mind that'd catch, that catch Olivia's attention. <coughs> that doesn't ruin everything, that is. She's not uncompassionate, but Miss Brockling has a lot less tolerance for horseplay in her class. Probably wouldn't get another chance. And going by Coach Solly's one-chance policy and how these guys aren't even considered playing along, I bet I really wouldn't be pretty. Kinda makes me concerned for Olivia. I could just hold on to the note and give it back after class. Heck, Olivia would never know. I don't think she even knows I'm in this class. Half Draw five. the gator girl on a half on pipe. A half pipe? Like, in the wheelchair? Oh, that might be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> That's an intrusive thought. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna let my intrusive thoughts reign supreme. Alright. I mean, like, what does holding you know, on to the like... sheet until after class do? Nothing, right? Yeah. So, fuck At it. At least you're putting yourself out there. Exactly. Let's try. What's life without a little bit of risk? I wait for Miss Prockling to start a new tangent to make sure I have enough time. She just said something about a single continent movement. Time to move. It's going to be basically a stick figure, but it's just a doodle. If only you could doodle a photograph. I'm not sure what I mean by that. <laughs> I also don't know how to draw a wheelchair. In the end, it looks <laughs> more like an abstract depiction of how a bow-legged T-Rex than what I wanted. Oops, I have to do. I check it over one last time as if I had the conceptualization to improve it. Now, ah, well. I pass the note forwards, careful to not notify the teacher. Olivia takes the note over her shoulder, once more not checking it. She seems to deflate a bit on opening the note, probably because of all the blank space. Doesn't look like she recognizes whatever I did either. Maybe I should talk about it with her after class? I don't know. Seems like an okay thing to do. She just passed the note again. What? Once more, the process of students taking the note and passing it along without looking at it. Although this time it's a little more... collectively annoyed? It probably won't go around again. Why the heck would Olivia send the note around again? Nobody's going to change their mind and draw something now. Is it desperation? Thoughtlessness? Whatever it is, the note's coming my way again. Once I take it, I confirm that yes, once again nobody else wrote anything. However, there's a new doodle of a rat with a flamethrower from Olivia. Cute. Alright. Alright, this time I'll draw... How about adding myself to the sketch of the half pipe? This time I depict myself as a stick figure. No use trying to go outside my skill level for a note-passing game. 
Simple enough to do. You include my sunglasses. Yeah, I'm liking this. Maybe I should also make sure Miss Proclin isn't looking my w uh oh. Yeah, she's not right now. Alright, I'm in luck. Time to pass this thing on. I pass the note forward once more. Olivia pinches the note between two fingers, still not looking back. I keep saying that, but I guess it's not weird. Why would you look back in that situation? She checks the note and looks a bit down again. She glances up to the corner I'd drawn in. Is that a gunshot? I, I think Miss Brockling saw us. I think we're about to get executed. I nearly fall out of my seat from the sudden loud noise. There's a moment of unwavering silence before a voice speaks up. I'm gonna have to take the L. <laughs> Miss Halford. It is fire. The girl in question shrinks in her seat in embarrassment. S sorry, Miss Prockling. I, uh, s saw a spider. Miss Prockling simply sighs, muttering to herself and turning her attention back to writing more notes on the board. She turns her head back slowly, just enough to be able to make eye contact with me. While she eyes me with judging contempt and curiosity, I see her hand is tenderly massaging the tip of her tail. Looking at the floor, I think she managed to chip the linoleum. Jesus! That is some power! As soon as Miss Prockling turns around to continue teaching, Olivia scribbles something down. She turns to look at me once more, hesitating. Then she flicks the note in my direction. It completely misses me. I try to catch it midair, but end up slamming my face on the desk to get it. How do you do that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Mr. Nito, what was that noise? I found the note in my sleeve and strain to keep my injured eye open. The teacher probably meant the foot stomping. I, uh, found that spider, Miss Brockling. The teacher grimaces. That better be cleaned up by the end of class then, Mr. Nito. Yes, ma'am. I breathe a sigh of relief as my excuse weathers Miss Prockling's stare. She turns a few pages in the textbook lying on her desk, instructing the class to do the same as she searches for something. She's distracted. I can finally see what Olivia drew. There's now a surprisingly detailed dodgeball whizzing around my stick figure's head. I want to be my upset, <laughs> but I find myself admiring her motion lines. Seriously, she should be an animator. I'm all over what to add, and settle on giving the large rat sunglasses as well. A few seconds later, he looks twice as cool as before. Look to Olivia, pondering how to get back to her when a sinister idea comes to mind. Her hood hangs open as it rests on her back. It's a tough shot, but... Bingo. Olivia scratches at the back of her neck and finds the note. She looks back with squinted eyes, judging my intent in scanning me for foul play. She mouths something at me, a question I think, but I'm not the most apt lip reader. <sighs> Especially when said lips are thrice as long as a human's. Still, she unfolds the page and seconds later she's already added a new sketch and folded it up. The note lands neatly on my desk this time, and I inspect the latest edition. More rats doing decidedly non-rat activities. I wonder what she'd think of a cat this time. We continue passing the sheet back and forth, adding new sketches and adding to others. My fingers are strained, uh, starting to tire when Miss Brockling addresses Olivia. Alright, Miss Halford, you may leave now. Everyone else, you may take the last five minutes to start on your homework. Olivia takes her time to pack away her supplies, occasionally glancing my way. Gone is the paranoia. It's now just become plain confusion. As if I wouldn't play the doodle game thing with her. Even as she wheels out of the room, I notice her eyes still on me. I give her a wave goodbye, and she seems shocked by that, turning her head and finally passing through the doorway. Right then, homework. Ah crap, I didn't pay attention. It only now occurs to me that there's a pretty good reason the teacher doesn't want to slacking off during class. For the last five minutes, I try to speed read the second chapter in its entirety. Failing to get any good information to use for today's homework, I resolved to just check online for a lecture that's not as boring. Maybe one with some good animation, even. When the rest of us are finally excused, I realize that I've still got the page full of doodles. Considering all the stuff on it, it'd feel like a waste to just toss it away. I decided to keep it, slipping it into one of my binder's extra plastic sleeves. With everything safely packed away, I shoulder my backpack and exit the room. I fully expected to get pulled aside there, and owned. 
Man, now I get why Olivia gets to leave classes early. The halls are so packed and chaotic once class ends. I always end up being pushed around by rowdy students headed towards their next classes. Once school ends, it's even worse. When I saw it yesterday, it was something else. The word riptide comes to mind. I ended up just waiting around for a few minutes for the flow to die down. It's looking like that's just going to be my routine now. I passed by a few more art displays on my way to the stairs back down to the first floor. This isn't the art wing, but there's still a bunch of displays up. Maybe there simply isn't enough space? Something presses into my chest and lurches me to a stop. It's Olivia, holding an arm out to stop me. She's still staring up at me, though less suspiciously. Her jaws open, but no sound comes out. She realizes her hand is still out and retracts it awkwardly, indecisively darting between her hoodie pocket and her armrest. Is she expecting something? Oh, the note maybe? Hey, I... You could have told me. Huh? That you're in Miss Prockling's class too. You could have mentioned that. Sorry, I guess I was sort of aiming for a bit of a dramatic reveal there. Hmm. She brushes her hair aside. Well, whatever. Later, I guess. Why did you stop me out here? She stopped her chair mid-turn, with gray eyes contemplating the dirty floor. I don't really get you. Olivia's eyes turned back to me, and now I can see the nervousness in her pupils. Why do you care? Why indeed? Well, I guess the main reason is... I want to be friends. With me, though? Sure. Those tiny movements, in which I saw the gator girl hyper-animate come to mind, and I couldn't help but smile. The small shows of just genuine feelings. I think Mr. Yadakin was right, honestly. <laughs> Olivia hums in disagreement, finally turning away. Ah, crap, maybe that was too forward of me. I swing my backpack around so I can reach inside it. I, uh, still have that note. Note? What, with the doodles from class right now? Why? Just figured you'd want it. It was fun filling it out and all. Just as I'm about to pull out my binder, the gator girl looks back at me and shakes her head. It's just doodles. You can throw it out. Keep it. If it's so important. For the briefest second, I swore I saw her mouth form a tiny smile. But now she's back to looking neutrally at... Da Elevator. Huh, didn't yeah, notice the school had elevators. I don't know where people use it. She flashes a key from her pocket. So it's part of her accommodations. Makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Otherwise, everybody would be using that bitch. By now, the hallway is cleared up a bit. The elevator arrives and Olivia rolls in. She moves her arm to push the buttons and jams the key in some slot. Uh, what's the look for? You coming? Oh. I slide in beside Olivia just before the door closes. It's probably safe to catch your foot in and just reopen, but man, this thing is ancient. There's an inspection certificate lazily plastered above the door from this side. It's covered in coffee stains and other signs of age. Is this thing really safe? Olivia shrugs. What's the worst that happened? Our legs break? She eyes me with a smirk. This may have been a mistake. Dude, they're gonna put my knees in the fucking hydraulic press too! Yeah, we going down. Going down. My heart drops as the space around me seems to drop for a split second. The sound of the worn out elevator mechanics fill the cramped space. How slow is this thing? I look over to Olivia, she uses this thing daily. Surely it normally runs smoother. Her mouth hangs open, uh, slightly open in an amused grin watching my sudden onset claustrophobia. Relax dude, this is normal. Alright, this is normal. This thing jostling around like it's going to drop us at any second is completely normal. When we reach the bottom, the doors clunk open and I practically fall out. Olivia casually rolls from behind. Somehow, I sense it's with a degree of superiority. Anyway, uh... See you later. Oh, yeah, see ya. 
I desperately need another character to show up, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel it. I have been waffling for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Olivia rounds a corner and I'm left on my lonesome. Yeah, me and my inner demons having a chat. My Your senses inner gator. My inner gator, yeah. And my inner Miss Prockling. There was a couple of Prockling lines in there. <sighs> my senses return to me, and I start making my way to the metro station. Uh, yeah, another day. <laughs> another dollar. As I make the journey home, it strikes me how much progress I've made with Olivia. It's definitely still in its awkward phase, but I can see that she's opening up little by little. And it's starting to become amusing seeing her get confused by my friendly gestures. All in all, I got a good feeling about this. Liz and Ben sure were overreacting, though. I'll be sure to tell them all about it. A week into September has come and gone, and I'm finally feeling acclimated to St. Hamond. Things have been going pretty smooth lately, if I do say so myself. Over the past week or so, I've been getting more and more used to my new friends, learning new quirks of them daily over lunch and in our classes. Like Olivia's penchant for tail whips. Yeah, like the one where she fucking whipped the floor and almost broke a hole through it. As I sit on the metro to school, my foot comes up to prod at the tender spot on my shin. Ooh. I also learned not to borrow Olivia's stuff without asking. She usually tries to keep to herself, even when we're partnered up, but I do my best to play nice. Not to say she's being rude or anything, just quiet. More and more, I kind of figured that part of her silence was just nerves. Accepting that silent facet, I think we found some sort of small understanding between us. Enough that I think she's starting to see me as a friend now. Among other things, Damien and Liz had given me their numbers. Or rather, Damien gave me both his and Liz's numbers. At first I thought that Liz would be mad that Damien had basically doxed her, but she didn't seem to mind when he explained his reasons. I also got Ben's number since he figured we'd be doing a lot more team projects in photography class. My eyes roll over the past messages from my new friends. I became so engrossed rereading them that I nearly missed the announcement of my stop. I scramble to get off the metro, closing doors just catching my jacket and forcing me to yank it out before I'm dragged down the tracks. I'm not going to let that bring my mood down though. It's Friday, meaning after today comes the weekend. I fucking love the weekend. Because the weekend is for the boys. It's a quick walk from the station. For the boys! For the boys. <laughs> It's a quick walk from the station, and I can see the school enter my field of view now. I don't know why, but my hand's getting, like, really cold. The school looks completely barren. Is it... closed? Weird. I look around at some of the small stores that surround the school, the ones that are usually staffed by student workers. They're also empty. One of them has lights on, but it just looks like the manager's looking over some paperwork inside. I don't recall any announcement about a holiday today, and while I admit to have forgotten what day it was in the past, I'm absolutely certain it's Friday. So where is everyone? Even the entryway to the school is barren. The door probably wouldn't even open. Yep. Hello? I dance a bit in front of the camera watching the door. <coughs> it does not respond. Hmm. You know what? Damien would know what's going on. I flip through my contacts and find Damien's number. Put the phone to my ear and pray that he picks up. And after a minute or so of waiting, the dial tone cuts off and is replaced by Damien's voice. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yo, yo, what up, Nico? Hey, Damien. I'm up at school right now and it looks like no one's here. You know what that's about? Yeah, what do you... There's a brief pause on the other end of the line. <laughs> oh! Didn't you hear? Hear what? Today's the last warm day of the season, so everyone's celebrating. Uh, it's a dino thing, I see. Mm. Also, we? Nintendo Wii? We? We? I see the Celebrating. <laughs> they have the motion plus little thing yeah. connected to the bottom too. <laughs> Gotta be accurate, right? 
yeah, we're actually having to cook out of my place today. You want to come over? <gasps> the generous but spontaneous offer caused him to hesitate for a moment to respond. Uh, thanks for the offer, Damien, but it's all right. I wouldn't want to intrude on your guys' party. <laughs> what? It's no big deal, dude. All of my folks enjoy the company. There's going to be plenty to eat, too. Oh, no, dino food, though. Plus Olivia. No. Show you no more. I weigh my options. I either go to the party or I could just take the metro back home and sit in my room doing nothing. <laughs> Inky, you there, buddy? Yeah, I was still here. It was just clearing my schedule. You sure it wouldn't be an issue? Of course not, amigo. A friend of mine is a friend of the family. Mm, all right then. Nice. I'll text you the address. See you soon, compadre. With that, the call ends. Not a few seconds later that I get a text notification. D man. All right. Six one one nine three, Crichton Road. Go the long way around the neighbor who doesn't chain his dog. <laughs> Is it weird to have a dog when there's anthropomorphic dinosaurs? No, they're not dogs. Yeah, I guess that's right, but... Google Maps. Google. <laughs> Copy and paste the address on Google Maps. Huh, looks like Damien lives pretty close to the school. I mean, he did say that. Of course, it's a little longer taking Damien's instructions, but I'm not about to try out running a loose dog with my physique. Well, better make my way over then. You're fit as hell, Logan. <laughs> no. I strong, I ain't fit, bruh. <laughs> There'd be a damn difference. Alright, Logan. Ooh, this is a nice one. Before you begin this section, yes. I am very sleepy. Alright. Alright, brother. Nice uh, yeah. Okay, good night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Alright, we'll have to split up his, uh, his, uh, dialogue. No, I guess I also should ask, how long do you want to keep going? <laughs> I am also tired, but I kind of want to see this segment at least. Okay. Uh, the house looks standard for a house in this neck of the woods. Neighborhood. Not gonna lie, I was getting bored at the doodle tossing the, <laughs> the passing the note. It was cute, fuck you. <laughs> I think it's because I had nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying everything, yeah. Uh, it makes sense. It's a one story place, but it looks pretty spacious. Definitely a family home. I walk up to uh, the stone step path to the front door and ring the doorbell. The grocery bag wrapped around my fingers is starting to chafe a bit. Hold up, so I'm going to drop a save here because I'm going to go to the options and turn on the music just a tad bit. The grocery bag wrapped around my fingers chafe. Yeah, okay. I could have just come right away, but it felt bad coming over empty handed, so I got something for the party. A simple salad bowl from one of the local stores on the way over. Doesn't seem like much, but as my mom taught me, it's courteous to come to a party with something. Actually, I realize how ill-prepared I look for an end-of-summer celebration. With Damien mentioning a pool, everyone else must either be wearing casual clothes or swimwear. Meanwhile, here I am, looking overly formal. Not like I could have thought to bring the swim, uh, swim trunks to school. The door swings open and, step, and out steps Damien. Hey, go. Wow, man, you're crazy early. And you've come bearing gifts. Yep, here I am. Didn't want to come empty-handed, so I stopped by the store and got a salad. Oh, you didn't have to do. Seriously, you didn't. You really didn't have to. Yeah, we uh, we kind of know Damien's not much of a uh, flower picker here. He's kind of that meat man. My family and I are carnivores. But thanks. It's still, like, not even ten, man. Oh, uh... You didn't give me a time, so... Nah, nah, that's my bad. Still, since you're here already, come on in. 
Well, don't I feel silly. Even still accepts the grocery bag and checks it off to the side somewhere. Come on, everyone's out back right now. He turns back, making for a sliding door on the opposite end of the house. Following after- They're apparently... Christian! <laughs> yeah, Raptor Jesus. Amen. Following after, I barely have time to take in what I think is the living room and dining room. There's a number of toys strewn about, foam dart guns, and loose game controllers. Damien opens the glass door and gives me a small push out of the house. Oh, we got Damien family. Hey everyone, we got a guess already. Stepping out onto a wooden deck, I'm surprised to see the pool in the yard. To the left of me is what looks to be an older, heavier set version of Damien. Well, howdy there. Hello, sir. I'm Minko. He shifts the barbecue tongs from his right hand to his left so he can shake my hand. <laughs> Randy Payne. You can just call me Randy, though. He does seem like a Randy, doesn't he? I had the grimace as we shake hands, feeling what I'm guessing is a very sticky marinade now clinging to my palm. Didn't think someone would come this early. Just finished getting the good stuff all sauced up. As soon as he lets go, he focuses back on the piles of different meats heaped up next to the grill. Meanwhile, I grab some nearby napkins to wipe the sauce from my hands. Oh, what's on the menu? Uh, let's see here. We got brisket, flanks, ribs, sirloin, tenderloin, top sirloin, bottom sirloin, rounds, and shanks. Oh no, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's a lot of cow. All marinated in my special mix of wet rub and dry rub seasoning. Oh wow, that's a lot of Randy. <laughs> oh, me. Damien and Soph will be doing it in shifts. If you're interested, I can lend you a hand too. If the missus doesn't rope you into carrying too much around. Sure, sounds fun. I've never actually grilled before. It's not too tough, you'll see. Now that I'm here, I can finally ask Damien the question that's been on my mind. Hey, Damien, so I've been curious this whole time. What exactly is the celebration anyway? Oh yeah, I haven't told you yet. Well, you'll see when. Before Damien can properly explain, a motherly voice cuts him off. You want to do like the whole Damien household? Yeah, I'll do the whole Damien family. <laughs> okay. Damien, sweetie, you shouldn't keep your baby brother waiting any longer. At the mention That's of the younger point. sibling, a tiny Damien clone jumps over the deck railing and... Sit punch. Oh god, why? Why? He just kicked him in the balls and punched him. Yeah, it seems like it. Finish. I'm down for the count, that's for sure. So you're making him toad, alright? I hope he doesn't talk too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Inko. That's it. This is why I don't want you watching those violent shows. Just wanders off. The younger dino isn't listening. He's already run off to find another victim. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Was that really acid? <laughs> no, no. But here, you should wipe that off. Now. I take the towel handed to me and wipe off the splotch on my pants from where Vincent had punched. I don't know. Diloparasaurus, Diloposaurus spit only gets more acidic after they reach puberty. I begin to rub away the spittle from my pants with a bit more urgency. <laughs> Thankfully, he's born me than his mother. Otherwise, you need a new pair of pants. Er, wait, that's an actual thing? Randy laughs. <laughs> So you must be Damien's new friend from school? Indeed I am. Damien's mom... Damien's mom's head pops up at the side... Hold up. 
Damien's mom's head pops up at the side of the deck with a tired smile. Hello, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Oh, I didn't know we'd have guests so soon. I would have cleaned up more. You can just call me Sophia, dear. Speaking of school, Damien told me that you were there. Why, why'd you be going there today of all days? Honestly, I didn't even realize that today's a holiday. Usually I mark them on my calendar, but it must have flown over my head. Oh, there's no worries then. Mainly us dinos who celebrate it. Yeah, Damien told me about it, but I'm not sure I fully understand. In that case, I'd be more than glad to clue you in. Ignorant human. It's Master. called Summer's End. <laughs> As today marks the last warm day of the season. After this, fall and winter start rolling in. Huh. Interesting. Are we in Australia? Isn't it September? I don't know. Probably. I, I believe it was September, right? Because it mentioned it was like the first week of September or something that passed by. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this will probably make me sound stupid for asking, but how come you celebrate it? But it's simply the cold might be manageable for warm bloods, but for us reptiles it's no bueno. So we spend the last day soaking in the sun and enjoying the warm weather before it starts getting chilly. Ah, that makes sense. Next thing you know, everyone's wearing extra layers, putting up the heat lamps. Though it apparently used to be Ice Age levels of frigid back in my granddad's stage, so I guess we can consider ourselves lucky. Otherwise, we'd be nothing but a couple of popsicles with tails for sticks. The Patriarch lets out a laugh. That's as infectious as his son's. I am the Patriarch. Ho ho ho. <laughs> he wipes a tear from his eyes. He goes back to flipping the meat on the grill. Anywho, we're going to start cooking up the food, so make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. I mean, Randy. While Damien's dad attends to the grill, I move to the banister overlooking the pool. It's filled with a couple of aquatic toys and air-filled floaties. Man, I wish my place had a pool. Well, I do have extra jeans at home. Running one pair won't be a huge issue. Nah, on second thought, it'd be real annoying to deal with drying off and going home. I wonder how deep. Cold. Ah! Ah! <laughs> the hell are you doing here? I was invited. Focused on her face, not the other thing. <laughs> What the heck are you doing here? I live here, moron. Crap, right. Damien even told me on the way. Uh, anyways. No, really, why are you here? Nobody was at school when I got there. Huh? Yeah, check the doors and everything. They announced the holiday yesterday. <clears throat> they announced the holiday yesterday in homeroom. Didn't you hear it? That's what Liz said over the PA yesterday. I thought that was school's anthem or something. Huh, no wonder everyone was staring as I saluted. <laughs> okay. Must have not been paying attention. But yeah, I asked Damien what was up, said there was an event going on, and invited me. Olivia sinks a bit into the water. Actually, a uh, stupid question, but... Are you really okay to swim? There's that glare again. Of course, why wouldn't I be? Er... Well, you know. Thanks, sh thankfully, she gets what I'm saying. Sorry? She simply rolls her eyes. I like it in the water. Hmm. Kind of wish I knew about all this earlier. I'd have brought my trunks. Ew, no. I'm not sharing my pool with you. <laughs> but why not? Instead of answering me verbally, Olivia's tail whips up some water at me like a large wave. Yo, Inko, come check this out. Olivia takes the opportunity to slink back into the water. I think she's doing a weird version of a dead man's float. Well, whatever. What's Damien yelling about? Yeah, Damien? Well, first my little bro's got something to say to you. I'm sorry if I can't get away from Sid Punch in the game. 
It's like he taught his younger sibling, uh, younger sibling, younger sibling about my nickname too. It's all right, er. Hey. It's, it's Vine Sauce Vinny. Vinny extends his hand for a handshake, <laughs> though it's obscured by his sleeves. And secondly, we need a few chairs out here. We got some folding ones, but also some from the kitchen. Got it. They're cheap wood, not real heavy at all. After the chairs, we can do the table together. Mom would be pissed if we got that or if that got dropped. Why? It's the only one we got. And after everything's said, we can play something fun. Okay, little man? Vincent grins and bolts back toward the house. Damien chuckles and we both follow after the kid. <laughs> the table drops the few inches we were able to lift it and lift it with a hard crash back onto the tile. I'd be worried about the cracks, but the floor is already pretty shattered around here from the years. The table must actually be their gold storage. And it's just painted to look like wood. That's the only explanation. We catch our breaths and give our strained muscles a moment to relax. <laughs> what can you be, Albus? I'm super strong. Olivia's joined herself in the pool, bro. We don't want to ruin her time. I can use it. Uh, mm. I think that might be a bit small. Toad voice cuts in and out slightly. Yeah, I <laughs> I don't think there's anything we could do about that though, I think. Oh shit, sorry. That's fine. I mean, the, the, it gets the point across, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I didn't learn that. Yeah, I'll turn off the voice impression. Hopefully that helps. Alright, let's see. Uh, shit. Give me a second. Oh, no fair! She's gonna go to her room soon! Why can't she help? Oh yeah, that was crisp. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Not in front of any guests, yeah? It's true, though! You don't know that. Come on. The Damien mm. Mini-Me pouts. I think I got a better grip on the table now. Let's, let's try one more time. Uh, okay, I'm ready. One, two... Wait. Huh? Or, oh, Mom must have been talking about that plastic table in the garage, not the dining room table. <laughs> You're right! What? Guess we gotta haul this thing back into the dining room, fellas. Great. After getting the suspiciously heavy table back inside, Damien and I carry the much lighter plastic one out the door. As I catch my breath, I notice the younger dinosaur is gone. Maybe he ran off to do something else. Either way, I guess now's the time to ask. Hey, Damien. Yeah? What was that about Olivia going to her room? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, uh... An awkward silence fills the air for a few moments. It's just... She doesn't really stick around for family events like this, is all. Regular introvert stuff. It's no big deal. And your parents are okay with that? Why wouldn't they be? She's her own person. Right. She usually makes appearances for food, though. Hey, speaking of food, you wanna go check on the grill? Why? There's no way the food is done by now. Kind of. I just like the smell. Oh. Alright then. Sweet. Let's go. As we make our way over to where Damien's dad is manning the grill, I catch a whiff of the spices and marinades applied to all the meat. Sophia is accompanying him, helping to place the meat on the grill. How's it coming along, Pops? You making any how I like them? You know it, son. 
Have a look for yourselves. He steps aside and lets us gaze at the variety of barbecue set over the flames. The smell of it cooking and the symphonic sizzling sound has my mouth watering in seconds. Good, right? I'll say. Randy uses a pair of tongs to grab a piece of steak that looks halfway cooked. The secret is you gotta let these babies have some time getting seared on each side. That's the way it really hones in the flay. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> There's a bout of silence between everyone as we stare down at a piece of meat on the floor. Eh, it's not too ruined. Hey, Olivia, you want it? <laughs> a pair of eyes appear over the edge of the pool. Sure, toss it in. What's this now? Randy proceeds to chuck the steaks right into the water as one would do with chum to attract fish. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, since you're our first guest, Inko, you get the honor of getting choice picks. Which one do you want? Oh, I don't want to impose or anything. Ugh, oh, nonsense. Better get in your picks now before the other guests arrive later. Hey, think of it as payback for all the soda and chips you've been getting us. Look at it, we're mimicking each other. <laughs> <laughs> Come again? Er, well, guess the burger is more convenient. I don't get to attend a family BBQ every day. Excellent choice, Inko. Want it rare, medium rare, or well done? Hey, Inko, go for the rare. Damien licks his lips as he says that. Rare? Oof. What the he- Oh. Carnivores. Right. Pretty sure a raw burger would kill me. I'll take my burger well done. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you want ketchup with it too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's wrong with that, Damien? <laughs> Come on, Damien. Look, One well done burger coming right up. The, fur, the the fine setting is medium, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not gonna take any chances. Just saying you're missing out, amigo. Pretty sure your mother was just messing with them. We'd never serve that sort of thing to a guest. There's no way we can afford the suit. Mr. Randy lets out a hearty guffaw as he lets the burgers... <laughs> as he lefts... As he left the burgers on his grill. It's alright, son. Though it may not look like it. While Caldera has its share of humans. From what I know, you guys can eat about anything, right? Raw meat aside. I mean, yeah, I guess. Must be nice to be able to just grab whatever's on sale at the market. Meat prices these days are getting pretty crazy. I've seen some of that synthetic meat around. It might be cheaper. Why not try it out? Uh oh. <laughs> this guy it's over. knows how to say the wrong fucking thing. He really thing. is good at making the record scratch noise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Even the grill is staring at me. Sorry. There's one taboo I stumbled into head first. Noted. I uh, better change the subject before things get any more awkward. So, hey, Damien. I've been curious this whole time. What exactly is this summer end celebration anyway? Did my dad tell you earlier? It's the last warm day of the year or whatever. Yeah, I get that part, but why is it a holiday? Ah, that. Ugh, actually, I don't really remember either. Guess I should have been paying more attention at school. It's a bit concerning he doesn't know this much about his own culture he's currently celebrating. Actually, he probably doesn't even need a reason. Why would you? It's just the last warm day of the year. Any excuse for get-togethers is fine in my book. The kid flumps down hard on the grass in the, in the way only children can without shattering something. <laughs> ah, we don't gotta go to school. It's 
it's nice and warm, and we can do it real good. I think those Mayans had the right idea. <laughs> Benny. <laughs> Mayans, eh? Hey, Inko, are you a ver- What? All right, it's about ready. You about to get sacrificed? <laughs> About time the guests showed up too, isn't it? They'll be here any minute. Oh, Olivia. Across the yard, Olivia contentedly drifted to the middle of the pool. Though a look came across her face upon hearing Damien's mom, and she began paddling towards the raised deck. Are you going in so soon? Are you sure you don't want to wait till the others get here? Yeah, wait till the food's ready so we can all eat together. I'd rather not. I just have a lot of art stuff I have to do. Sorry. Damien's little brother steps out from the small deck. But you said we'd play sometime today! <laughs> She tries to back her uncertain tone up with a shaky smile. Maybe later, Vinny. Uh, have fun? She lifts herself from the pool and kneels atop of her chair. I'm confused at how her legs work, but my best guess is that perhaps they only do above the knees. Turning about, her hands carefully set her feet down into the chair's footrests. Fully settled into the chair, Olivia rolls herself into the sliding back door of the house. I think the table is just about set. Now we're really just waiting on the others. Damien, has your friend texted you at all? Yeah, Liz says she'd be here about now. Oh, it's Liz? Nice. She's bringing her uncle, too. Oh snap, that's nice. I'll bust out the brewskis then. In fact... Damien shields his eyes and looks upward behind me. I turn too, but at this angle I can't see anything. Yeah, they're in the front yard. I'll go get them. Damien rushes through the back door into the house. A moment later he emerges again, as if to show off the new guests. What did Kane do? Like some lisp? Yeah, he... I don't he, know how to do it, that. It, it was the, the S's. Come on, don't make it weird. Hi, everyone. Oh, Inko, you're here. Yeah, I got roped in. Neat. Uh, come on, Uncle Mike, through here. Hey, now, I'm not that old. Oh! Whoa! Oh! It's Ferris! <laughs> A giant figure lumbers through the doorway. That is not what I told him to get. <laughs> hey, Michael! Randy, how have you been? The two pat each other on the backs and give a firm handshake. Doing good, doing good. How about yourself? What's that ridiculous getup? <laughs> is it Mardi Gras? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I've just been trying to relate a bit more to the younger generation recently. It seems we're just too different these days and all. Oh, come on. Leave that stuff to the kids. Then he sees me. Huh. Mr. Ferris? <laughs> you know him? Y yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we've met. He takes the same train as me. He's been helping me out, recommending I try this chain out. Liz jerks her head in my direction furiously. I'm <sighs> gonna get it later. Oh god, really regretting the handshake now. It's like he popped all my bones at once. The food will be ready soon, Inko. Your turn on the grill. Oh, uh... Don't worry, kid. All you gotta do is keep an eye on the meat and make sure they don't catch fire. Damien's father leaves after I nod. 
The rest, too, heading to where Damien, Vinny, and I had just set the chairs and table. Turning to the grill with a grimace, I swallow my nerves and take up the tongs. Right. Nothing to worry about. Okay, nothing bad so far. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah! Oh. Sorry. Hey, Liz. What are you doing here? Oh, everyone's talking about Randy's cooking. I just figured I'd see what's on the menu. What do you think I'm doing? Why on earth are you getting my uncle to dress like he's going to be in the music video? He asked for help. <laughs> and you thought that was good help? Yes, he just didn't take it right. Across the yard, Vinny's jumping at a shiny o at the shiny object. Mr. Ferris caves and lends it to him. See, problem solved. Ignoring Vinny now strutting around like a gangster. Oh man, whatever. Whatever. What's actually cooking? I motion to the silver tray spread out next to the grill. It's a lot of meat. Actually, aren't you an herbivore, Liz? I am, but I think Damien thought ahead for me. Wait, wasn't that the salad I brought? I knew he would forget about me like that. Anyway, is, is Olivia out there? Or out here? She was just in the pool, decided to go inside. Liz's head is still for a moment, as if she's in thought. Apparently it's a common thing with her. Yeah. I was hoping she stuck around for once. So she does this often? Every time Damia's folks throw a party, she slips away to her room. Same. For real? Sometimes they see her at her window. Her eyes motion me to turn and look at a particular window. I can't really see from this angle. Why well, would now be any different then? Liz shoots me a knowing look. What? Well, I figured she was opening up a little to you. I mean, I guess? To some degree? I don't think I have any frame of reference. At best, I can kind of talk to Olivia now. What? Did you just hiss at me? No. Then what? Oh god! Spinning around, I see that something has caught on fire. I grab whatever it is with the tongs and fill it around, hoping the air would put it out. It works well enough, but it's pretty burnt. <laughs> well, that one's a lost cause. I give the piece of charcoal a careful look, and yeah, it doesn't look edible in the least. I put it to the side and turn back to face Liz. Anyway, what were you saying about Olivia opening up? Yeah, it's strange, but also good. Certainly a bit surreal after all this time. Liz lets out a sign shrugs. Well, it's a shame, but it is what it is. Anyway, I want to go catch up with the others. See you around. Liz returns to the rest of the gathering, leaving me alone with the grill once again. Burnt piece of meat aside, the rest of the food is looking good. Still, I'm not exactly the best grill master. Not like it matters too much to Damien's folk. Whether the food's actually cooked or not is purely an aesthetic matter. A couple more flips and the meat is brown and sizzling, which is good enough in my book to put them along with the other finished pieces. I'm about done with my shift. Damien's turn was next, and he's just going to be wrapping up these last few things. It doesn't take me long to spot him chatting with Liz, who's enraptured with whatever guaranteed high-concept discussion they're having. Hey, Damien! Damien's frilled things perk a bit as he turns around to face me. Your turn on the grill. Alright, you got it, hombre. He waves Liz over and takes a firm hold of the spatula. Okay, time to get some more... He suddenly pauses as his eyes fall upon the charred remains of a once juicy and savory piece of meat. He picks up the piece of meat and inspects it before chomping down on it with a single bite. I'll finish cooking the last piece of Zinky. If you'd be an awesome dude, can you start serving the others what's ready at the chow on? 
I give Damien a nod and grab the tray of cooked meat. I take the tray over to the eagerly waiting crowd with all the care to be expected from someone surrounded by very hungry meat-eating Saurian. Upon seeing the platter of delectable and edible flesh, stop whatever they are doing and begin to gather around the table. And then I said, well, it's cause you look like a student yourself, miss. <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> oh, I turned Chris back on when I said that. Did you catch that? No. Dude, you just need to shoot CRISPR, man. <laughs> why do you turn it on? Because he hadn't come back in a while. Yeah, but why do you have it on in the first place? God damn it. It's finally here, Vincent. Now remember your manners. Yeah, give me a second to shoot. shoot. Yep. Hopefully my salad, too. Look at the fucking chain around Vin. <laughs> Dwarfs his ass. Seems like everyone's having a pretty good time with their meal. They even eat the ones that I cooked. Now I can see Damien's little brother making a slight face of disgust. Still winds up chomping on the meat anyway. Oh no, I'm pretty satisfied with how my cooking turned out. Take a seat next to Damien and Liz and prepare my meal before I dig in. Gotta go with the tried and true... Ketchup and nothing more. With my burger prepared, I go in for my first bite. Gotta say, Damien's dad did a great job with the patty. What do you think, Inko? Give a thumbs up and a smile as best I can with a full mouth. The other dinosaur gives me a toothy, sauce-stained grin in return. I can see where Damien gets that toothy grin of his. Savoring the well-cooked meat patty and buns with each bite, I slowly lose myself in the party's mood. Though I feel more... How do you say that? Nah. Uh, Ancillary? 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 Yeah, we'll go with that. Ancillary from it. Seeing the adults lost in work talk while Damien and Liz are handling the excitable Vinny. Humming around a mouthful of burger, my eyes wander. S zoom in on the window. The entire yard is smaller than mine, and there are tons of toys scattered in the low-cut grass. Not too many plants either, just the grass and a couple of shrubs running alongside the fence. The word quaint comes to mind. Maybe intimate. I can picture the kinds of events that happened back here. I shake my head, clearing my photographer's mind away. It's Damien's place, private property. I have to ask before I do anything camera related. Thinking about it though, I do have my camera securely stored in my backpack inside the home. Part of me considers grabbing it. As I look back towards the house, I spy a certain someone at their window. Olivia leers out across the yard. She's too far away to tell exactly what she's staring at. Must be her room then. Her gaze shifts a bit. I still can't see what she's looking at, but it's in my direction. Or Damien, he's sitting next to me. Carefully trace where her eyes are focused, leaning to the side and slowly coming to the plate in my hand. Checking back, she's laser focused on something. I wonder... I slowly lift the plate up and Olivia's head tilts upward with it. I lower it and her head tilts downward. Part of me wants to test this further. Except that'd be a real waste of food. Whatever illusion she was under is shattered with a shake of her head. I can hear Olivia's annoyed growl from here as she turns her snout up at me and returns to whatever it is she was doing. So she does want some. Why not come out? I'm sure nobody will mind if I just brought a plate it a plate in and left it. Besides, my fingers are sticky from all the finger food. To the point where they stick to the paper plate. It's actually kind of gross. I remember why I avoid it normally. Ungluing my fingers from the plate, Damien's mother notices my plate. You can use the kitchen sink for that, Inko. <laughs> or the pool! Sticking my thoroughly marinated fingers into the pool? That just seems like a future issue for whoever has to clean it up later. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I think I'll use the sink. Damien's already gotten up for thirds, so there's plenty. I load up a new paper plate with a steak and whatever remains of the ribs and discreetly head inside. Thankfully, the sliding door is partially open, just enough so that I can use my foot to push it with the rest of the way open. There's a coffee table in the living room. That's as good a place as any. And the kitchen's right there. I'll just rinse my hands off a bit. 
Making liberal use of the dish soap, I start scrubbing my hands thoroughly. While I feel the stickiness start to unstick itself, I look out the window. Damien's parents seem to be focused on Vinny, but Damien is still shooting looks to the left. The hyperactive hybrid shoots up from his seat, disappearing from view. I wonder where he... <laughs> oh no, he's a main character. <laughs> Like, you ought to have known by now that giving any character a voice you can't keep going is a bad call. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, clothes still on and all. Kid was serious about washing his hands on the pool. Man, I could have gone for a dip myself. AC in here makes a huge difference. It's been 90 degrees out today. Plenty of soda, so I'm not in danger of dehydration at least. I don't Jeez. know if I count that but yes yeah i wouldn't either i mean you want guagua but you know i guess it's better than nothing right but geez i'm only noticing just how warm i still am from stepping inside I'm surprised there's no steam rising from me it's a little red too good thing i didn't bring any sunscreen crap it's not that bad yet Maybe the paints have some sunscreen around. Oh, the reptiles, why would they have any? Maybe I'll just have to deal with it. Knuckles start hurting from being wrung so much. The smell isn't gone yet, though. <sighs> anyway, should be clean enough to... Both of us are frozen still, locked in a staring contest. The steak shoved in her mouth, she stares like a deer caught in headlights. She spits the steak back on the plate in her lap and grips the insides of her sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a moment to collect myself to muster up some conversation. Uh, yeah, your delivery came in. You want a soda with that? The joke goes on laughed at. I tried. May as well. Hmm? Need to get to the fridge. Oh, uh, sorry. I step to the side to give Olivia enough space. She rolls herself over to the fridge, opens it up, and rummages through. We exchange a few awkward glances to the point that it's palpable in the air. So, what are you doing? Getting a soda. The kid's taking your spot in the swimming pool. That's fine. I'm just gonna go crash in my room. And there's still a party going on outside? I'm busy with art stuff. Stuffing the soda can in her pocket, Olivia redirects herself and, with a flick of her tail, closes the fridge shut. But what about the party? What about it? It's still going on. And? Look, I've got stuff to work on. Even though it's a holiday, it seems like the perfect time to get together with friends and family, and I'm not their family, if you haven't noticed. I'm not gonna be here for much longer. That's a new look from her. Yo, is she gonna like die or something? <laughs> you know. like, I get a really bad feeling all of a sudden, and I don't like it. Shit. This game better not make me face themes of mortality. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. Was it because I of what I said? She's a foreign exchange student. <laughs> foreign exchange student. Yeah, I guess that would make some sense, right? <clears throat> Olivia? What? There's a couple different things dancing atop my tongue that I wish to say. Some would be too intrusive, especially after what she just said. One sticks, one however sticks out the most, especially after she brought it up working on it. I genuinely want to see Olivia's process. Would you, uh, mind some company? What? Seems pretty empty in the house to be your lonesome, so maybe it'd be nice to hang out. Plus, I've been wanting to see her art for a while. Especially as I recall our freshman piece that's displayed right next to the principal's office. I'll even show you some of my stuff. I have my portfolio driving my backpack, after all. I have to hold back my laugh as a silly strangled noise of surprised confusion escapes her mouth. Is that an okay, then? No! I don't want anyone else in my room. Then how about the living room? I motion at the well-loved couch nearby. She hums in thought for a moment. Are you really that interested? Yes. I've been wanting to see your work ever since I found out that the cityscape piece in the gala was yours. 
Olivia clutches her hands together tightly. Okay, fine, fine. If you're so interested, you can watch. She wills herself back towards the shut door. I need to get my stuff set up first, though. Sure, I'll be here on the couch. I kind of feel bad for missing out on the party, too, but I doubt I'll ever get another chance like this. Olivia returns with a small easel, already set up with a half-finished painting. She takes a moment to shift herself from her wheelchair to the end of the couch right next to me. She's pretty close to me. I can feel her thigh barely brushing against mine, but I'll try to pay it no mind. Raptor Jesus is watching, Inko. You better, you better keep that in mind. Penny looks like a- off to yourself. <laughs> Do not act upon those intrusive thoughts. You've already acted upon many intrusive thoughts, Inko, and it's never ended well. The painting looks like a bust of a nondescript dino guy. Although, with how vibrant that went well was the salad. It went to good use. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Liz thinks that fucking Damien did it. And it's like, okay, yeah, sure, we'll, give, we'll let Damien have that W. Although, how vibrant these guys are, it could easily be a portrait of someone specific. This isn't that good. She rips the page off and crumples it in her hands. Starting over then? Don't interrupt. She takes a deep breath. The paintbrush nears the canvas, slowly and gracefully, although it's clear her nerves are getting to her. Okay. Wait. Olivia looks down for a moment before she jerks her head back up, her face gaining a reddish hue. D dude, why'd you scooch so, scooch so close to me? I didn't? You're the one who sat next to me. Oh. She looks away for a moment, realizing how over the top her reaction was. Olivia then does a double take of me, her brows furrowing. It's like, I ain't do shit. <laughs> What's wrong with your skin? I was born like this. Shut up, that's not. You know what? Yes, it is. But I mean, it's red. Oh, yeah, I think I'm sunburned. As I look over the red splotch on my arm, Olivia raises a hand and touches it. Ow! Why? Jeez, that really hurts. Yeah, it does. I didn't think to get sunscreen on the way over. Wouldn't happen to be any here, right? Uh, point taken. But... Some of those spiky plants outside. Aloe something, I think. Just snap a leaf off. And... Issues, pain, won't care. Probably. I think I've heard something about that plant before, yeah? Alright, guess I'll give it a shot. I get up and head back out the front door. Lo and behold, there were in fact a number of those spiky plants around. I walk up to the nearest one and grab the leaf in a spot with dull spikes. It bends and snaps off pretty easy. Man, this looks about good enough to eat, but it probably tastes awful. Is it really good for curing sunburn? Back inside, Olivia started painting again. She gazes intently at the page. And the plate of food that I brought in had been cleaned. <laughs> that sh bald, shiny head. <laughs> you could use that as like a fucking lighthouse, when you think about it. Olivia holds it's one last- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta like check your teeth in his, in his bald spot. You're like, oh, okay, there's a little bit of steak right there. Olivia holds up one last rib in her mouth like a cigarette. It's wag it waggles up and down between her teeth. When she sees me, she crunches the bone in two and swallows the last of it whole. I bring up the aloe leaf. This it? She nods and extends a hand to grab it. I hand her the thick leaf and she extends a single claw. When she catches the edge of the skin, she makes quick work peeling the husk off. You do that often? Not me. Sophia usually uses to make smoothies for the family and healing salves for Vinny. They're real pretty, too. Olivia blinks, coughs, and grimaces. To, uh, paint, I mean. Natural homemade healing recipe, huh? Might have to ask for that later. Could come in handy down the line. I move to remove my jacket so the aloe can be applied properly. 
but I don't get uh, far before I notice Olivia's face turning a darker shade again. No! Uh, no need to remove your jacket. Just roll up your sleeves and put the jelly on your neck. She hands me... She hands me now exposed aloe jelly, all the while doing her best to not lock eyes with me. After rolling up my sleeves, I scoop out a dollop of the opaque substance. The feeling of release hits me the moment I spread it across my neck. Man, this feels good. I start applying more to my nose, cheeks, and most importantly, the top of my head. As I do, I watch Olivia continue her painting, taking extra attention to her brush strokes. The way she moves it down the canvas with such smoothness and gentleness shows her level of concentration. Not too rushed, but also not that overly focused on the art either. Using the last of the aloe to cover my arms, I'm fully covered in the rudimentary remedy. I take a second to throw the husks away in the kitchen trash, catching a glimpse of the party outside. Everyone looks like they're having a good time out there. Except for Mrs. Sophia, who's currently trying to chase a very soaked Vinny with a towel. Back on the couch, Olivia's painting is starting to take more defined shape. Unlike the cityscape piece, however, it looks more... organic. She continues to paint in silence, occasionally doing a quick glance at me to see if I'm still watching. I don't want to poke at Olivia for no reason, but this might just be my only chance to ask. Uh-oh. Fucking Inko's getting ideas. Oh, shit. Hey, Olivia. Mm-hmm. Your family. The paints. They seem like a... a lively bunch. What's that supposed to mean? Like, I knew Damien was eccentric, but I can see he gets it from the rest of your family. <laughs> First of all, the Paines are my godparents. Secondly, yeah, they are. So, how long have you known them for? Olivia pauses for a moment, mid brush stroke, but then continues. Practically my whole life. Damien and I have known each other since we were carpet crocs. And his parents have known my dad since, well, forever. Since before we were even neighbors. Ah, friends of the family. Pretty much. The whole reason why I'm living with them. Her muzzle clamp shut. Forget what I just said. The words were spoken with a tone, uh, tone tinged bitter with something. A tone I felt very familiar with whenever my own family was brought up. Sure. The only sounds left now are the brush strokes on the canvas. My focus turns back to the patch of blotchy red and pale acrylic oil slowly forming across the white canvas. Occasionally, Olivia's gray eyes would glance my way before going back to her work. Compared to the more rapid pace of time-lapse art videos I had viewed, she was more deliberate with each of her movements. Pretty obvious, since most of those were done digitally, another thing I'd not considered. Still, staring at the painting in progress itself, there's something uncanny about it. It's now more formed, definitely looking like something. Cupping my chin with one hand in contemplation, I use the other to try and trace out the peachy, pale, and vibrant red colors. Olivia looks back to me again, and the glint of something shines through her eyes. Hold that pose now. Hey, how long have you been using me as a layman doll? Her hand fails to cover up the snort that comes from her nose, followed by a gremlin-like cackle. <laughs> Consider it the price to see my process. I want a refund. <laughs> nope. Looking again, it's slowly becoming an oil bust in my burnt face. Like looking in a mirror, eh? Can't you at least get my good angle? Mm, no. Turning back to the mural de mel melanoma, <laughs> Olivia starts adding a blotch of cream by my head. A sigh escapes my lips. Hey, I said stay still. Why? I'm not that red. Another high-pitched giggle comes out of Olivia. It's called artistic license. Well, it needs to be renewed. Despite being the butt of her joke, I feel myself smiling. It must be the new sounds from her. It's the first time I think I've seen her happy outside of... Uh, yet... I... I haven't seen the name in so long I forgot how to pronounce it. <laughs> been a while. Idakin's class. Um, Iadakin's class, I think is how I pronounced it before. And yeah, that laugh of hers is kind of infectious. 
The silence returns, though the mood feels much lighter now. I feel so stiff right now. I don't know how long I've been holding this pose now. I had to guess from the sunlight filtering the house, it's been... It's at least been an hour. Miro de Melanoma was almost done, and it was staring back at me with the most intense eyes. Livy's attention was left on one final detail. The hand holding my chin. Thankful she'd finished the glasses first because the reflected light from the sliding back door has been searing my retina. Olivia. Hush. She turns her head and focuses entirely on the hand held by my ear. Pupil is moving rapidly to try and take in every last detail. Her fingers twitch as her hand hovers over the painted hand. Her eyes are now shifting between my hand and my eyes. Her hand is now quaking and growing and a growing redness suffuses her face. The more she looks towards my eyes, the more her arm shakes and face brightens. Finally, she turns away from me entirely, bringing both of her arms with her and away from me in the canvas. Okay. Okay? Her cheeks puff out as she exhales the held breath. Okay. That kind of scares me. <laughs> it's a little scary. Finally, she turns her cherry red face to the canvas and inspects the near-complete portrait. I'll come back to this later. Can I... Yeah, yeah, you can drop your hand now. Finally. I lay back on the couch, feeling my spinal cord pop in rapid succession. I said your hand. Can't. I attempt to stretch my arm in front of me. And because of my stiffened muscles, my forearm is pulled back towards my face. I repeat the motion several times, the movement helping to ease the muscles until finally my arm doesn't feel spring-loaded. While I was busy trying to fix my arm, Livy was packing up the canvas. Uh, that's about it. You can go join the others, or whatever. She drags the canvas easel and acrylic tubes back to her room. I wonder if she'll keep that one. I wonder if she'll stay in her room again. Hmm. We've been inside for a while. I don't think anyone outside has noticed we've been gone. Vinny and Daniel seem to accept that Olivia would stay inside. But... Wait. Hmm? I've caught her a bit off guard. Yeah, I don't like either option. Just yeah. let her do her thing. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't really like these options. I mean, don't don't convince her. That right, right. Just an invite is the right call here. If I'm going outside, it'd be rude of me to leave without saying bye, at least. She looks at me quizzically. Sure. But I think I'll try staying until the end. This has probably been the best day I've had since I moved here. And my first real friends in a long while. Glad they've been invited. She's not leaving, but she's scanning me suspiciously. Amy's been a great friend, and these folks have been really nice to me. And then my own parents, even. I'm lucky to have them, I think. I guess? Good for you. Have fun with that. I really need to. I think you should come along. She freezes. What? Her eyes widen and some of the color leaves her face. No, I can't. Why not? Mr. and Miss Payne, they already have Vincent and Damien to worry about. Right now, they're hosting all the other guests. They got plenty to deal with already. I'm not worth the accommodations. Just leave it. Let them be normal. Even then, it's like I said, I don't have much time left. It's a little overly harsh. It was every argument she had. The kind of arguments that come from desperation and guilt to convince herself it's for her own good. It's a little presumptuous, but it's at least the sort of thoughts I've had reading notes from my parents allotting me resources like I'm just an anthropomorphized mouth. It certainly doesn't seem like I'm worth it to them sometimes. But they're your godparents, right? They're helping your folks, yeah, but they chose to have you here. Because they want to let you be normal. That doesn't... A normal part of their family, I mean. I don't think they'd have you here if they didn't want that. Oh, please, go on and tell me more about my own family. Her voice is sardonic. 
She's not making eye contact anymore. But she's listening intently. Cursor on the screen. Yeah, I'm leaving it on the screen because sometimes I motion out at something. And I'm, I'm leaving it down here so it shouldn't be, like, too intrusive. She's not making eye contact anymore, but she's listening intently. This is all stuff she's known already. But you're absolutely right about one thing. You don't have much time left. Neither do I, honestly. Even if it's mostly because of moving. You know what they say about rolling stones gathering no moss. And that way we're in the same boat. Give it a shot. There's some perfectly good moss right out there. <sighs> okay. I'll try it with you. That analogy was pretty dumb, but you're right. Let's go! Yeah. Back door squeaks back open. Even sunglasses, I wince at the sudden brightness. I take a step out and stretch my back, working out the last bit of stiffness from my shoulders. Olivia still waits at the threshold of the door. What are you waiting for? A curtain call? With a grin, I draw the sliding door even wider, and with a beckoning wave, attempt to usher Olivia out as if I were a personal attendant. I'm still terrified of her layers of fear-esque painting. Yeah, that thing was a little spoopy. I'm not gonna lie. Cut that out. Don't make it weird. <laughs> Despite her words, her tone is more humored than annoyed with me. Relax. Nobody was even looking. But it looks like there's definitely no more food left. About right. As Olivia rolls down the small wooden ramp I hadn't noticed, we catch Damien on the bottom step. Olivia. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're Damien. Sorry. Olivia? I was just in reader mode for like a while. Oh, you're good. I was staring at Olivia's wheelchair and I, I just noticed that her tail sticks out the back so I want to see the hole in the fucking <laughs> wheelchair that allows that to happen. Oh, there's... Do you think she has to like angle it and push it through? Yeah, like every time she sits down. Oh, that would be annoying. At the table, heads turn towards us. Looks of surprise etched on the faces of most of them. Instead of answering him verbally, Olivia's hand comes up in a nervous wave. The rest of the party resumes their prior discussions, although maybe a bit livelier than before. Hey, it's cool to see you out here again. Hey Damien, why are you all the way over here for? I can't stand to be by Liz's uncle when he's eating. He's got those fibrous teeth. Ugh. Like blue whales have? Yeah, freaks me out. This dentist must make a fortune. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Olivia, what are you doing back out here? Y you forget something? No, I just... I'd be good to enjoy the weather while it lasts. Pog! <laughs> Damien <laughs> perks up with his frills undulating. No, Damien, stop that. Olivia quivers as Damien's grin grows wider and frills start moving faster. Ew, stop it! Even I'm getting unnerved by how those things move. Damien! <laughs> Sorry, you, you know, these things got a mind of their own. Finally, those weird flaps still. Dude, you were just complaining about Mr. Ferris and his teeth. At least he can keep his mouth shut. Hey, hey, I could always wear a beanie. No, you can't. Remember the last time you tried? Both Damien and Olivia share a laugh over some event they're privy to. When they finish, Damien asks the million dollar question. So, are you gonna join in, or...? She turns her head my way and I give her a supportive thumbs up. Yeah. Damien finally stands from the step and we all start headed for the table. Each party goer greets us as we approach. The loudest from... Oh my god, no please. <laughs> Do the line! <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Yo. Did you turn on CRISPR again? I turned it off. Okay. Why am I cutting out? You were cutting out a little bit there, yeah. What the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> you finally came to play again! The, the rambunctious boy hoots and hollers as he bounces in circles around her. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia huddles her arms and looks aside in my direction, feeling the stares from the table. I give her a reassuring thumbs up. Actually, this is perfect. Thank you, Vinny. 
This is something Olivia's able to give when she was so worried about just taking. I hope she goes for it. I'm a little tired, Vinny. Will you promise me play? Do it now. <laughs> like the old times! I... <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> that one took you out. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, all right, you win. I did promise. You want to play canon then? Yeah, canon. All right then. Ready? Round loaded. Fire! Yeet the boy! <laughs> oh God, this was a bad idea. <laughs> the fucking applause. There we go. <laughs> I'm so fucking dying. Uh, relax, Sof. Vinny still young. <laughs> Michael, Vinny, be careful. I'm okay, Mom. Phew. You gotten stronger, Olivia? No, shut up. Anyway. Can we do it again, Livy? Please. Livia smiles and pats his head. It. It's weird seeing it, but as she readies Vincent for another launch, the Gator Girl has a bright toothy smile and never thought she had. Uh, Mr. Payne. All right, I I get it, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, no more cannon today. Olivia and Vincent share a disappointed look. <laughs> now, now, there's a lot more things you two can do. You got a uh, appreciative on that woo, Jeremy. Very good. Ten out of ten. Thank you. Thank you. Vincent perks up and immediately rushes off. Olivia turns back to the rest of the group with an uneasy smile. Miss Payne steps forward, her hands held up and wavering. Olivia? Hi, Auntie. Miss Payne and her husband approach, both with nervous smiles. When she speaks, it's with a certain restraint, holding her excitement back. As though worried if it showed too much, she'll change her mind and go back in. I didn't miss much, right? I'm so glad you came out, dear. The older woman kneels in front of her and wraps her arms around Olivia. Hey, it's been too long, little ace. Randy's hand ruffles her hair while his other arm also encircles both Olivia and Sophia. And while Olivia does her best to avoid his palm. I can see the tiny smile on her face. Time seemed to pick up speed after Olivia had come out. Damien and his father returned to the grill, managing to prep and cook a final serving of meaty goodness for an early dinner. I decided I could go for seconds and get a few scraps of this and that. I nearly drop my food when I get a rough pat on the shoulder from behind. It's Mr. Payne. He looks down at me with a thankful smile. Miss Payne and Mr. Ferris had continued the conversation until Mr. Ferris' throat ran dry. And the rest of us had to contend with a hyperactive child with an armory of foam dart guns. I felt bad for Liz. She'd become a one-woman shooting gallery for the boy. <laughs> and Olivia. And me. And Damien. But at least he looked apologetic about it. But now things are winding down. The food is officially all gone. Everyone is exhausted physically and mentally. And yet thoroughly satisfied emotionally. Olivia pads by me, having returned to the pool to cool down and stretch out. Buh! <laughs> Buh! Gator lady. Do, am I supposed I'm to, just gonna hang on to this Yeah, stone. do I need to click? Clicks. There we there, go. Okay. <laughs> I was like... I was like, well, is there gonna be dialogue or what's going on here? <laughs> there was just one last thing to really cap this off. I'm surprised they didn't do that the first time we saw her. Like right. They, they waited the entire time. Well, you had to, to earn get this by getting her back out, you know? I, I guess Th This so. was an earned one. 
<laughs> okay, everyone. I'll look at Picture. everyone. I hollered to everyone currently on the deck, grouped up nicely for me. Looking through the viewfinder of my propped up camera, I adjust the focus to ensure everyone is captured perfectly in the shot. Alright, on three, give me your biggest smiles. One. Wait. Olivia turns away from the camera, looking toward Damien. With a grin, Damien waves for me. Dude, you gotta be- oh. Dude, you gotta be in this too. There's nods and words of agreement from everyone. Well... It's been a while since I've used this mode, so why not? Setting the time delay, along with the sports mode, I'm sure with 10 rapid succession shots, at least one of them would be perfect. And I can always do some post-production on it too. Ensuring that the focus is still fine, I click the shutter button and keep the count in mind. 30, 29, 28... By 13, I've settled myself next to Damien and above Olivia. Alright, 9, 8, 7... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. I feel something wrap around my ankle and press against my back on four. Three, two, one. <laughs> my camera flash goes off ten times as I'm pushed over by Damien and pulled into the pool by Olivia. September 25th. It's been nearly a full a month and things are starting to feel new, uh, natural in school now. At least compared to my old days, uh, my old schools, except now I've actually made some good friends. Well, I know, Jeremy, you said you wanted to at least get through that part there. So do you want to keep going or you want to like leave it off there? No, nah, this is a good stopping point. I don't know like how long he's going to keep talking on this black screen, though. Right. I, that was a good, like, emotionally satisfying, you know, end of the session. I'd right. say. Dude, I'm going to be real with you. If it turns out that she's not an exchange student, because that's looking what it's like, that got thrown out the window because it's family friends now, and she yeah. actually just has like a year to live, dude, I'm no. gonna fucking be destroyed by the end of this. You already know she has cancer. I, no, don't say it. Don't say that. Dino cancer. No, 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 no. Untreatable. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> well, Jeremy. This has been fun. We I didn't think we would necessarily go like actually like over five and a half hours, but Jesus Christ. I was more than happy to do it. Yeah, that's good. Now here's the here's the question. When do we fucking continue this? I can only do it Friday night and Saturday night. <laughs> <sighs> Especially if the chapters are gonna be this long, you know. Well, I don't know how much more of the game there is. That's kind of like the thing, right? I guess that's true. It's not like we are, we're going through a bunch of different routes. It's literally just Olivia, so. Right, and here's the thing, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait. I'm invested now. That's true. Let's just do it tomorrow night. We're fine. All right. Who needs right. Barony? Who needs Barony? <laughs> Fuck it. This is great. All right. Well, I'm going to do a quick sign off. Uh, are you dropping out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and just drop out. I'll give you a quick sign off here. This is uh, night, Blue Springs, everyone. everyone. Go check him out at his channel. Does great, great stuff as well. Uh, we'll be shooting for trying to continue this again tomorrow. Picking it up. I'm enjoying this a lot. Maybe we can get, even get Kane back in here to voice. Wouldn't that be great? Helpful. Yeah. But, all right. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Jeremy. Bye. Bye. Okay. Well, that was fun. I thoroughly enjoying the experience so far i'll probably need to take a quick look at how much longer we have to go so that way we can start promptly tomorrow because i think i want to try and wrap this up in one session make this like a weekend deal uh especially if jeremy's only going to be av available on like fridays and saturdays so if we can get that out of the way that'd be baller but yeah uh i have to go i have been holding a huge piss in for like the last two hours um because i've been drinking a lot of water to make sure my voice is well lubricated so i'm gonna go do that grab some food and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow anybody who's in chat be lurking or otherwise hope you had a good time hope you've been enjoying this i i've like i said i've certainly have and yeah talk to you later goodbye